Good morning, chat. Damn, I slept like shit fucking yesterday. I slept like shit. Brutal, thanks for the seven month resub. I appreciate that. sleepless it's only been a few days but i've been kind of sleepless storm fucking kept me up and the SA, dude the weirdest thing left to uh woke me up and i don't know how i heard it through my window my neighbor was like watering their flowers at like 1 a.m and i it woke me up i think it was because like i heard like a strange noise i didn't know what the fuck it was <sighs> It wasn't Penta. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the looking forward to having to explain why Jordan still couldn't work the impound lot for uh, fucking the next few days, huh? Here's to that one. Uh, he didn't get fucked, he fucked himself. What do you think's gonna happen when you shoot a fucking cop? And then I get $45,000 in charges for PD weapons. Hey. You can just come work at the lot the next day. Lord do odd, thanks for the 15 months. JG, 15 months. I appreciate it. Give me one quick segundo. Yo, Deuce, thanks for the gift sub. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, Verbergzer. Verberbergzer. Thanks for the two month three sub. Not sure what I'm gonna play today. I kind of wanted to play some variety shit today. But then I was like, eh. Maybe I'll just do that tomorrow. ASDS uh, Smokey. ASD Smokey. Thanks for the two months. M Good. Thanks for the five months. Iso Kanka. Thanks for the three months. Beantown. Thanks for the 35. Jabba Butterfingers. Thanks for the eight. Characters like that are fun. Oh no, I've got a... I'm actually, uh... I brainstormed, like, um... I have, like, three solid characters, like, right... If, actually, potentially, like, five solid characters that... That I haven't done yet in 3.0. I want to do AFK. Actually, six. Oh no. Trying to do as much character shit as possible, but it's fucking hard. Probably like, oh god, 
15 minutes before the end of the storm. I'm not God, I I'm the see... sheriff. Hello, sheriff. How you going? Yeah, if you want to. Oh, say, say, so, um, I'm going good. How are you? Excellent. I just woke up. I've been better, but I can't complain too much, I guess. I'm oh, alive. I, I just woke up too. What a coincidence. Man, we got a lot what in common. What a coinky common. dink. I know, right? <laughs> you wake up, I wake up. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I need to have my coffee now. I'm about to report a gun My nickname because... in high school was coffee. Hmm? Your nickname in high school? <laughs> Why was that your nickname? Uh, no reason. All right, well, uh, you guys uh, have no a good one. Okay. No, see, that's when he could have. That's when he could have perfectly said it's because he was cool and that, and that like, was it? Was that stubble? <laughs> it's because I was long and fat. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh fuck me. Oh, hey, morning, Sheriff. Hey, what's going on? Not much, not much. Some weird shit. People, you know, trying to bait them. Cops out there. Good. I'm People just gonna shoot People randomly shot at prison, and then with acres, and then got a, in a chase, and shooting you know, they're dealing stopping. with that now. But where are they shooting at? They were shooting That's at not... the prison first, but now, I don't know, there's some massive war going on on the fucking Crusade Hospital. And of course, we're pretty low on numbers, so not Wait, a lot of there's a massive war going on with. at a hospital between who? Unsure. Uh, yesterday Ballers? it was yeah, Ballers and uh, what's it called? CG. And probably CG. Yeah. All right, let them. I don't know if it's the same thing. Yeah, I mean, if they kill each other, you don't have to kill them, right? Exactly. We just go in and mop them up. Exactly. Janitor duty. Hell yeah. Wait a second. Where is Cru Crusade South of Olympic? I mean. Oh, you said Crusade, Yeah, that's like a Southside Hospital. Yeah. yeah, but it kind of moved closer to Fish and Roy. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty fun. Yeah, they're on the I'm going to take well. a quick report. All right, sounds good, Iris. I need to grab some shit. Hell yeah. All right! Sounds like there's some gang war going on. All right. Oh yeah, I am pretty beautiful. I won't lie. That girl, that girl had a great voice over at the desk. Over at the lobby. My gun broke yesterday. Oh, hold on, we gotta run downstairs. We got trash. Time for trash. Go clap some ballas. Well, you guys know how I feel about gang war. <laughs> Mr. Camps a lot. Thanks for the six months of tier two. I really do appreciate that. I don't understand why my inventory is so full. So difficult to manage. Lower this. On. And get rid of this. Bam. Did I just throw my fucking badge into the trash? You know what? Good enough. Good fucking enough. I think that's a sign. <laughs> it might be. It might be a sign. Oh. Actually, no. I want to use a 1911 again.
put everything in a locker and pick stuff I need. But I need everything. I need everything, my man. To the Banshee, exactly. Jedi Master, thanks for the three month resub. What the hell just hit my car? Is that a newspaper or some shit? Whatever it is, it fucked my shit up. Is there something floating? What the fuck smacked my car when I was coming up the road? Holy fuck, it smacked the shit out of my car, though. Interesting. The Bansy personal or shared? Personal. Like, I'm going to share with anybody. Please. Please, I hate everyone. I hate everybody. Why would I share with them? Davenport did a sweet flip. That's cool. I'm about to do several sweet flips. I'm about to flip your mother on her back. And then flip her back again. Yeah, that's right. I went there. I went there, buddy. <laughs> Dang, it would be fucking hilarious. If I chose to work the PD tow lot today, that would be fucking funny. Damn, that would be drama farming top tier shit right there. If I just decided to work the PD tow lot today, that'd be funny as hell. If I just threw a vest on, did that shit all day. Yo, Michael is a pro. Thanks for the fucking 17 months. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Fuck, oh, dude, I'm still not awake yet. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some, uh, let's go to the burger shot real quick. Clear that dumb shit, I don't give a fuck. I got something hopefully planned next week. Oh, I think a boost just drove past me. The fuck else is new? <laughs> does it involve PRC? No, it does not. What's that cop doing? It's under that bridge like that. Teagues! Thanks for the 23 months, dude. Does a line of coke before every shift? Nah. What the hell just popped off? What the hell is this? I'm fine. Scuff caused me st again. Alright. Scuff. I'm gonna have a bright that? Scene, orange and color, occupy one time, then I'm gonna have the tulip here. Oh, what'd you say, pussy? Oh, I said a nice band. Huh? Oh, oh, oh you said, really here, nice here, I got you. Oh, looks like, hold on real quick. One second, one second. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some black Yeah, I'm gonna show your girlfriend my dick later, pussy. Show her what a real man's dick looks like, you little lip dick virgin. Why don't you go ahead and pull on out? What the hell? If, 
Interesting. All right. Is that half of the pride? Yeah, yeah, it is. Let me run the oh, plate on crazy. this. I sure think you run that. Oh, shit, matter. it's coming back flagged. No, it does not. It is. I'm going to need you to pull on over. Gotcha. If you could just go ahead and pull on over for me there, Limp Dick, that'd be great. I am pulled over. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Now, I'm going to need you to pull out along the road off. This is private property, right? I'm going to need you to pull out along the road, please. Goddamn police force. Yeah. That's right. Make a right. Make a right, please. Pull over onto the next street. Gotcha, gotcha. There we go. Perfect. Right there. Perfect. Man, I thought you were getting burgers, you goddamn weirdo. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting fur burgers. Gotcha, so what's your, uh, give me your license and registration, please. Um, let me see. Have it. You got it. Um, no. You don't have your license. Crossing Plaza. Uh, no. All right, well, I at this it, time, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or I say, I told you I did have it. Oh, you do have it. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, of Let's course I do. All right, I just got to find it. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm find it. Him. Yes. It's gotcha, gotcha. Just office. remember, you're on my time. I'm not on yours, so you have 10 seconds to produce the license. That's crazy. It's, that's not yeah. a feeling to find it. Of course, gotcha. Come on, you can find it. Come on, pal. Oh, Perfection. There it is. Diego Wild, huh? All right, that's a cute, that's yeah, a cool name. Right. Thank you, thank you. Don't you uh, whoa, 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 what are you doing back there? What's going on? I need a plate check. Seven three, Dick, Roger, wait, wait, wait. What? Yankee two Zeta nine. Of course I didn't. You crazy? Uh, this, gotcha. This is, is this your? Is this your car? I mean, of course it is. I'm driving it. Am I not? Well, I mean, you're driving it, but it doesn't appear like it's. Uh, it comes back to a. Uh, whose car is this? I. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did. Or I lent it away to someone. I don't know what they did what with you, it. You no, know, it's not that you lent it away. Oh. It's that somebody lent it to you. Right, southbound Elgin. Perfect. Uh, we need to both of you to step out of the car, get against the wall for me, please, for the time being. Why against the wall? Yeah, You're listen. both detained for the time being. I'm going to have to ask that you both exit the vehicle, get against the wall. Fred, you're a crazy maniac. Do you know that? I'm not a crazy maniac. I'm just saying I'm going to need both of you to get against the wall. No, because this is a bunch of Dario, sir. Like, it's explosive Dario Can we do, right like, a, like, an alcohol test where I just go in the straight line? No, no, no. Sir, I'm going to ask you one last time to exit the vehicle. All right? Okay. Down. But don't don't put cuffs on me. I don't like cuffs. No, I'm hard. not going to put Can cuffs on you. I just need you guys to exit the vehicle, get against the wall. Sure did. Perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. No, don't All make right. any quick movements, ma'am. Get against the wall. Oh, wow. Both okay. of you against the wall. She's not going to do anything. Both you're of you crazy. against the wall. Man, Let's you're go. nuts. Man, you're nuts. All right. All right. Get against the wall. Just remain there. 309. I'm going to need 77s here off at the burger shot. I'm going to have two individuals off. Believe to have a stolen motor vehicle. Sit tight, guys. I'm going to have to have this thing towed. Please, morning, you start uh, tight up of the last situation. Okay. 309, is PD tow going to be available? Uh oh, ma'am, get against the wall! Get against the wall! Get against the wall, ma'am! You're nuts! He's fleeing! He's fleeing! I'll come back for you! No, this is perfect. Watch this. Odds of him going back for his lady friend. Oh. Left northbound Buccaneer. Left westbound. Yeah, I got I got two vehicles now. Don't worry, I'm here. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you back up, please? Uh, I'm not going to my vehicle. I'll be on the way. Gotcha, gotcha. Why'd you make so me do that? What is this about? What? Emotion King. Me in my city? I didn't mean, I mean to tase you. Me I didn't mean. I, listen, you did force me to discharge my taser into your titties, but that's not the only thing I wouldn't mind discharging into those titties. How you doing today? You look good. Um, you get a new tattoo. 
Uh, PD from this one. Can I... we do, move the 1099 Bravo no. to uh, channel 2, please? Thank you. Hey, I mean, it looks it looks good. It's a good looking tattoo. Thank you. Yeah, Why yeah. Are you so nice what is to me? it? You, I mean, you, you didn't do anything me. wrong. I mean, I tased you because you ran at me at a traffic stop. I mean, I didn't have a choice. That was just procedure. Oh, okay. Procedure. Gotcha. So, uh, was that uh, is that guy's name actually Diego? Yes. Oh, it is perfect. All right. And what's your name again for the record, just so I can have it down? Zarina, Zarina Vega. Gotcha. My one of my favorites. You know, Miss Vega. If I wasn't in a committed relationship, I would be asking you out on a nice date right now. Well, that's very kind of you. Yeah. And you'd probably say yes. Would I really let the, you know, I know you flirted with Valentine Dollar too. She's one of my besties. She told me. Wait, that's how you wrangle a three-way. Say, say what now? <laughs> gotcha. So you said your name's Chrysanthemum. Um, no, but it could work. You know, I I don't really look like a Chris though. No, Chris Chrysanthemum. It's a, it's like a. Oh. I don't, it's a, oh, I need you to write your name down again, real quick. Oh, okay, Zarina. Zarina. How, how the hell do you spell Zarina? Let me get you out of these cuffs. Yeah, thank you. Gotcha. I would feel gotcha. much more comfortable. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. You know, sometimes my emotions get the best of me. So, uh, Zarina, how the, is that spelled with an X or a Z? It's it's a Z. Z Zer. Zarina. I'm a Z. Z A R like a car, but with Z. Like okay. Czar. Okay. Czar. Like a like a czar. Uh, yeah, like a czar. Yeah. Czar. I N A. You can net like the two together and gotcha, it's Zarina. Gotcha. Gotcha. Perfect. According to my birth certificate. Oh, all right. You need to ride anywhere. No, I walk these streets alone. I belong oh. to them. Okay, I got you. Well, you have a good one. I'm gonna go get a burger. Enjoy your burger, Officer Pratt. I will. Have a good one. He's definitely gonna call that guy. In the shorts, yeah, that's me. I'm pretty good. The individual in orange. Hundred percent. I woke up today and I chose violence. Yep. There she is. She's calling him right now. Walking down the road. Perfect. Perfect. As intended. Right, and then she should be. That's her. Right? That guy was about to get busted, wasn't he? Alright. Hold on, better. She probably saw me out of all honesty. I know this car is pretty low, but... Oh, she ran off the road. Perfect. Heading back up to the main road there. 
I doubt she knows I'm watching her right now. She ran back to the burger shot. Or did I just farm another court case, you think? I hope not. Do we have PD tool available? Shit. Alright, that plan didn't work. But this plan might. Diego something. Was it Diego what? Diego Wild. Got a fake ID. No, I just don't know how to spell. Oh, he's a piece of shit. Vehicle tornado. Four or two, fuck you one in actives. That four or two point eight and forty one. I believe there's no active at the moment besides a few turn and number bravos. Seven for I'll be ten Six, seven two, for the couple mics because somebody nine, eight, nine, the interceptor. One, five, How rude of them. Oh, uh, which one was it, Castor? Is it the Mustang? Uh, no, uh, the Demon. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, because I, I had someone repair the Mustang yesterday. I was just making sure. Okay, good. Nah, it's, um, yeah, it's Demon. Do -do. Second. Yo, what's going on? Oh. What's going on? Better is, uh, is it you? Oh, this is not you. What is this? What's going on? Hello? Hey, you're cutting off. You're, you, you're cutting off. Yo, what's going on? What? Why did you call me? You don't know. That's crazy. What's your name? It's Diego Wild. <laughs> Got you, fucker. Enjoy the warrant. Have a good one. Oh my. Perfect. Uh, fill this out. Diego. Okay. Oh. How come it didn't wait? How come it didn't add? Diego. How come you have to type in Diego Wild for it to come up? Add. Is the MDW broken? Like, yeah, it's, it, it was doing this earlier. It's doing it again. You can't add anybody. Um, it was fixed at Tsunami, but it looks to be broken again. All right, I'm gonna go fuck myself. Ten seven. I come help you for your name, but I can't get there in a broken car. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Yep, stay out of hey, trouble. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Doing oh, good. Hello. You want to go gamble? It isn't my favorite Zarina. Uh, no, no, I don't feel like gambling. It's a scam. <laughs> I don't know that car is hot. Uh, the word is on the inside, it's ready to pop. Look, look, people have been saying that for a month and a half. Um, I lost 40K on Omega Spins yesterday. I'm just going to... Uh, you know, I've decided that I'm fine with going into uh, astronomical amounts of debt. Like, I, I can live with that. Have you ever thought about rehab? Nope. Rehab, rehab is rehab? Uh, for quitters. But don't quit gambling, son. 
I mean, I'm not going to quit gambling. I gamble with my girlfriend every day when I don't wear a rubber. Ugh, gross. I'm a dice roll. I like oh. to roll the dice. You like to go in bareback, huh? Yep, no other way. He's a very raw type of guy. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm raw to the core. Um, can raw I get a murder high. meal, please? Of course, anything for a fellow human. Yeah, thanks, um, there, uh, Jim. What was your name? Something human. Charlie Human. Oh, that's I right, Charlie. a 97-year-old menopausal female. Oh, my God. 97? Uh, I think he's gonna live to... Are you trying to call me old? Um, you know, uh... Yeah, you're old as shit. That is right. I was around during the World War. Oh, okay. One complimentary milkshake and a murder meal is on the tray. Oh, made thanks. By 100% human hands. Is Lang Buddha banned from here? Yes. Oh, what'd he do? Dude, us up. Oh! Up our employees. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. Give him the nine. We tried. I think we did. We will make him into a burger. Oh, that, that sounds decadent. <laughs> God, I love Pillbot. So far, today's been pretty good. I've enjoyed my interactions so far. I don't know why. That Zarina girl makes me laugh. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> she has a good voice. I'm going to get uh, Diego Wild. Reminds you of Molly. No, I don't think so. I haven't seen Molly in forever. I mean, when's the last time you've seen Molly on the server, you know? It's been a bit. It's been a, it's been a long bit, actually. Give me one quick second, guys. I gotta run downstairs real quick. Real fast. Traffic eastbound San Andreas with a cyber truck occupied two times. How the fuck do you forget a straw? How the fuck? Hey, what's up, Espinos? Hey, how's it going, Kyle? Everything good? Yeah, everything's pretty good. What are you up to? I don't much. Just uh, responding a couple calls. Just wanted to let you know that the uh, CG and the Bolas are at war. Yeah, the dispatch were telling me about that. Over at oh, Crusade really? Medical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were Dutch London. posted up there. There was a vault robbery this morning, but uh, about two out of the four, and uh, one of the guys had the money. All right. Shit. Yeah, other than that, everything's good. We had um, no interceptor for like a couple hours. And uh, finally, you're around, and Castleman apparently is around now. So it's good. Yeah, um, I'm going to talk to Snow about seeing if we can get a few more people asserted. He, hopefully, he'll be around tomorrow. I'll yeah, shoot be him good a day. Listen, if, 
if, if you if you need an interceptor driver, I'm a, I'm I'm there. I'm I'm available, Fred. Oh, we'll do. We got shots <laughs> coming from Forum. Yeah, I know you're. I know, actually know you're a pretty good driver. I'm sure you can uh, pass the trials. But I also want to talk to him about potentially getting some people who are kind of like, you know, backup certed on those vehicles. Yeah, I just want to so like can... be backup. Like I don't even like care about. Like I uh, um, I like being canine. I like being the backup role. Like, and then if if there's no interceptors around, and uh, yeah, like, we need them. I mean, yeah, uh, doing chases or getting into night or 80s nowadays without a fucking uh, interceptor against something that's like pretty good and upgraded is like it's pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sounds good, Fred. Let me know if you need me. I'll be around for a little bit. Uh, I've uh, kind of been uh, on no sleep mode. Because uh, uh, yesterday I had a really long day. I so. can tell. I mean, um, yeah, you have a good one. All right, pal. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. I miss you. <laughs> well, what caused the war? Does anybody know? Uh, it's probably better not to talk about. I know how this stuff. Garlic snot. Thanks for the five months. I really appreciate that. Poop shoot noob. Thanks for the 300 bits. Pro player bomb. Thanks for the 15 months. Damn Eric. Thanks for the 20 months. Leon. Thanks for the eight. The fuck. All right. What's the 20? Left, northbound. Is this 8 plus? I'm not. Is it? Yeah. What's the 20 again? Uh, it's gonna be eastbound Las Lagunas Boulevard, uh, behind, near the pole. 76. Uh, the banshee's taken off, but the vehicle's been tampered with for sure. Disregard, banshee's still in the area, it's just hiding out in the alleyway, eastbound. I got the banshee. It's gonna be westbound Van Boulevard, left, southbound Las Lagunas. 309 secondary southbound Las Lagunas left. We're gonna be eastbound on to Spanish. Gotcha, Madison. You wanna come over here for the stop? Or are you guys occupied over a street over? I've got the vehicle, but I'm happy to go over there if someone wants to take my place with Frost. I can get the vehicle mounted for you. Alright, 606, I'm 76 to you guys. Copy. Six oh six rolling twenty-three. Uh, were you getting these guys on? Were they actually the time frame at all? Six oh six, they're in the direct area. Uh literally parked right next to the thing. One of them was starting to leave the vehicle, ran to the banshee. Uh they proceeded to rock. Right, I'm gonna ask them to step out. Yeah, let's try and get them to step out. Odds are they're gonna flee. Let's see what that Benji do, bro. Let's see what it do, bro. Right, southbound. Looking I'm stuck. <laughs> right, westbound. How it immediate left? Another left. Gonna be eastbound. 1050 down. Do we, do we know what class that vehicle is? It's a banshee. I'm not sure if it's. Uh, it has a custom. It has a big ass spoiler on the back, so I'm unsure. The A or A 
A plus, depending on the fish. Six four to be on that banshee. Last thing you need is about occupation. That wasn't an RX-7. Uh, Jay Bridge, thanks for the nine gift subs. Custom mods. Yeah, that was so definitely Bobo. Plus. If it becomes evident for the chase that it's not, it's just cosmetics only, then I'll jump down. I wouldn't wait and then lose them because you never went out. Yeah, it's a mistake I've been making a lot lately is I've just been trying to dictate which mode a fucking car is. You can know, like I said, put it to scale A plus and then uh, realize, okay, I can keep up easily and scale down. Me yeah, and Snow are doing the same thing, and we agreed it would be better to go up and down as opposed to wait and then lose them. Yeah, A firm, that makes the most sense. Of course, I'm back to now from getting the vehicle apart. It's almost under 12k, bro. I think we're gonna fall under 12k today, I'm pretty sure. Need. <laughs> what do you need, ma'am? What do you fucking need? Maybe we should uh, do AFK today. I'm not really sure how it would go with like the the, the super early the morning crowd. Yo, Hotware, thanks for the five months of Prime. Power went out while she was uh, sending that 911. Power, yeah, that's what it fucking seems like. 389 from dispatch. I go for 39. Can you 25 with me? Al dente, dude, Al dente is funny. I kind of lo low key love torturing the dispatch and the cops that are around. And it's funny because they let me do it too. <laughs> the voice was pretty good, I thought. Rip Richard Dragon? No, oh, true. We could always do Dragon Richard. Dragon Dick. Oh, yeah, that was funny. Papa 92 to 76, 911 at Burger Shot. Dick Patch from 606. Send it. Alright. PD picking up their phone. Can we get a tow truck out to my 20 uh, on lots of units? 309, I'm gonna come back you up. Dick, dick cranium. Dickhead. That's not an original name. just a D class <laughs> C class or whatever I don't know the class of fucking vehicles I'm gonna be honest vehicle classes ew who man huh so how's everybody's morning going so far you good I think I'll do AFK later today and then save Richard Simmons for Tuesday because I want to try and do a variety like I want to try and do hmm. I don't know when I want to do Richard Simmons I just all right, I'm not gonna lie to you I just had a brain fart on what day it was it's Thursday all right fuck me sometimes it'd be like that you just forget the fucking day of the week Sab thought yesterday was Tuesday. 
That motherfucker probably slept for two days because he did like, what, 28 hours or some shit? Fuck doing subathons, man. Like, it's cool and everything. I'm glad you guys like them, but I fucking hate them. The former dispatcher. That was Ben Affleck. And I beat them with a hammer. There's not enough cops on to, uh, on right now for us to really do anything else. Which kind of fucking sucks. I'll be real with you. I don't really... It's not that I don't feel like playing cop. I just don't feel like playing Pred today. Yeah, it was Ben Affleck. That was the name of the dispatcher. It's quiet. Yeah, maybe we should make a character and liven things up. Maybe I should start a gang. <laughs> what happened to Walter? I didn't get enough out. I don't have enough outfits for him, Saber. And I couldn't pinpoint a good fucking voice for him that was, like, unique enough. Cop killer 2. Uh, I don't know. Marty, Marty might be fun, but I don't feel like, I actually don't feel like racing. Trying to think, um, I've been trying to brainstorm lately so hard of a new main character. Something that, like, promotes a lot of RP. I'm not sure if I can do my senator's voice yet. He's not a, I should point out that he's not a real senator, I'm just saying he's a senator. Jobby Jouster, thanks for the brand new tier one. Papa 92, clear of team 911 burger shop, back tonight. Mario and Marty, yeah, I love Mario. The serial kicker. The serial kicker can't afford to rent a bike anymore. <laughs> the serial kicker is too broke to afford a bike. Any update on a sniper? I've never asked. Sniper rifle. Uh, look, I don't like to ask for uh, mechanics and shit. I kind of feel like, in my mind, that uh, not having the mechanics that you need encourages you to think more outside of the box, which is better for roleplay. I don't really like uh, relying on mechanics. Where's the BTF when you need them? Let's see where this breaking and entering is. 176, uh, late stay, one alpha. Yeah, 309. I'm going to come back you up there, Jaden. If I was going to make, all right, if I was going to join any gang, it would be the Vagos for sure. Seven, there is a green bike outside. There is a man. There's someone inside hitting the registers. Gabby, did you confirm it? 76. going to be an activator with a green bike heading eastbound Kingston Ave. Oh, it's fast as fuck. Should I go A plus? Yes, A plus, A plus. Uh, it's going eastbound Clinton. I'm BCB. Uh, the man was wearing a yellow mask. That's all I really saw. He might have cut onto... Green bike. I have it. He's going eastbound Bible Boulevard. Holy fuck, that thing's a goddamn rocket. He went right, southbound. Took the next right. BCB again. Go on, Sheriff, he's hiding behind his blue thing. Behind you. Oh, get his ass. Good shit, Jaden. He's back on to take home. We're going to be westbound on Mirror Park. This thing is, uh, Casper. This thing might be S+. Plus. Oh, never mind. I'm on him pretty good now. We're westbound on Vinewood. 42 seconds. be westbound. Oh, I might just murdered a man. I'm gonna break off one sec. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, run that over. Ah, good. We're gonna be southbound on Alta Street. It'll strengthen him up a little bit. Hopefully, you didn't kill him. 
If you killed him, we'll just plead guilty to it, all right? Manslaughter. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, guys, can we get you to uh, Vengo, please? We're passing the Alta Street Apartments now. High rates of speed, 140 plus. Right. Westbound, Adam Zappel. Left. And then continuing left. Oh, he's going off-road. We're going to be uh, parallel to Innocence. He's pulling out onto pa La Puerta Freeway. Coming up onto Innocence now. Left. Eastbound on Innocence Boulevard. Might be heading into the south side. Yeah, he's full sending it past the Mega Mall right now. It's going to be eastbound on Davis. Right. I'm having a hard time breaking. Sending it down Bruce Street. Westbound right on the uh, Grove. Going to be coming. Exiting out of Grove. Northbound. Left hand turns. You're going towards Maze Bank Arena. He, he went to the canals. Canals. Gotcha. He's going southbound through the canals. He's going to be up on. He's on the path behind Grove. Copy. Stay on him. Right, southbound. He's heading towards Maze Bank. Shit. If he's approaching Maze Bank, I'm gonna be VCB, VCB right now. I'm gonna keep going southbound, Dutch London. Oh, he's U-turn. He's coming back to Grove area. Going eastbound, Dutch London. I'm on his ass. He's heading into the canals. I think I got speed on you, Jaden. Okay, go for it. Continuing westbound through the canals behind Grove. Right, I'm gonna have that banshee from the last boost at the next boost off uh, eastbound, the speed sheet with the Turismo. I'll challenge you, I'll be on. Wait for my last boost and then more. Jaden, get back on comms if you can for this bike. Eastbound, Davis Ave. I can't see it from this far out. Eastbound on Davis Avenue. Passing the Crusade Medical Hospital. Making a right. And then an immediate left. Going to be northbound on Little Bighorn. Left. Westbound Crusade Road. Once again, we're passing Crusade Medical. Left. Eastbound on Innocence Boulevard. Six oh one secondary continuing eastbound Innocence Boulevard. I want to give him enough right, distance huh? that I can like turn good. Continuing eastbound Innocence Boulevard. We've crossed the Elysian Fields turn off. Southbound El Rancho. Then southbound El Rancho, passing the oil field. Continuing westbound El Rancho. Continuing westbound El Rancho. Just throw some at me. We're heading into the barrio area. Slowing down off Carson Ave, westbound. Just outside the barrio. Stony Plus. Continuing westbound Carson. I'm in A plus. Left southbound. Davis. BCB. Eastbound Davis. Left. Making a going northbound here along Brogue, right. Gonna be eastbound on Carson. Another immediate left, making a U turn onto Carson here. Gonna be westbound. 42 seconds, westbound Carson. Chocolate weather clear, speed pick him up 100. Damn, he got a lot of distance on us on that fucking U turn. Right north on Alter. He's not on the tracks, he's staying northbound. Go pass me when you can, Casterman. Stop pushing north on all stuff. Right. East. Street Street Boulevard. Left north and upper level power. 
U turn, U turn. Pass, pass me. Secondary, southbound on Power Street. Left onto Vespucci, traveling eastbound. High rates of speed. He just crossed Strawberry. Left, going to be pat turning right in front of the uh, MRPD. Northbound on center, left onto San Andreas, traveling westbound. I'm, I'm going to be VCB caster, you're going to have to call this. Southern westbound in San Andreas, traffic is light weather, it is fucking beautiful, 150 miles lower. Switching burger shot, right, disregard that left, southbound, Decker Street. Left, east, Vespucci, left, northbound, Ginger Street. Thought I didn't have to break as much on left, that turn. West, San Andreas, right, northbound, Movie Star Way. Switching life in there. Right, east, south of the Vardo Perdo. Local. He's not pushing east. Go east, go east, go east. Memphis, so. I've got him. He's going eastbound on 8 Milton. And he's very far, though. He went uh, south on Las Lagunas. I'm BCB. I saw him south on Las Lagunas. I just struck a man. <laughs> Was it the same one? Hey, hey, how you doing there, pal? My bike? Yeah, yeah, your bike's uh, all the way across the street. Regained eyes is going to be right here on Vespucci. You need medical? You're good. We're going to be southbound on Alta Alta. Street. Pass me when you can, Casper. Yeah, with he it. is toying with us. We're gonna be eastbound, uh, northbound on Power Street, hitting upper. We continue at high rates of speed southbound on power. Right onto Adam's Apple, going westbound on VCB. Right north on Alta. Wasn't there to travel back on Crest Lanes into the Alder Street Apartments? Get me back up. I think we're good for now. We, if anything, we need more there. Good for the apartments, right, eastbound. Just Gucci. Right. Right. secondary, right, southbound. Stay on him, I'm grabbing a bike. Left, eastbound, Adam's Apple. Passing PDM. On to Olympic Freeway. Hey! He's sending it eastbound Olympic. He is taking the off ramp off of Olympic. Standby for direction. We're going northbound, Elysian Fields. Right, off road. Uh, VCB. Right, southbound, Orion Chul. Southbound, Orion Chul. Speed's picking up 100. Closing lanes of travel. Right. The fuck is the bike called? West Capitol Boulevard. 601 Secondary, Westbound Capital Boulevard. Left, Southbound Davis. Oh shit. You guys are right, I've completely forgot. Left, Eastbound. I forgot we had a fucking uh, different Boston motor Bigmore. pool. Eastbound Carson. Right, southbound into an alleyway of 
Carson behind the Barrio area. Just like 78, 78, Barrio, 78, Barrio. Get the fuck out of my way! Get the fuck out of my way! Two, class two! Yeah, I'm here. Let me put this away. <sighs> <sighs> Still up, Costman was deep inside the barrio alleyways. 60376. Right, we need descriptions, Jade, and everything. Uh, the person on the bike was a yellow mask, but I, I didn't get I didn't get really a glimpse of anything. I was just trying to get out. Okay, or not for Left him to die? This is the fourth one of three. Dip it, the fuck? Is that a bravo too? Is that a Bravo off of, uh, near the Mission Road PD as well? We have a 78 call at the barrier. Mm. Looks like to the Bravo. Mm. When you come down Carson eastbound, if you take a right, that's the alleyways. Break 604, I think I have shots fired off of Grove as well. I hear shots coming from west of Carson. Call yeah, definitely active shots fired from uh, near Grove, westbound Carson and Roy Lowenstein. Could possibly be our guys moving mobile from this area northbound. Yeah, I got eyes on like a cream and color vehicle. Leaving the area. It's gonna be eastbound here along Dutch London. Oh shit! I'm getting shot at by a bike! Yeah, I'm getting shot at by the bike! On me! Is the bike a local? No, 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 it's the green one! He has an Uzi on it. He's off of Carson. I don't know where the fuck he went. We should group together, though. We have Casterman down here. Yeah, 310. I'm moving Casterman out of here. Again, be advised there are individuals on rooftops just off of Groves. Multiple class 2 fire coming from Grove as well. It's still ringing out. I'm looking for the motorcycle. This one being left behind of the uh, interceptor is down. I don't got any eyes on that motorcycle that opened fire on me. Is the interceptor broken? I just need a repair kit. Sheriff, you want to call me while I repair it? Yeah, I'm on you. The gloves right next to you. <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing? Um, I was I was pulling out a motor unit. EMS send it. 1012 Cruz's Hospital, please. A firm. Hey, how you doing? Let's get those hands up, sir. Gotcha. I have one person here with his hands up. He's running. He's running through the backyards. Unsure if he's armed or not. He's wearing all black, yellow bandana. So he's running um, eastbound towards that road. No, he ran, ran into I the other. The I lost visual on him. Can I jump up on this? No. Uh, what, what's 
Sorry, is this a gang war right now happening, or what's going on? I don't know what the fuck happened. That bike lost us, then it like like set us up, set Casterman up. No, me, me and Casterman followed the bike into these alleyways, and that's when they had an ambush set. There's been multiple gang shootings going on the last few hours. We had one on Strawberry about three hours ago, and about an hour ago, another one off Crusade. It appears to be the ballers and CG are at war. Sheriff, right next to that building you were standing here, exactly where uh, Esmeralda got shot, I've got a bike coming back to Reggie Might right here. Gotcha. That's not the. That's not going to be the bike. I don't think. The bike we're looking for is uh, green in color, I believe. If you know what happened, when me and Cosmo followed into this ambush, I hit my reverse and I ran two of them over. <laughs> Good shit, Jaden. That's what I like to see. I was fuck yeah, I'm just I'm getting the fuck out of it. They were just in my way. Hell yeah, definitely run them down. I was grabbing a motorcycle out so I could London style that piece of shit. What'd you say, Cross? Are we able to get um, the Interceptor and Casterman out of here? Is anybody doubled up? Nice. Nice little server crash. Not a big deal. Just a nice little server crash. You know. You know how it'd be sometimes. Chat, but remember, if you're new to the stream, hit that follow button. Really do appreciate it. Maybe the MDW is fixed now? Oh, maybe. I mean, that is pretty essential. Fuck no. Well, fuck you. How's that? That's fine. You don't have to. Pleb Lord, thanks for the brand new tier one. Really do appreciate it. Ah, baby. Oh, boy. I need to drink some water, though. My throat's a little dry. I look ridiculous like this. I look ridiculous like this. Use five. I like the short sleeves. I think short sleeves is my trademark look. Hey! Did the server completely restart? No, it didn't. All right. Hello, Sheriff. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. All right, we got to go operation retrieve about six vehicles from the barrio. All right, get some. Yeah, get some. I, yeah, uh, good luck with that. Car, so. Yeah, we don't need luck. Trust me, we got this. Yeah, the last thing I was trying to tell you is that there's literally a stop car right next to Reggie's bike. Right next to where Pastor me got shot. There's a what? There's a scratched off VIN car right there. Oh, sweet. Well, we might as well take <laughs> that with us, too. You know? It was a six by six dust. Oh, yeah, so God crazy. knows how much that was worth. I'm gonna go grab a car. We're gonna leave the VIN scratch. We're gonna leave that Six fucker. 11 is 10-8. We'll be ferrying bodies down to the barrio. 
Gotcha, we gotta retrieve all of our uh, PD equipment that we left down there. It's about six cruisers, an interceptor. Boy, howdy. Uh, Bearcat. Uh, no, just in case they decide to open fire on us. Let's just ferry down there separately with a couple cruisers. Operation Car Retrieval is in effect. Everybody meet in the 25 with me at the garage. <laughs> Alright, everybody, 25 with me in the garage. Is it garage or garage? Garage. This is America, sir. That's yeah, true. America, that's aluminium. I don't know what you just said, but I think you said aluminum. Yeah, it's how British people say alu al aluminum. Aluminium Not doesn't... Aluminium. Doesn't make any sense. All right, perfect. Hmm. No trap. Sometimes I tuck my dick in my sack between my legs and pretend to be a woman. Yeah. Yo, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Don't act like you haven't done it. You ever been shaving your pubes and then say fuck it halfway through and then just stop? I did that. Looks really odd. Boy, howdy. Yeah, we're gonna need more people. That's for sure. Before we go down there. This is not enough. You think they're gonna? You think they're gonna? I don't know where everyone else is. I, we've literally been waiting. They're coming. Someone's already down in the south side. Are they? 353 is in the south side. Oh god. Oh, maybe he's just hanging By out himself. down there. <laughs> Nova's just taking shots down there. <laughs> Jeez. There's people at the hospital. Dord gum. Thanks for your two I feel months. bad for leaving Cosmer behind, but... Alright, let's go retrieve our shit. Fuck it. Would anyone else have done the same? Just reverse the fuck out there. Not get shot. Uh, and then I would have. Oh my god! Of so course I would have. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called a tactical thing. retreat, Jaden. You're learning from your sheriff. Well, don't worry. Oh, I got the, down. Don't worry. I got the tactic for this. All right, we Wait. pull in there. I got the megaphone ready. Oh boy. Well, my car isn't actually in the bar. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? I dipped. I dipped out pretty far. Oh. I thought the MO was to also not be a fucking pussy. The M.O., yeah, don't, not to be a pussy, but, I mean, don't uh, don't die. A tactical retreat doesn't mean you're being a pussy. Yeah, it, it doesn't mean you're coming mean, back you're, and kill you're, them. Exactly. You're only, you're only retreating because you're at a disadvantage when you want to return at an advantage. Yeah, the, the light's to oh, the left. Let, the, right let them right keep the shooting each other. They'll be fine. Where did the yeah, bus too. come from? Uh, are we the lights and the sirens? Why are we going that's to the left? That's my one. The one with the We're sirens, going for it. We're gonna grab everything. Don't worry, I got a megaphone. I'm gonna let them know that. What the fuck? Where, we'll, where are you? We'll ignore them if they ignore us. Do you not see us. the lights? Do you not hear the sirens? The lights? No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. I need you to direct me. It is past okay. it. It's to the behind us we to the fucking left. It. No, I can't see or hear his car. Really? Okay. I can, I can yes. hear it, but I can't see it. To the right. Yep, to the right, and bam, right there. Yeah, there it is. I left the sirens, so we'll bait them, but they never came. Oh, perfect. Okay, if he disappears on me. In a second, then He'll be I'm fine. gonna have to wake up again. All right, let's go retrieve the vehicles. <laughs> Where is this bus? Here we go. Hold on. Let me get out here real quick. I need to megaphone them. All right, listen here. We come in peace. We are only here to retrieve vehicles. Time out. Time out.
be sharp, eh? Time out! Perfect! Hey, how you doing down there? We're here to retrieve the vehicles! Our heads popped! I'm not trying to make this awkward, you are! Perfect! <laughs> Hmm. Uh. All right, time out, time out. Time out. Time out. Too many head pops, time out. Too many right, head right, pops, right. time out. Repair your shit. Let's go. Cancel. Right. Cancel. We're getting it all out of here. Abort. 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 That's why my car was here. Abort. Abort. Uh, how many vehicles are down? No, we don't need a tow. We're fine. Is there um? Is there any more police? Ve oh, okay. Vehicles are just appearing in front of me. That was mine, sir. Yeah, I might yeah, be. Oh, okay, cool. good. Everything. Uh, just uh, use your phone. Oh, it's a shared one. I right, just get. Oh. All right. Huh. All right, perfect. Well. Nice. Huh. The barrio is fucked. The barrio is fucked. Possibly. Potentially. Potentially pretty fucked. New world. No, thank you. I don't feel like waiting in queue. I don't feel like le I don't feel like grinding. Oh, scratching my head right now. It feels so good. You ever just do that? Do any of you guys, dude? I love getting my head scratched. Holy fuck! I love getting my head scratched so much. It's like my favorite thing. I could just lay down and let someone scratch my fucking head all day. Best thing ever. Cop Sim. Nah, I don't feel like playing cop. I can't even remember how to play fucking Cop Sim. Uh. Um. Ah, son of a bitch, dude. Eighty thousand channel points isn't enough for a signed feet pick. FF fourteen. I'm not playing any MMOs. I am not playing any MMOs. All right. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like it's just the barrio. I have five hundred thousand. Hmm. You know, at one point I wanted to do. Uh, a certain amount of points got you a sub. Then I realized that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> There's something wrong with the server, I think. Something wrong with the uh, server. Let's see, try getting in again. Perfect. Do do do. Round two. Round th round three. Variety time. I was planning on doing some variety shit today, not gonna lie. Just didn't know what I wanted to do. Kinda wanna play a horror game. Okay, I was reading OOC. Gas Station Simulator? Nah, I don't feel like playing Gas Station Simulator. Cuckold Sim. 
Look, I'm not trying to roll the dice to play Cuckold Sim. You know, low key, that game seems like it might even be a little too much for me to push the envelope with. As funny as it would be. Medal of Honor. Dude, I'm trying to remember. What's the Medal of Honor game where you start off and it's D-Day? Where the first mission is D-Day? Used to fucking play that level all the time. The game was fucking sick. Was it Frontline? It was on PlayStation 2. Now that game was a fucking classic and a half. I loved that game. Star Wars Battlefront. Dude, remember when I tried playing Battlefront like a month and a half ago, and because XQC doesn't play it anymore, it's dead? It's actually a really good fucking game. I don't understand why it's dead. Ah, uh, those Sith Troopers, man. They'll get you. Hey, guys! Ugh! Don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just uh, grabbing my things. <laughs> grabbing my things. Don't mind me. A 9 at 5 driving a... I just almost popped again. Oh. Did somebody grab my banshee for me? Hey, bro, it's totally oh, thank you so much. Well, let me head on hey, back. Well, 601 Oscar on the radio. Yeah, did you drove my interceptor back, right? Yeah. All right, hold on. VDM, VDM, excuse me. <laughs> we got emperor. Oh, sorry uh, about that. One suspect and an emperor occupied VDM, one suspect. Going west on Carson Avenue. VDM, never not funny, it, it, it is never, never not funny. funny. VDM is always funny. Excuse me. Excuse, yeah. I can't get through here. Hey, hey, don't kick my, my emperor. I'll escalate this situation, I promise. I will escalate. Even the yellow game. I mean, fuck the barrel anyway, because they're just going to shoot us, what, from what it seems? Oh, it's very nice. They were protecting our cars from other people. Yeah, they were helping us out. They're not bad guys. They're just misunderstood. Hmm. Wouldn't be a bad idea right now. Sir, I... Be a terrible idea. I'm not going to head pop a helicopter. There's no recovering that. Bad Company 2 on Xbox Live. Now that was a fun one. It was on Xbox Live, wasn't it? I, was, I remember my friend used to play that shit all the fucking time. I think I'd, uh... Hey, how you doing, Jenny? I'm okay, how are you? Doing good, you look great. Thanks. How's everything going? It's all right. Uh, just everyone's getting shot in the south side, I hear. Yeah, yeah, it happens. I mean, it was only one of us, and it was Casterman. But we recovered everything. I mean, we were ready to pounce. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. like lions. We were ready mm -hmm. to pounce on them. Rawr. Right. Yeah. Where's my car? No idea. Huh. Did you leave it south side? No, no, someone brought it up here for me. Oh, I'll be down there then. Yeah, I'll grab it. I haven't played. I, ne I didn't play the Halo Infinite beta. It was too complicated for me to figure out exactly what it is I needed to fucking do. All right, you need to wait for this flight. We got flights. We got all this shit. And I'm just like, all right, how come I can't just download the game and fucking play it? Why do I have to sign up for your newsletter? <laughs> Why the fuck do I have to sign up for your fucking newsletter? Forge, what was the original reason for that chase? Good one. Jaden, what was the... Wasn't it just a fleeing, a speeding vehicle? Oh, no, it was, um... 90, 
Someone was opening up uh, tills over at the uh, store off of Clinton. They shot me for a 24 7? <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, they killed you over like 30 bucks. Alright, let me tell you this, Casper. If this was like the 1920s, that $30 would equate to about $150 in today's time, so. Let's look at it that way. They killed you over $150. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> yeah, that's good money. Black Ops, dude. What's, what was it? Call of Duty, fuck. What was the one off after four that wasn't Black Ops? It was the World War II one? It was like the first one to have zombies or whatever shit. World at War, yeah. World at War was good. Huh. Hopefully I got something fun planned this upcoming week. Hopefully. Setting some things up. Have I ever played Sleeping Dogs? No. Actually, yeah, yeah, I played Sleeping Dogs when it first came out. But, uh, never really got too into it. That was back when I was poor. And I was gaming on a... MacBook Pro with a Windows partition. Yeah, that was back when I was poor. I was gaming on my college laptop. Yeah, that's how you know you're down bad. Eric Blackberry, thanks for the gift sub. Used to play DayZ in like 20 FPS. Good fucking time. 20, 30 FPS if I was lucky. Alien Isolation? Alien Isolation is probably one of my favorite games of that I played last year. Boot Camp. Yeah, yeah, Boot Camp. Fucking playing uh, Oblivion. Oblivion was fun on my Mac. On my Boot Camp partition. Used to play a lot of fucking Oblivion. Dark Pictures Anthology? Isn't that that shitty game I played with Mecha? That's that shitty game I played with Mecha, right? KS King, thanks for the 31 months. Ugh, that game was shit. That game was fucking ass. Seriously, that game was fucking ass. Dude. Ugh. What a trash fucking game. Hot tub stream when? <laughs> when I go over your mother's house. I wouldn't mind getting a hot tub if I had an actual house. Get one of those nice little sauna tubs upstairs. Just lay in there with some bath bubbles. I don't know if I can play. I don't know if I can RP today. I don't know. I'm just not feeling RP today. I'm going to be honest. Okay. I am just not feeling roleplay today. Right. Have you played Resident Evil Village with max settings and ray tracing? No, I haven't. Foxhole or Hell Let Loose? No. Ugh. Foxhole trash. Be fun to play with friends. That's for sure. But something to play by yourself? Ugh, God, no. I want to go through my Steam library real quick. Oh, yeah, I found out why, um... Shit. I found out why my... I found out why I got so many porn game recommendations. That's because I accidentally bought a porn game. And I didn't even know it when I was going through my shit. Hold on real quick. What is it called? Yeah. No, no, it was a complete accident. Cow milking simulator. When did I get this? Oh, that's a VR game. 
I have to remember that one. Uh, dude, I bought so many games planning for us to play them. It's like called There Will Be Blood or something like that. I don't know. As you guys can tell, I have a lot of fucking games. Welcome to every streamer's library of fucking $20,000 and plus of fucking games. Rec Room. Oh, no, that's a VR thing, too. Road 96. Hold on. Let me uninstall that. That game again. Perfect. Sim Casino. Sims 4 update required. You have 1.5K. No, there's no way I have 1.5K. No way. Um, this, this land is my land. Uh, I don't know what that is. Most of this shit, I don't even know what it is. Subnautica, suck my dick. Ugh. I need to think. Where's this game at? I'm trying to show you guys this game. Yo, Matt Cat, thanks for 22 months. Appreciate that. Naraka Blade Point? Why do I have that installed? Uninstall that too. New World? Ugh, suck me. Have all these games. Lunch Lady would be fun with some people. That's a game I've been wanting to get together for a bit. Lunch Lady. Gotta shave my face. Yo, Vine, thanks for the 23 months. And Matt Cat, once again, thanks for 22 months. Jump King, hell no. Anyone who plays that is a glutton for punishment. Can you find the porn game I bought by accident? Dyson Sphere. Duck Season. I want to play this the upcoming month. Duck Season? I want to play this fucking game. During, during, dude, I'm installing it now so I don't forget. Search for nudity. Doki Doki Literature Club could be funny. We could do a Doki Doki stream. No. Fuck no. Hell no. Suck me. Cow milking simulator. I've been ready to play Bully for a while, but I just haven't. Maybe we should play Bully today. Bigfoot would be fun. Bully's such a clap. Bully's not like... All right, look, here's the thing, though. If you start a game like Bully, it's not a game you can beat in one fucking sitting. You know what I mean? And I kind of want to play something scary. want to play something... Death Stranding? Ew. In Sounds Mine? What's that? Sounds mine. What'd you say it's called? In sound mind. What is this? Oh, is this supposed to be a horror game? Psychological horror. This game looks pretty badass, actually. What are the reviews like for it? It's not a porn game, is it? Oh god, mannequins! Oh no, it's psychological. Dude, I'm buying this. That's a good one for, for the upcoming month. Yo, Lil, T uh, Lil Thomas, thank you so much for the six months. 
That's a that's actually a pretty good looking game. Are there any uh, alien abduction hard? They are here, alien abduction horror. They are here, alien abduction horror. They are here. This is a horror game. Early 20, it looks like it runs really good. I'll add that to my wish list. I'll look into that. Yo, hello, I'm Kyle's mom. Thanks for the 10 bomb and you're not my mom. I told my mom to stay very far away from my Twitch. Burgers and Fright. They are here isn't horror. It's not. It says it's it says it's survival horror. See. Survival horror. Oh! Oh, it's Grays too. Ew. Ew. Yo, dude, Vind, uh, Vind, thanks for the gift sub. I do appreciate that. So hard to find, dude. I can't just play games. I need to, like, plan something in advance. But I'm probably going to end up happening back on GTA. I'm just kind of chilling right now. Huh. Can't find the game that I, I bought that was accidentally a porn game. Dude, this game was shit. Overkills The Walking Dead. I got it for free and I wanted to res return it. Oh my god, what a piece of trash. What an absolute piece of fucking garbage. Oh, this is it. She will punish them. Well, I'll make sure when I click it, nothing... Uh. A good thing I didn't click that one. Yeah, it's called She Will Punish Them. I thought this would be a fun game to play until I realized that it's about nudity and all types of shit. Until it's adult rated. I, I had no idea. I had, I had no fucking clue. Color, uh, color me stupid. It's allowed on Twitch? Is it allowed on Twitch though? Up tits and ass. Uh, nothing like a, uh, nothing like um, you know TNA. It's allowed on Twitch. Nim played it. I doubt it's allowed on Twitch. As long as the nudity's not over the top. So if a girl's fucking herself with her sword hilt, is that considered over the top? I'm just asking for a friend. If she's fucking herself with her sword. <laughs> it's risque. Oh, okay, it's risque. As long as she uses protection. What, has a shield? You're gonna fuck yourself with a sword handle, you gotta have a shield. Then it's okay. Let me get my fucking... All right. Hmm. How many cops are even on right now? This shit's annoying. Only fucking 10. Be it'd be a waste to bring out one of these characters I want to do now. Son of a bitch. Hit Carl, the Matador. What's the point of playing the Matador when no cops respond to my calls? The Peef, thanks for the 11 months, dude. Chad, I hope you guys are enjoying today's stream. Ah. Yes! Yes! Maybe we could, dude. Let me think of something. 
trying to think. Ooh. Uh oh, so apparently somebody's a miserable fuck. Perfect. Let me check that out. Let me see what he said. Let's see what he said. Uh uh. Yeah, we'll just ban that guy. Jordan Steele following in his brother's footsteps would be funny. Time for cop evaluations. Ah. I don't know. I don't know what I feel like playing. I kind of don't feel like playing cop right now. But then I also don't feel like dogpiling onto people, like the current cops with like the shit that they got to put up with. Oh my god, I think it'd be funny to make a bala and just walk around the fucking walk, walk around Grove Street. Just like make a, a do not a local, but like as a bala. Walk around Grove Street. <laughs> wallpaper simulator. What the fuck is wallpaper simulator? Sounds like an even worse game than fucking. What was that fucking. What was that wash game that I was trying to play? Can't remember what the fuck it was called. Power washer simulator. Oh my god. Ugh. Boring as shit. Get some! Dude, I played that game for 35 minutes and I just wanted to die. Like, I was sitting at my fucking computer desk just praying I had a fucking heart attack. Have I played Destiny before? Yeah, I played Destiny. I played both of them. Astral State, thanks for the 33 months. And Nocton, thanks for the 15 months of Prime as well. Gas Station, eh. Balloons, alright, listen. Balloons is cool. I like watching Balloons, but I don't like playing it. Because I don't feel like taking the time to learn anything. I don't got, I just don't got it in me to learn anything right now. You know? Oh no, dude, this time zone's starting to get to me. I think my radio's on. Dispatch 621, same traffic. Kyle and learning. GTA Chaos Mod. Dude, I've been wanting to do Chaos Mod for a bit. You don't understand the point of simulators because they're funny. Funny to play a fucking simulator. It's like a pretty immersive experience, too. Like, that's like another trait of a sim. Do Gary's mod. Dude, I'm not doing any Gary's mod without a VPN. Are we sticking on this radio for the, uh, the M plus? Yeah, if I'm front now. Copy that. Listen, it's not that I'm indecisive. It's that I want to do the things that I want to do. I just feel like I can't do the things that I want to do. Uh, thing is going still northbound El Rancho. You would never do a sim, dude. Lost sim control. games are the best. They're literally the best. They're so much fun. God, I fucking love them. Fuck's this? Track updated now on Vespucci Boulevard. Could be on the upper freeway. Ah, uh, they got this. Penta's rant. All right, what? A, all right, listen. I'm not gonna say anything. Didn't hear anybody's rants. All right. All I know is that sometimes people don't get the things that they want. <laughs> Need to go get something to drink. Back on our round 
right. You want enough money to have a harem? You wouldn't, dude. You would have sex like once in the last like three minutes and you'd be done. You don't got you don't got the dick or the uh you know. You don't got that you probably don't have that sexu sexual sexual what is it referred to? That sexual oh, what the fuck is that word? Nah, it's not for libido. There it is, libido. You got the libido to have something like a harem. No, I don't. Hey, get out of the way! Hey, big head, how you doing? Hey, let me, hey, big head, where's your uh, made up girlfriend at? Uh, she's a very real girlfriend. She's at home sleeping right now, sir. What's she's her been name up all again? Decorating her their name? house that we bought. Something. Shirley uh, Lemons, sir. I don't know. Deborah Lemons or some Shirley, shit. Shirley, Shirley Lemons? Shirley. Shirley Lemons. Shirley Lemons. Yep. Shirley. Mm hmm That's her. Oh. So, yeah. um. So, uh? So we're engaged. We got engaged on Friday, sir. I like pork. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you pop the question? Oh. oh, well, first we went to the place that we first yeah, met. I, I had a picnic oh, what was there. The and then I had a what? No, no, not, not, no, no, sir, no, no, it was, um, <clears throat> no, it was, uh, barbecue chicken, um, but, and then we took a helicopter up to Mount Chiliad. Uh, I, I did a poem and I did a song and, but bam proposed, and she said, yes, before you ask. Oh, she said, she are you sure, did she didn't say I'll think about it? No, no, she, she immediately said yes, sir. Well, you know what? Good for you, big oh. head. You know what I mean? I'm well, happy for you. thank you, sir. I'd like to think there's someone out there for everyone. Wait, you got yeah. engaged with Shirley? Yeah, I did. Oh, congrats. Wait, oh, I think I... Well, thank you. Wait, I think I knew that. Did I know that? Oh. Did I know that? I don't know. I, I don't Maybe. know. I'm not... I don't know what you're thinking most of the time. Um, <clears throat> well, well, thank you, sir. You know, Are you, um, now convinced you said that she's Shirley's a, real? a. I mean, I'm I'm not con fully convinced. People pay for wives all. People pay for pussy I, and people pay for wives all the time, big head. I work at Burger Shot, sir. Number one, I I wouldn't do that. Number two, I wouldn't be able to afford that even if I wanted to do that. Anybody can afford a blowjob from a crackhead. It's not that expensive. It's oh, called twenty dollars. Oh boy, this is a lovely truck you have, Phil. Uh, all right, you have yeah, a good one there, big head. Yep, hey, officer. Check Fuck your truck. Did some type of Romeo and Juliet shit. Twenty dollar BJ. Hey, listen, if they're addicted to crack. Hey, can I get a soda, uh, Charlie Human? Yes, you can. All right, thanks. I appreciate Please it. Please swipe. Takes forever to fucking swipe down here. All right, swiped away. What temperature would you like your soda? We have boiling soda and freezing soda. Um, free, um, chilled? No, only boiling or frozen. Um, frozen, I guess. Breaking news. Alright, thanks, Charlie. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll commit murder. I'll commit murder. Don't worry, I heard you, Charlie. Oh, 
Whenever I see people performing and I see like two people in the crowd, I just think it's the funniest fucking thing ever. I literally feel like it's like one of the funniest fucking things ever. I don't know why. I just want to go over there and make fun of them. Every single time that I just see like two people in, in this big ass, by this big ass fucking sound stage. <laughs> Every single time I just want to do it. I, I don't though. I'm a good guy. I'm a nice guy, I think. Yeah, I won't lie, dude. I'm getting to the end of my rope with this uh, Pred and Sheriff bullshit. All right. You can't do anything without anybody uh, having an issue with it, you know? I think I'm going to jump on another character. Pred for mayor? Nah, no thank you. A serious criminal character. Nah. I don't want to do a serious criminal character. Alright, perfect. Marty joins the war. No, I'm not going to join in anybody's war shit. Tyler, thanks for the five months of Prime. I mean, Marty could probably be fun right now, but I don't really, uh, I don't know. I don't like, like, third party in people's war shit, you know? Just don't get involved with those portals, exactly. I want to do that local bala, just walking around Grove Street and just see what happens. <laughs> I want to see how quickly I die. I want to see if I get shot down and anybody notices. Lee Harvey. Lee Harvey would be fun. Yo, Fred, thank you so much for the 21 months of Prime, dude. I really appreciate it. It'd take me like five minutes to like walk down to Grove Street. Do I got cash on me? Hey, baby! Jesus Christ. Fucking walk style. Only fans, listen, you couldn't handle this woman's only fans chat. Don't even pretend like you could. You wouldn't know what to do with all that. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty good. 
next time. <laughs> Thick talk. Oh, shut the fuck up. That's a big ass. That's too much ass for a guy like me. I'm gonna be real. Yo, dude, Palmer, thanks for the two months of Prime. Really do appreciate it. Let her sit on your face. You couldn't handle that. I mean, Young Stun... Maybe. No, no. Not with a name like Young Stunner. Astral State, thanks for the fucking 20 bomb, dude. I really do appreciate it. Getting us back to that 12k. Do I have cash on me? I can't remember. Yeah, we got enough to change our pet and just go down to Grove Street. <laughs> Where's the ballers at? Fuck me. You would think I would have a better idea of where all the gang members are. God damn, I have a fucking aneurysm from trying to find this fucking player model. I think I passed it yet. I know that for sure. All right, catch you later, bitch. Ah, uh, beautiful. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Devault. Yo, Astral State, thanks for another 20 bomb, dude. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. I got to change the title a little bit. It's going to be um, not a local ESB versus CG. Got to put that in the title. Got to capitalize on this shit. Wish I had a fucking knife. That must be barehanded. I'm going to hold down the set. Should have, dude, I should have made a character named Tommy Bala. <laughs> War Bala. Ba no, make a character named Bala War. Dude, I might have to do that and remake a character just dedicated to this, I think. Afterwards. Because, alright, let's be honest. CG's gonna, like, clap the fuck out of them. If I was gonna jump in on any side, it should be the Bala side, right? All right, here we go. Yeah, do the right walk. A referee with a megaphone would be good. Uh, too bad there's not a fucking referee shirt.
Yo, they start shooting, I just run over and start punching them. <laughs> Javoda, thanks for the 29 month resub. I think this has potential to be pretty funny. Oh, damn. Yo, what up, cuz? What the fuck? <laughs> Is that a lot of Just <laughs> 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 Dan. Just stand here. Okay. 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 Just one. <laughs> what are some NPC okay. lines? Asshole. Asshole. <laughs> Shit, I think they're too far away to hear that. Do locals ever walk down here? Bro, you can tell how on edge they are. God, you have no idea how much impulse control it takes not to call 911 on them right now. Wonder what they would do if I just climbed up there. <laughs> do it? Nah, nah, nah. If you're gonna do this kind of shit, you can't like just railroad somebody that's already getting stomped out. What's the fun in that? God, this is too good. Gotta stick with the bit. 
And then maybe I'll make a baller. I'll make Adam Sandler again. I'll make Billy Madison again. See if I can join the ballers. And get shot up. What we did you? That was one of the best characters ever. Uh, they have to know, right? There's no way they don't know. It's not like I even sound like I'm a local. Ass crab! Little Nikki is not my character, though. Little Nikki is one of my mods' characters. Make an Adam, make a Billy Madison character, and then get hit by a hit by a car, and then be Little Nikki. Character might be alive longer. Oh, shit. Well. What the fuck is wrong with the server today? I don't know what's funnier to do. Make a character named Bala Gang and try and become a Bala or just walk around pretending to be a local. I just don't know what's funnier. All right, look, look, look. I know that it's like popular to hate on ZB within the no pixel community, but ZB's always been a friend to, of mine, all right? So I refuse to take the piss out of him directly as a person. Because I actually like that fucking dude. I don't have any bad blood with him. Alright? I don't have any bad blood whatsoever with him. You know, like, I know it's popular to dogpile people, right? But that is something that I refuse to do. Fear me, thanks for the 27 months. If I don't like somebody, it's because I don't like them. Or they did something to me. Not one of those, like, not that type of guy. Oh, yeah, dude, I did that a couple times. During, uh, dude, I was off stream, literally hiding by the cul-de-sac during that ESB CG war with a suppressed AK putting some shots into the fucking CG guys. Did that a couple times. Never even talked about it. I just did it because I knew people would rage about it if I said I was doing it, but pff, I was definitely doing that shit. Oh, 100%. Bro, I'm not even kidding. I would be, uh, I was in the, I remember one time I was on the server for like two hours just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Trying to lock pick. And I could be cruising around in one of their cars, just around the just around the sack. Fuck, I would kill for a lock pick right now.
I didn't little finger that war as much as you may have thought I did. Some people were DMing me saying like, uh, like I like was the one that encouraged it. I definitely did encourage it a little bit, but I didn't know it would be like that. You know. Man, it was almost a sign. It was almost a sign from God. That would have been that would have been the ultimate streamer luck. Damn, this would be the perfect time to have a character named Bala Gang and say, what you gonna do about it, bitch, in OOC? Or something. Antagonize them in OOC chat. <laughs> this would be the perfect time to have made that character. Fuck me. This will be worth it. Oh, dude. Saw somebody over here. I don't know where they went though. I think they went over to that Mega Mall lot. Debo? Oh my god. You mean the president in Fifth Element? There's no way they don't know, right? <laughs> there's... There's no way they don't know. Hey, y'all got me fucked up! Make a character, but he's colorblind. That'd be that could be funny. That has potential to be funny. There's just no way. Seems like with all the head pops, so it's gonna be weird to get. It's gonna be hard to get that reaction that we want. Versus like all-out gang war on the sack. You hear a lot of gunshots though. Drive, drive, drive. 
Nah, you got your fuck back. Seven. Now close the door, man. Close the door. I was gonna fall back. <laughs> you never go wrong with a box truck. Go Kyle Pred now? Why would I go Kyle Pred now? I kind of am just about to DM Mando and see if I can make a ball. Move your ass. Who the fuck get in the bag with me? Oh, baby, do you look a motherfucker? Oh, damn. <laughs> he, <stopped> <laughs> he has to know. 100%. 100% has to know. Just sit here. I gotta pee. Yo, dude, Johnny C, thanks for the seven months. I appreciate that. Turn it on, bro. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. In the back. Craig in the back. Oh, is this is this what we're doing now? Shit, I'm down, fool. <laughs> Look at him, motherfucker. What's up, bro? Surprise. <laughs> bro, I got fucked up earlier, bro. Holy shit. Bro, I got fucked up, yeah, because your dumb ass, bro, over peak. Stupid. I didn't even peak, bro. As soon as I called out, I fucking went down. Yeah. Bro, relax. So Calm down. Like relax. That. Relax. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares, bro? It's jokes, Howard. We're joking, bro. Joking, joking. Nah, What's going on? It's impossible to sneak in. It's impossible to sneak in. Which car? Is it that one? They have to know, right? They, they, they have to know, right? 
They they have to know, right? It's not. It's definitely. But what was that? What the hell was um, the the asshole? They probably couldn't hear that, could they? Ass crab! That has to give it away, right? That has to that has to give it away, right? What if I just walked over to them and said, What are you doing on my block? I don't want you to we just three? Dimitri's come down. We checked this motherfucker down. Oh my god, hold on. Just cower in the back. <laughs> Can't run into the wall. It doesn't let me. Oh, hold on, this might. Ah, oh, fuck. No, it doesn't. Randomly ragdoll. Hard to randomly ragdoll without pointing. You need to be sprinting in order to randomly ragdoll. There's no way they don't know. And who the hell that is, bro? Hell you doing up in the back? <laughs> I feel like we should have like two dudes. Do you think they actually don't know? They, he has to. He, he fucking has to.
Dude, I will sit here all day just for that one moment. I don't think they're gonna use the box truck, though. Box truck will get them fucking slaughtered. They didn't know. Check this motherfucker damn. Homie's hmm. <laughs> smoking a joint on the on the block. <laughs> like baby D. Oh yes. A homie back there, you see? Just a local thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's worth it all for that one. It's worth it all for just that one. What's in the back of that? Fuck. <laughs> fucking locals in the back of the truck, look. Get in, man, get in, get in. Oh, my God, what the Wait, what? What is the meat tree? <laughs> Make you looking more local? pink, bro. Why would a local be in the back of the truck? Oh, no, look, come on, come on. Maybe D. Baby D. Baby D. Shoot I've never seen this before. Them. I don't shoot him, I don't shoot him. I don't him. trust him. <laughs> I already shot him one time. Are we going in? Oh, dude, I wish they would have shot me. I just would have been like, ah! I think they're out hunting. That would have been fucking fantastic. Holy shit. I wonder if I can get the cops. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to call the cops or anything. I feel like I don't want to like dogpile the ballers. There's no way they don't know it's a it's a local. They they, they know that like. Yo, clutch my man. Thanks for the 13 months and tunnel money. Thanks for the 20 months as well. Luckaroony. Thanks for the three months as well. kind of shit's just so funny I think I might um I might DM Sammy or Craig and see if I can make a baller character but I don't like one up actually no probably shouldn't do that probably shouldn't I don't want to like um I don't like when to like uh like cut someone out like for them to bring me with them and shit you know, I don't like when to cuck someone. You know? They only have two NA ballas. Yeah, I know. It's because they're mainly... Uh, most of them are European, aren't they? Most of the gangs are around during uh, Shift 1. I think. Shift 1 and, like, uh, early Shift 2. Well, I doubt... Uh, I highly doubt that Sammy and Craig don't have Pryo. I know for a fact Sammy does. Oh, there they are. <laughs> he said there he is. All right, they definitely know it's me. 100%. They definitely know it's someone. I want to make a character named Bala Gang and try and join them. The cover is definitely blown. All right. 
I want to try and join them. I want to try and join them and make Bali gang. Alright. I don't want to get anyone cut out, though. I'll just, like, guard the sack or some shit. <laughs> Getting a lot of DMs lately. Like, half and half. Half good, half bad. Give him a British accent. No, I can't give him a British accent. I can't do British. I'm gonna guard the sack. Look, I'm not gonna talk about... Alright, listen. Alright, look. I am gonna say this. There was no drama yesterday. Alright? People were just behaving like children. In my opinion. Alright? Everybody, I think, was just behaving like a fucking child. I don't think there was any drama. I just think everybody was literally being a fucking child. Alright? Nobody shut down anyone's RP. My man shot Andrews literally two days ago in a parking lot. Where are the ballipeds? Be around here. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, hold on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, the helmet is too, is too fucking good. Stay out my hood, yo. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you better stay out my hood, bitch, all right? Hey, watch where you going, yo. Oh my god, another one. Watch, watch where you going, motherfucker, all right? Get out of here, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, what up, motherfucker? Want that bike? What's up? Hey, man, that's my bike. Hey, Get my man. bike now, yo. My bike now, motherfucker. Hey, man, that's my bike. Oh, damn, we're about to get heroed. Oh, shit. The bike vigilante. Oh yeah, I see you. I see you back there. <laughs> I need a knife. Damn, this motherfucker's... Look at that run. Gang shit.
Got a blast. The story of Bali Gang, the member of the Bali Gang. <laughs> What's up, Guru? Yo, what up, yeah, motherfuckers? Who the hell that? Who this? My, my name Bali Gang, yo. Hey, what's good, G? Bali Gang. Yo, what up, motherfuckers? I'm here to I'm here to hold the sack, motherfucker. I'm ready, yo. I'm ready, yo. So you know, you said Bali Gang, bro. Bali Gang, motherfucker. Damn. Hey, that's the hell, baby. Hell yeah, motherfucker. the shit. Hell Should yeah. Ty Jones's brother or some shit? I'm ready to hold down this motherfucking sack for y'all motherfuckers, yeah, yo. Yeah, let's hold down this Should motherfucker. Let's hold down. This, this, all, this is all I need, yo. Hold this is all I need, motherfucker. I'm going to close the gap, yo. Hell yeah, yeah. I already got the perfect Damn. strategy. I just keep walking, pretending I'm a local motherfucker. They ain't going to shoot me, and then I stick their ass. That's oh, right. Hell yeah. Hey, you got to need this stuff. Yeah, take this. You got to oh, need uh, You holding it down. down I bet, bro. motherfucker. I bet. Aye, right, yo. Shit. Hell yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> hell yeah, he's sorry. I don't know about that. Hell yeah. You got shit. You got work on that, bro. Hell, hell, hell yeah. Hell, hell, hell yeah, motherfucker. Right, try like this. Try to look. Look. Up. This lesson's with crack hit crack. All right, listen up. Oh, damn, uh, I got You got to take air into your mouth, shove it up down into your ass, and then out through your mouth like this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell, Th that ain't quite yeah, it, but you can't Hell it. yeah! Like, how That's better. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I, I think it be... Listen up. I think it needs like a build up. Maybe try with like... Oh, hell yeah! Oh, oh hell yeah! Oh, that's much better. Hell yeah! Oh, oh hell yeah! Yeah, there yeah. 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 we go. There yeah. we go. Oh, yeah. Yo, any of you motherfuckers got go, bullets? Man. Yo, I'm supposed to just point this gun at him and hope level. they die, yo. Uh, I give him a Mac 10. You got any SMG ammo, bro? Mmm, let me check. All right, bet. Don't worry, we got you here. Take one of these, man. <laughs> I ain't got no bullets, so. Damn, yo, I got three guns but no bullets, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn. You, you Wait, motherfuckers you ain't trying to make me a patsy, are you? Goddamn, yo. <laughs> Why are you trying to shake your ass, bro? Yeah, what the hell, a patsy, man? All right, I'm ready. All right, yo, hold on. I got to I gotta toughen up, yo. Punch me in the chest, yo. Punch me in the chest, yo. Oh, oh we got to fuck you up real good. Punch we got uh, you like brass, bro. Uh, I'm ready, uh, motherfucker. How you feeling? Uh, how you feeling? Uh, I'm good, yo. All right, all right, chill. Right, chill, right, motherfucker. Right. I, I, I'm ready, yo. I'm ready for war, yo. What's up, I'm old, baby? Yo, 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 I mean, you oh, hell yeah. Like glass, bro. It's the first stage there, man. Hell yeah. I'm going to sit on the roof real quick. All right, that's good, that's good. You ain't built like glass. You kind of built like brass. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I'm, I'm built like a slinky, motherfucker. Slinky? <laughs> Damn. Shit, you like must be able to do some hardcore fucking moves with that. Don't worry, motherfucker. I got spe I, I got tactics, motherfucker. Once they come down shit, to the sack, it's bet. over. Hey, we got guys see yeah. that shit. Hell man, what's yeah. What's your tactic? I just keep walking, pretending what's I'm it a called, man. It's called the local tactic, motherfucker. I just keep walking. Damn. Your girl was fucked up last night. And they gonna fall for it every time, yo. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> you walk around like the homie done said uh, earlier. She just sent me a picture of her titties. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Mm. Hell yeah. Look at this. Little <laughs> yeah, bro. Look in the hand, man. Hell yeah. Shit, what other type you got saved? You break them motherfuckers. Um. Peace stop all the game. You got your line set up, bro? You got, you got them rolled down on a no Man was fucked up bro? last night. I got, I got a long list, motherfucker. I got your homies on the phone last night. <laughs> hey, let us sell some of those. What you got? What you got, bro? 
Come on, give us the top three. The top three on your list. What they Hey, need. baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I fuck with that. What Hell else? yeah. Is that it, bro? You only got that? Yeah, I, 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 I didn't have as many as I let on to believe, motherfucker. My bad, yo. Shit. Don't <laughs> wait. That show come naturally, bro. Bye, right, yo. <laughs> yeah. All right, bet. We hold, I'm holding this so sack down. I'm ready. Oh, look, That's a raccoon, man. What the fuck? Game, bro? My first name, Bala, last raccoon, name, bro. Gang, yo. Break the raccoon, man. Damn, that's some gangster ass shit right there. Hell yeah, you see right that right bike? Right I stole it from a motherfucker. You should have heard him. You did? Oh, Don't give me my bike. Yeah, that's my bike, yeah. yo. That's my bike. Set, <laughs> my my bike bro. now, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Oh, come on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. shit. We about to hold it down. Keep a little titty out here on the sack. Hell yeah. That's right. Hell yeah. All right, Ben. These motherfuckers ain't got the balls to come into the sack, yo. I know that much. Mm -mm. Damn straight, baby. We ready, yo. The fuck that raccoon right, bro? I just have, when the bullets start raining, bro, I'll just hide behind you, all right? All right, yo, you hide behind me. Don't worry, right, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay right here. You, me, me, sure, you got man. this, bro. You're doing great. I got this, yo. Yeah, you're doing great, bro. Yo, I know what I gotta do. I just gotta start walking around the block, yo. They gonna drive right past me and ambush them motherfuckers. Yeah, you <laughs> got it, right. Is this your bike, man? <laughs> My bike now, yo. But yeah, you can borrow it, motherfucker. Don't worry. I like, I share, yo. That all bike, yo. That's the way I look at that all bike. Yeah, yeah, that all bike, yo. What's up, hold up? Yeah, we chilling at the sack. What happened? Did you shoot him? Shit, so how long you been down here, bro? All my motherfucking sack, life. I, 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 flew, I flew in from a different ball of ter territory, yo. Oh, damn. What? Shit, where you come from, bro? Who, who done, what OG done trained your ass? Right. You I like come that? from Colorado, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Damn, bro, some gangster shit must happen over there. Mm. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Damn. We be getting in gunfights yeah, and in snowstorms and shit, yo. God damn, bro. We be going, we be on our skis doing slalom and shit, doing a drive by on a motherfucker on the slope. So I did it. Drive One time I did a drive by from a ski deal. lift, motherfucker. Most gangster shit oh, ever. Shit. Shit, you would just roam by like drive by. Hell yeah, that's all gangster shit. Hell right. yeah, just be driving it, just in that ski lift, motherfucker. Blah 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 blah. blah. Right, you don't drop back, go and then and then I went down the hill. You best believe I took the ski lift up the hill, drove by a motherfucker on the slopes, and then I slid down that motherfucker. Damn. Yeah. That's what I like to hear right there. Hell yeah. You shit killing the Vagos this week, bro? I was about to kill a Vago, motherfucker. Oh, damn. I was about to, yo. He walked past me. He bumped at me. I said, hey, yo, bitch. You better watch where you walking, yo. Yeah. Damn straight, baby. Damn straight. Shit, you slit shot slit that motherfucker's throat watching dust go around. Mm. Yeah, I was, I was about to, I was about to jab that. I went like this to a motherfucker. Ugh. I was like, what you gonna do, bitch? Damn. What you, you gonna, gonna do, step, bitch? Huh? Yeah. Fuck Come on, baby. You try, you try to step, step motherfucker? Yeah. Huh? You try, you try to step to me, motherfucker? Huh? Shit, you my. Shit, you must have made this butt cheeks clench like a motherfucker. Hell yeah, that motherfucker. Right, I thought he was bro. about to cry, yo. And then I went and I Damn. stole that motherfucker's bike. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Represent, man. Yeah, that's some gangster shit, man. Hell yeah. No, no, no. What I'll say. Damn. Damn, I like my motherfucker right here. He be dual wielding the Uzi with the fucking yeah, metal detector. He be able to detect that's the right. bullets as they come gangster, towards baby. him, yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Magneto that shit, man. How we do Hell it yeah. here. Damn, we need so some magic. Man, you don't know shit, bro. You said you got that. free straps? Damn. Yeah, you motherfuckers be handing me guns like like I was trick-or-treating or some shit, motherfucker. Damn, bro. Oh, yeah, baby. Help the homies out, man. Give me one Hell back. yeah, yo. I'm about to go grab some pistol bulls real quick, yo. I'm going to grab the bike, yo. Don't worry. I'll be back, yo. This ain't the last That's time it, you see Baller Gang, yo. I promise. This ain't the last time. I'll be right back, yo. case I gotta get loose on a motherfucker. Alright, this could potentially be the last time they see a motherfucker. Oh. So nice of them to let me <laughs> play with them.
Maybe I should just become a criminal and play. Seems like way more fun and less drama to play a criminal. Like way, way more fun. Hold on, I better turn on my crosshair. <laughs> Otherwise, I ain't gonna know what I'm shooting. I'm just kidding. So I don't think you should. I know a lot of people do enable a crosshair and shit, but I'll just I'll I'll I'll, 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 I'll do my best. Oh shit! Is that the motherfucker whose bike I stole? Man, stay out my stay out my my sack, motherfuckers! You motherfucker! Hey, yo, yo. You motherfuckers better stay out my sack, yo, all right? Uh, aight. All right, yo. You motherfuckers stay out uh, my sack. What you motherfuckers be doing street? around here? You pay the tax, yo. Yeah, uh, and the tax We're just buying so. some clothes. Oh, you guys, oh, you be buying clothes. What you be buying, bitch? Yeah, so we're paying the taxes. I'm buying a, a pretty morning outfit because I'm in mourning. Damn, yo, who died, motherfucker? My husband. Damn, yo. Sorry to hear that. So you single? Thank you. Uh, no. I'm gonna become a virgin widow forever. I'm gonna become a nun. Never, oh, damn, yo. I gotta go back my homies dead. up. Good luck. I gotta be careful not to break the rule of four. Baller gang! <laughs> Damn, there's just shots ringing out. Everywhere! Damn, yo, that motherfucker, I hear yo, gunshots shit, be busting everywhere, out, yo! Mm -hmm. I hear Ball gunshots out, be bopping everywhere, again. yo! Oh, right. uh, hell yeah, yo. I'm with you. I'm oh, Look, shit, look. let me man. tell you There's something, motherfucker. Head, I'm ride or die for the cause, yo. Hell yeah, you gotta be ride or die. I think it's popping off already, man. We gotta stay away from that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I came immediately back, motherfucker. They are on forum. Careful. Careful, they're on forum. Oh shit, they're actually here? Just thought they were running on forum, yeah. The street team there, behind us. That blue Audi street team. Yeah, I saw that motherfucker right past me. I screamed ball again yes, at his ass. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Okay, didn't shoot you. <laughs> I said, I said ball, ball again at that motherfucker. So like, shit, get him, man. Fuck that guy, man. Fuck, Fuck that motherfuckers, team. yo. Fuck Chang Gang. Fuck the street team. Fuck Chang Gang, gang flag, baby. Yeah, fuck Chang Gang, motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. I like Chang Gang very much, actually. I Call just gotta make Chang it clear team, that I'm Chang saying Gang street team right now. that I'm saying Chang that team. I'm uh, that I'm just saying that in RP, but I do very much like the Chang Gang people. Like a hunt, you know what I mean? It's like fucking they're like a vampire out here, man. <laughs> Looking for blood. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Damn yo, any you motherfuckers got a join or two, yo? Oh uh, yeah, okay. Point, man. Got him? Yeah, hell yeah, player. Just doing the glovey, bro. Alright, thanks, motherfucker. Gonna pull over a lot of smoke? Smoke, yeah, smoke that yeah, shit, let me man. Get, let me get smoked That's up. That's that before. ball of gray pipe, man. Ooh, I, I don't want to get smoked, motherfucker, blend. you feel me? It's our own oh, blend, man. you know? Hell ball yeah. Ball of gray pipe kush, bro. It's some good shit, yo. Taste that black current, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Are mm. oh, they busting still? My one, my my boy right here got the fucking Omega strap on him though, ready for goddamn war. Yes sir, Dude, yes this sir. Boy here? No, you do. Mm. Mm. The big blicky. Oh, shit, yeah man, I got the AK up my asshole. I'm gonna blast the motherfucker, bruh. Yeah, we gotta get you in a stable position, yo, where you can hold it down, yo, where you always get the first shot. Who me? The VIP baby. Yeah, yo, having you mm. be VIP. mobile, motherfucker. You just you let the rest of us be mobile, and then they fucking come straight to you. You fucking. 
<laughs> blip, 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 them motherfuckers from a distance. That's yeah. right. Wanna drive? You, drive. you just run up there with the knife, man. Hell yeah, yo. You can shank one of them. <laughs> hell no, I'm gonna run up there with the Max 10 out. now, player. <laughs> I'm gonna run up oh, on them yeah. motherfuckers. Hey, shit, yo, man, look, you, you, hit the, you hit the ice, man? You like that ice, man? If I can smoke it, inject it into my veins, I love it, motherfucker. Sir, yo, bro. Hey, bro, let's go get this man some ice, man. Fuck it, let's do it, dog. You, stack, you been man. to the spa, right? You a baller, man. You of course I've been to the spa, spot, yo. Oh, yeah. Of course I've been to the spa. Hell yeah, baby. You been at the parties of the fucking warehouse, man? Always, motherfucker. I be partying. Yeah, yeah. I thought I saw you. Got there mad, once got twice, mad man. bitties on my dick, yo. That's right. Mm, that's right, baby. <laughs> Shit, you like OG, OG, OG. Quadruple OG. Triple OG. Triple, baby. Triple, bro. Stay fresh, baby. Quadruple times triple, yo. That's 12 times. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's straight. <laughs> this man be hitting the treble, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm about to hit a bitch with a bullet. A couple. It's funny how, like, uh, I know where everybody's warehouses are. But people know that I'm not, like, going to, like, snake them. <laughs> Whoop! We got all the back alleys right now. Yeah, I'm making sure nobody following us, man. This is top secret shit. You boys know this, bruh. Hell yeah, yo. Secret is a motherfucker. Like five minutes. Hold Damn, down. yo, we gonna go play some arcade games, yo. Oh, oh you're back. Mm. They find a dollar pills? All right, we'll stay away. Oh, this is the warehouse that we got tipped off on Fred. Open it. This yeah. is the, um, oh. fuck, this is the one warehouse we got tipped off Don't on go that on, OTT on, was. Man. Don't worry, I'll never use that in character or anything. Meta alert, meta alert, can't investigate the ballers anymore. Nah, I'm good at differentiating that shit. Damn, yo. Hell yeah, bro. Let's do it, baby. Thing decorated like a ball fucker. <laughs> hey, yo, we Is got right? some meth in here, it's all man. shit, man. Ooh. Ooh. I do love me some crystal. Shit, <laughs> we gonna have a gangster party up in this motherfucker, bro. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Well, parties, baby. Mm -hmm. So take some of that shit, man. How much of you want me to take this three bag? Fuck it, man. Just take whatever you want, man. All right, yo. Anybody, you, yo, I, I'm sharing, yo. You need some bags, yo. We need some sharing bags can. here. I'll take, I'll take one. One does me, does me good, man. I don't like oh, yeah. too high, you know let what I'm saying? Hook, let me hook you up, motherfucker. Bam, you get you two, yo. More? You guys share with me, I share with you, yo. To spoil some Oh yeah, baby. We boys, man. Just know, I know the only way out to ball a gang in the box, yo. Yes, sir, yes, sir. On the water. Ride or die, yo. Ride or die. Blah, 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 blah. Does someone want this? What is it? <laughs> hey, you got two? It, man. Yours. We got, got no rifle ammo, though. We got no rifle. We got no ammo, though. Oh, fuck, man. Yo, Bottle Gang, right you got rifle ammo, right? I... Come on, man. You got some rifle ammo. I, I ain't Sorry, got man. no rifle ammo, motherfucker. Get, get us some rifle ammo, man. All right, all right. Maybe I can get us some rifle ammo. Yo, maybe I go undercover and I go buy us some ammo. All right, I can make a run out of the sack that could work. That could and work. acquire some shit. Hell yeah. Damn, y'all, right, look, I got this motherfucker. I got You're this. You're the jewel right now. I got this yeah. motherfucker. The jewel, man. I got. On hold on, I got this motherfucker. We got the triple wheel right oh, now. Damn. Hold on, I got this Kimbo motherfucker. Oh, hold on. We quadruple right now. I got, I got this motherfucker. <laughs> what the? I'm this ready for awesome war, yo. Pockets, I'm man. ready for war, That's motherfucker. Right, you ready for war, man. I'm straight. I'm ready for war, yo. Do it. Let's go fuck some people up, man. Oh, hell yeah, yo. Damn, I love the lightning in this motherfucker. You got a lot of ambience. Good and run. that wall real nice to look at. It's chill. It's chill, you know. Chill as hell, motherfucker. Yo, here to, here to the fallen brothers of the ball gang right here, motherfucker. That's right. 
Yeah, yeah. Old ex-OGs, dog. The real OGs, motherfucker. That shit, man. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Man. Let's roll, baby. <laughs> Damn, yo. Hold up. I need to send a twad out, yo. Uh, yeah, tweet that shit, send man. Twad out, dog. I need a selfie up in this motherfucker, bro. Yo, you think you could take a picture of me with the strap and then I could tweet out that what I'm looking for, for ammo for? Yeah, for sure. And then if anybody pulls off, I say Photoshop, yo. <laughs> Talk on, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> you want to top of pink cage, I don't know. You want to top of pink cage? Yeah, I think he wants to take a photo. The blicky. We can twat it out, you know? Yo. Oh shit, yo. The oh, motherfuckers shit, look man. like they might be following. Who? Where, where, man? I don't know. Where'd that they white, go, that bro? white SUV, where, that bro? White SUV went northbound, yo. That white SUV, yo. That white SUV are looking hella sus, oh, yo. Shit, man. It is? That motherfucker no, be no, looking too good. sus. We right good. there, yo. There, that motherfucker. Oh no, that that Which a different one, one Nah, 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 that a different. I don't know one of these motherfuckers, yo. Could be anyone, man. Could be anywhere around us, man. Could be anywhere, yo. Shit, bro. I don't even see us, him. <laughs> what we doing then? Get a picture of the pink page, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Real quick, real quick. Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta snap a photo. With the quickness. For, snap it for the gram, yo. Get on the skate ramp, man. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Get on the top of it. Uh. Uh. You get up this? On oh, again, baby. Uh. 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 Damn, yo. Come on, man, you can do it, bro. I'm, I'm trying. Hell yeah. There you go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Pull him out. About to bust the kick flip up in this motherfucker, man. Wait, I need a man. Yeah, 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 get, yeah, get him back. Get, 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 get him. 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 Get Ball the gang all day. Ball the gang, yo. Oh, let me, uh, let me drop it on the note or some shit real quick. Damn, yo. That shit was hard body. Yeah, what's some hard body shit, man? <laughs> they ain't ready. <laughs> we gotta fuck they shit. We gonna fuck they shit up, yo. We gonna fuck they shit, We gonna man. fuck they shit up, yo. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna be shit if we done with them, man. Uh-uh. 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 Nuh-uh. 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 Does that work? Nuh-uh. Try that. We gon' fuck these work. motherfuckers up. <laughs> Please. Did you tweet it out? Work, right? Nah, you <laughs> wants to tweet it out, right? Oh, yeah, what do you want me to tweet out, yo? I ain't trying to get nobody. I ain't trying to get the cops. Uh, I kill them motherfuckers, though. Don't worry, motherfucker. I, ki well, I kill the motherfuckers. First. Let's move. Yeah, let's first. move. Yeah, Come on. yeah, yeah get the fuck out of this motherfucker. It's gonna be a trap. It's gonna be a trap. Toys, man. That's toys. Let's see if anybody yeah. turns up. Skirt, skirt. Yeah. Oh. oh Just a day, baby. Right. Landing was a six Spencer out of ten. Ain't too good, bro. man. Mm -hmm. Tweet that shit, man. All right, yeah, hold on. I'm putting a yellow page ad out. All right, now time to tweet this motherfucker. I 
Alright, there we, no, we go. We should go, go to the rooster, man. Hell yeah, baby. Let's retweet that shit. Hell we yeah. Go to the rooster. To what? Go to the rooster, man. Let's go to the rooster. It's, it's yeah, closed, yeah. right? If they know where they are. It's not open. Is it closed? Yeah, Them doors open. always oh, unlocked, so. yo. Alright, burger shop gonna be open. Let's go to the burger shop. Yo, I know Hell how to yeah. get free food at the rooster rest, yo. Do? Yeah, yeah. Dude. I know how I know how to get free food at this motherfucker. Hey, how you getting that free food, man? Yo, I mean they always leave their doors unlocked and they leave shit in their refrigerator, yo. Shit, oh, they do? Hell yeah, motherfucker. I was running in, take what? some tea bags, yo. Hell yeah. <laughs> The burger That's shop, what man. you let's want, man. You want that burger shit, man. Ooh, let's go to burger shop, yo. Shit gets me the Pain's in the stomach, man. Hey, you can nah, get, a, up, you can get a veggie burger, yo. Hey, look, you distract some. You distract some on the front. We go around the back. We'll rob, we'll rob some food out of the back. All right, hell yeah, motherfucker. Bet. And if I see any motherfucker pool, <laughs> I'm going to drop their ass. Hell yeah, drop their ass, let's man. Let's believe it, homie. Hell yeah. Damn, see if we got any replies on the Twittergram. Damn, yo, ain't nobody Nothing holler yet, back homie. at us. They're scared, man. They quaking, they quaking. They too scared, yo. Yo, Rotary, thanks for the four months. Chat, remember if you're new to the stream to hit that follow button. This place is quiet as hell. Damn, yo. Is there there, though. No, what the fuck's the sign say? Damn, yo! Oh, they sign say no robbery or allowed, motherfucker. Damn. Damn. No robbery allowed. Yeah, yeah, it's due today. Yo, what up, motherfuckers? Yo, what yeah, what's going on, oh, guys? Shout out, everybody. Hey, what's up, man? Yo. Okay, children. Yo, if you up, man, do not go to bro. How you guys doing? That's right. Oh, sup? What's up, boys? Ba 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 Cream pies. Ball gun, you're right. Jobs, you're off. Oh, yeah, I'm good, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. The milkshake. What do y'all think? <laughs> All right, let's hook Log it up. Log out. Thanks for the gifts up. No fear, dog. Cream, cream pop pack, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, is this all in one? You one smell that? Yes, for sir. Yes, sir. What is that? I bet. Uh, swipe right here for I the Smell enemies, one. yo. Have a look. Where? I smell enemy. <laughs> I, I don't smell see him, bro. Where, where is he? I smell enemies, motherfucker. Sniff him out, bro. Sniff him out, man. Ass. Where you at, man? Yeah, third one. Three. I don't see him, man. Hey, there's a soldier, man. Damn, yo. Who that? Who that? I don't know who these motherfuckers is, yo. Oh shit, yo, it's the Vagos. Damn, yo. Wait, this motherfucker a Vago? I thought he an Ocelot. <laughs> nah. Hey, what's up, man? I'm not a Vargo, by the way. Oh, shit. No, I'm just Mexican, you know? Hell Damn, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You, you sure about that, man? Yes, I promise <laughs> you, my friend. Oh, man, what, what, what you do, what you do, like, you motherfucker? Know, uh, you got a job, hey, yo. I just flew into this, uh, this city today, you know? Oh, shit. Welcome to this motherfucker, yo. Appreciate it. Uh, well, you want to buy a strap, yo? <laughs> um, no, I'm afraid I have uh, already been hooked up, you know? Yeah, how's it going? Oh, Alright, yo. Bet, motherfucker. Shit, this dude look like yo, what up, guys? Though, bro? I need to get my food. These yeah, guys ain't enemies, I yo. I can smell way. it. I can smell it. Yeah, they ain't enemies, yo. <laughs> they ain't enemies, yo. They friendly. They friendly, yo. Yeah, but friendly, I won't man. hesitate to kill their ass if I gotta. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill their ass if they do that. <laughs> yeah, I won't fucking hesitate. Shit, man, man. He look like a Vago to me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That motherfucker, that motherfucker, yo, I mean, and he touched my fucking hair, man. Fuck? I thought that was right. Oh, yeah, I got, a, I got a meal for you. Hair. Go. Vago looking on ass, bald headed motherfucker. Oh hell yeah, yeah I'm fresh to death, baby. Hell yeah, yo. Uh, can I get... 
Game, yo, this place. What did you say, Craig? This, this place like a motherfucking castle, yo. yo it's a burger shot burger castle, yo. Show, baby. Are we at the burger shop? Yeah, we at burger shop. Come down, man. Come hop in with us, Craig. Apple pie. Damn. Woo. My favorite, man. Woo. Ooh. Hey, you remember those apple pies back in the day? Mm-hmm. Which ones? From the big M. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hell oh, yeah, yo. Those ones? Oh. They're nice and warm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? They still do them, dog? I'm kind of sick of them now, but when I was younger, man, I used yo, to Yo, back in the day, them motherfuckers you know was saying? dope with a vanilla Ooh. shake, yo. Ooh. You want to know what banana. the life yeah, hack right. was? You dipped that motherfucker into vanilla shake, yo. That Sarah, was the yes, hack Sarah's back right. in the day. Fries in the strawberry milkshake. Mm. Okay, we can't pick yo, I love strawberry, yo. Get all the get all, get all up in that sweetness, bro. You know what I'm I know, saying? I know, we're Driving for Legion right now. Get those sugar lips going on. Where you is? Got chills mm. down my spine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back to site. Yeah, um, I love I love apple pie. No, there's this one place down in downtown Baltimore. Is he at Cold Sag, man? Well, it's no, at the Inner Harbor called McCormick and Schmicks. I think it's the Inner Harbor. Yeah, McCormick Boys and Schmicks, dude, oh, and they do call. apple oh, pie shit, with homemade cinnamon ice cream. Hold on, in house made cinnamon ice cream, dude. Uh, I'm kind of busy right now. Hold on, someone, One of the best things I got you. ever. That's what's funny. Sadly, oh, I shit. think it used to be better when I was younger, but it's oh, it's still it's fun. You said that they were driving around in the green Sultan, right? Nah, uh, MK2. Not that one. Okay. Hey, what's good, bud? Yo, chillin' chill. Yo, yo, I just got word, man. You and Street Team are going at it? Yeah, the CG, the yeah, baby. The chain gang. Okay, oh, shit. Okay, so yeah, I was gonna so. ask you what they're running around in so I know what to look out for, but all right. Sir. All right, man, you guys keep your head up, all right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Damn, they beefing with the He's motherfuckers too, yo. Here, man. Where uh, you at? Okay. Where's the airport? Dude, yeah, ballers and vagos. All the gangs are pretty fun. I just tend to kind of stay away from gang stuff. I'm too high to know what the fuck he's saying, Because I think, bro. like, you want Andreas Avenue? It, in my the opinion, is, um, sometimes gang conflict just goes on too long, you know? One six, three six. Mm. Sometimes it just goes oh, on like way okay. too long. Is that where the marker is? BBMC? Dundee does, uh, D Whippy does right. really good RP. Come on. I've, I've never been in the, I've never done anything with uh, the BB. I haven't done anything with Whippy in all 3.0 it feels like. I want to Gotta wake up off. early. Ugh. That's what I really want to check. I don't even know who any of them are, man. Little Bleach, Ashtray, they got like yeah, crazy names. Yeah, the only ones I know is Little Bleach. And what's the other motherfucker? What the fuck? What's the other motherfucker's name? Can't kill. kill. Can't kill. Can't kill, Little Bleach. Um, hmm. Lamp Post or something. Lamp Post? He said he's on the left somewhere. Are we at Red Car Garage? Where you at? Take a left as you come out. What the hell are we naming? We naming household products or motherfuckers we trying right to kill, straight, motherfucker? Right? Yeah, God motherfuckers damn. Motherfuckers we trying to get killed, bro. Behind us, Motherfucking lamppost. Fucking. On the end of the tunnel. Towards little, little soul. Three on branch. Over here. <laughs> the Yui? Little Marzipan. <laughs> little Marzipan, hell yeah. My name's Gangster. Oh, there he is. How the fuck? My car, oh man. My what the God. fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> Damn, you yo. It, bro. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Fuck it, just leave. What's poppin'? Yo, what up? What poppin', motherfucker? Like Talking right there. Hell yeah, yo. Some next level shit right there. Ten out of ten skill points on that one. Hundred percent. Yo, you good? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, his name Baller Gang. Yeah, Baller Gang, yo. Sir. I think he related to Ty Jones. Try bust, bro. What you try to do? I'm ready, yeah, I'm ready I mean, to bust all Jones motherfuckers, out. yo. You about to put in work, huh? Back I'm trying to sniff out our enemies there. right now, yo. I ain't smell nothing, yo. We good. I'm straight. Good. 
Are you close to the site? What was that real quick? I want to see if Ty Jones recognizes right, his, his family, you know? Yeah, we good. <laughs> baller gang, yeah, yeah, baller gang. <laughs> it's, a, it's an M70, it's pretty beat up. You got all kinds, you got a Diamondback, you got all sorts. You want the M70? Yeah, you hook you up. Yeah, yeah, you I'll no ammo, that fuck up, yo. No bullets, though. Ain't nobody tweet back at us yet. You might have ammo. Damn, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, guy, you mind hooking up the homies with that M70? Hell yeah, motherfucker. I hooked that motherfucker oh, up right I'm now. I'm down a sec. All right, bet. Yeah. All right. Where you got to get that shit, and then they got show Who's up on your way. They're taking the M70 because they got ammo for it. Like, you know, stocked already, you know what I'm saying? God damn, bro. They're about to show up and they show out with it, that. You know? Because they're going around, oh, right? They do. We ain't gonna use it, so. They ain't ready for the smoke, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Well, Fuck one of the homies ain't. does look like you, so. Don't know why I hit might be related, you know? Damn, yo. I have to go put my helmet on. Nah, nah, it's straight, it's straight. Yeah, you be I trust. You just look like twins, that's all. You're good. Be the ugly one out, yo. Don't worry, you got get a lot of family. Yeah, I'm, a lot of family I'm the prettiest here. small. Look, I'm I'm a lot. I'm the prettiest small yeah. fucker ever, yo. They call me pretty boy. They call me baller gang the pretty right, look, boy. I don't know about that. When That's you stand right. next to me, you, you shit. I mean, you was already a ten, but when you stand next to me, I'm that beautiful. I mean, you go up to a live ants. Hell yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I ain't even that beautiful. I make you go down, bro. I'm that beautiful. I make you go up. Damn, yo, I'm so up beautiful. Down, I'll make down, all the baby. bitches go down. You feel me, player? Damn. Shit, what you like? You like titties or ass? You can pay for titties, yo, but you can't pay for an ass. You feel me, player? Actually, Damn. we getting to the point where you can't pay for an ass, yo. True, true, true. That do be true. He true as a motherfucker. Sooner rather than be light some shit. Black, black, black. Slap that ass around like it owe me money, Playboy. Goddamn, bro. Let me get you slapping that shit and make a rip off. Blah, blah. Backhand that yeah, motherfucker. Hell, 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 hell yeah. Blah, blah. It is. It is. Yo, who, who, who need the M70? I'm, my name so Baller Gang, so yo. So who need the M70, yo? Shit, yo. I can slap oh, that Tyrell. shit. Yo, there you, you go, player. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, yeah, okay. you gotta take up? Mm -hmm. Just say yeah. man. Hey, old dog, you met the homie fucking baller game, bro. Nah, yeah, I was good, baller game. How you doing? Yo, what up, old dog? How you doing, motherfucker? I'm ready to lay him up. Are you who laying up some motherfuckers? Hey, this my homie motherfucking Craig. He look like Leslie Jones. What the hell, bro? Oh, oh, Leslie Dimitri Jones look like motherfucker. Nah, you handsome split with a senior without the cowboy cap. Oh, Leslie Jones look like motherfucker. Why right? <laughs> like your nose built like a fucking Taco Bell logo, bro? Talking all that shit, bro. bro. Look at what's around your mouth. It looks like uh, yeah. motherfucker. You look like a hedgehog right now with that spiky shit sweater. coming out your hair, bro. Damn. You look like floor shit. No, this way you, this way you tired up you. Make your chin go so far back, bro. That shit go back in time, bro. Bro, you that skill on it. Bro, you dressed up like Barney right now, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, when you stand on a scale, says to continue. Bro, you just stole my joke from man, you motherfucker. Yeah, no, no, I know man, what you're doing, Craig. I know what stop stealing my what joke. Bro. You might. Damn, ain't nothing wrong with stealing. Yo, yo motherfucker. Like yo, if anything, motherfucker, you gotta steal more jokes. That motherfucker Carlos Mencia stole jokes, became a multi-millionaire motherfucker. What I is he? You, man. Sorry. Man. Lanky motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker, look at you. All right, come, come, your Burton Ernie ass looking down, motherfucker. I got got right. Let's shut your ass right. up, bro. Your, your fucking feet built like fucking toothpicks right now, bro. bro. You got motherfucker, you better adjust your tie before you go to a motherfucking... Keeps in yeah, some mom, shit, bro, motherfucker. Bro, bro, what you talking about right now? Like that's your old dog. You got fucking yeah, ankles like fucking uh, Kendall McKayos, bro. For real, dog. You, bro, you got legs like Kendall Jenner right now, talking yeah, all that bro. shit, bro. Motherfucker, your head, your head built like a globe, yeah, yo. This is a complete legs, circle, bro. yo. Bro, your nose fucking shaped like the Taco Bell logo right now, bro. Talking all that You use the shit, same bro. shit on that motherfucker. Now you using on me, motherfucker. You both have big ass nose. Yo, the twins are fighting. Oh, oh, damn. That is, bro. Oh, who the fuck this baller gang, yo? Who the fuck this is, motherfucker? You try to step, yo. Oh, fuck that oh, is, bro. Shit, man. Fuck? You try to step, motherfucker. You try to step, yo. Okay, some family issue, you know. Nah, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I don't want problems, bro. Kick his ass, baller. Bro. Bro. Ain't nobody ready ass, for it, yo. <laughs> Damn, yo, why you have to hit me so hard, yo? <laughs> Need band aids? Where well, you been at home, boy? You just got out of prison or what? It's been a long time, bro. I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. Yo, been a minute, Sorry, motherfucker. Like Change my name so to Baller Gang. That's how down for the cause I am. Yeah, yeah, we can't. We came out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So yo, yeah, where these pussy ass street Ohio. team motherfuckers at, yo? I'm about to tweet at them. Don't pull up on a bread. Don't pull up on a bread. Bro, it's Chang Bang. Chang Bang, man. It's Chang Street. Yeah, we fighting up that Chang Bang. Yeah, and we smoking on that Chang Bang. I get on lampposts. They have no bleach. Lampposts, big nose. Yeah, Lil Bleach. Big slurp. Big slurp. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Big if slurp. there's a motherfucker, a motherfucker called Big Slurp. What what they name this? Prison, Little know. Beach, Lamp Post, what else, yo? Yeah, Lil Beach. Bleach, Bleach. Lamp Post, who the other motherfucker? Yeah, but he a Lil Beach. Big Wild Nose. Yeah, Big Nose, Ashtray, Ben Bag. And Big Slurp. Ben Bag. Big Slurpy. Uh, Palm Tree. Sorry, I picked yeah. this up here. Oh, here you go, too. Hold up. Yo, yo, make sure you guys retweet my tweet, yo. Make sure you guys retweet, retweet me, yo. Man. I tore into their asses. Don't need that? I yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one you just gave me, so fuck it. Right. <laughs> feel like I'm browsing a Sears catalog <laughs> looking at them motherfuckers' <laughs> names, yo. Damn. <laughs> yo, but I'm going to tell you this, Mr. Ballagan. If you go what to up? fucking Boiling Brook and there's a motherfucker called Big Slurp, Hide your kids, hide your wife, and yeah, hide you your asshole, run. bro. I'm just saying. You better run. I, I, bro, that I, motherfucker yo, gonna make you hold your pocket, bro. I, I ain't got an Dang. asshole, yo. I sold it shut, motherfucker. You sold it shut, bro? Like, what? Nah, I got, nah, poop? motherfucker. I got shot, yo. I poop in a bag through my stomach, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Yeah, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, I poop so in a like, bag through my stomach, like, yo. Like I, got my my bag tucked, I got my bag tucked. I got my colostomy bag tucked in my pocket. What you gonna name it, yo? Kevin. How about it? I was gonna say ah, yo, bet. I'll let you name the motherfucker. Oh, shit. All right, yo, we should ride out, man. Boy, let's go. Yo, we riding? Yo. Let's go find these motherfuckers. Oh, hell That's yeah, the boys yo. Doing, right? Y'all go, go, go find the street bank. Yo, it's hunting go season, go yo, and my name ain't Elma yeah, Fudd. Hunting season, man. Goddamn right. I'm straight, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm about to show up and show out. Hop on in, ball again, bro. Right, Hell go. yeah, yo. Give me Peaches one second, motherfucker. Yeah. I got pee. Yeah, yeah, they hold down. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on, hold on. Yo, Craig, 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 Craig. Watch for a Blue Mustang. That's who you guys going for. Blue Mustang. Yeah, no, it's all the Blue Audi, too. Yeah, Blue Mustang and Blue Audi. Go get them, motherfucker. Uh, all right, bet. Yeah, let's do it, man. Was it Blue Mustang and a Blue Audi? It's like a light Blue Audi. It looks ugly as a motherfucker. It's a RS6 like mine, right? Uh, no, it's an RS. We got four. We got four. Hey, wait, yo, you got that diamond back, man? Hold it down, Dimitri. What's up? Yo, who's got a spare diamond yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, oh, yo, shit. I got a diamond back and I got an FNX. Yo, can we stop yo, by and pick up some, back. uh, can we stop by and pick up some Who pistol this? rounds? You want the diamond back or you want the FNX, playboy? Who that motherfucker there? Oh, uh, I'm a nation, Craig. Real quick. Pack him, right? I'm a nation, I'm a nation Craig. I'm a fucking dumbass. Wanna jack him up? Let's jack him up. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck is this guy doing? I think it's HOA. Is it? These guys? These guys it's ain't cops HOA. right there, man. Hey, who the hell that, bro? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, who that is? Yo, what's up? We got Burger Show with you guys. Hey, uh, chill out, we ain't with please. Us. What the fuck? No, uh, we saw you at Burger Show. You know? Who'd you roll oh. with? Who'd you roll with? No one. Oh my god. Yeah, what you doing here, man? Yo, I'm sorry. Hey, dear. <laughs> what the fuck you doing here, bro? Just chilling, okay? Hey, what the fuck you going, bro? Hey, come get your back here, Get your ass back here, yo! Get your ass back here, yo! Get your ass back here, yo! What you think this is? Get your ass back here, motherfucker! The boy, I'm on lookout, yo! I'm on lookout, yo! Damn, I, right, yo! Give me your pockets, yo! Give me your pockets, they getting ran, yo! You doing here, boys? You don't fuck. What the fuck is this, homie? Yo, be careful! Uh, bro. I smell. What the fuck is this? I smell enemies, motherfucker. Oh my god! I smell enemies. I brought my fucking die every day out here. Hiroshima. The fuck is this? What's up, fucker? Woo! Yo, ain't that my AK? Oh my god! Damn, motherfucker! You was you wasn't kidding earlier when you said you was hooked up. Yo, look what this look what this motherfucker had. Yeah, hell, bro. You miss your AK? Hey, chill out, though. Oh, you say the air, waving them lights, just don't care, bro. You try to die today, bro. Don't worry, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on patrol right now, yo. Yeah, hold down, bull gang. You got this. What's your name? My name is uh, my name's Julio. Julio, where are you? Yes. You know, I don't want any any trouble, you know. 
Yeah. We just roll with this is a motherfucker, bro. No, then I got the AK off. You know? This is your AK, a, ain't it? You better keep driving, you bitch ass motherfucker. You keep it moving, bro. That motherfucker gave me the finger, dog. That motherfucker flipped me off, yo. That motherfucker said broke ass motherfucker, yo. That motherfucker crazy. Damn, that motherfucker crazy, yo. Nice, man. I respect it, yo. I respect it. Drive by a bunch of gangs. Yeah, he, he gangs the ass a motherfucker. He gangs the ass a motherfucker. That motherfucker gangs the ass a motherfucker. Put down my hands so do you still need me to wave Alright, you can put them down, bro. Okay. I bet. Now listen up. See you doing some dumb shit around here, bro? Motherfuckers die every day out here, alright? Every day, motherfucker. Every day. I'm fucking going out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna get you to piss off. Get the fuck out of here, no? Yeah, get the fuck okay, out of here. What? Hey, He's what the fuck you say? I said, can I get my ID yeah. back? Like, you dropped it on the floor. Can all get me your ID yeah. back? Go fuck I yourself, you motherfucker, yo. Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you want, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm on guard, yo. I'm on guard. Alright, dip, yo. Dip, 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 dip. Bob, 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 let me, let me just tuck this motherfucker real quick. Make sure you ain't packing. Yeah, put that on the seat. Yo, fuck you, motherfuckers, yo. Punk ass motherfuckers. Bubba, gang. B -b 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 ball the gang, bitch! Oh shit. Oh fuck, I got out of the oh, car the with an AK. <laughs> shit, man, I got it in my hand. Dumbass. I would have it in my hand, bro. Oh shit. Don't get the fuck out of here, man. Chase us. God damn, you dumbass motherfucker. Fuck, bro. Yo. I don't hate it. I have it as fucking. Fruit Loops this morning. Nah, no, motherfucker, that shit was gangster. <laughs> that was gangster <laughs> shit. Fuck hey, that so guy. What that motherfucker you done run his pockets here? Get a yeah. fucking brown on uh, delivery list. <laughs> yo, the, one, the motherfucker shit. whose pockets I ran had this shit, motherfucker. Don't God, pockets, hey, you I'm, gotta put that I'm, shit up, bro? I'm dual wheel. I'm dual wheel and two Uzis now, motherfucker. Damn. And you want to put one of those up? Oh, shit, yo. Yo, Ty, throw me some pistol ammo. Does anybody need a? Oh, I got plenty of pistol tie? ammo, yo. Hey, Ty. Yeah, yeah, let me hook you up, yo. Down, baby. There you go, player. Fuck oh, yeah, ball of game. Hell yeah, yeah, yo. We can show up and show out the apartment so you can put that shit up. I'm about to Kimbo these motherfuckers. I can't do it with my tongue, I can only- Oh. Hey, whoa, yeah, wait, I got the rum oh, pole, Hold on, don't go, don't go back this way, what the fuck? I scratched the rum pole yesterday, didn't I? Should we take the rum pole out? Let me go put this item back then and go take the rum pole out, roll yeah. Now go to the garage, man, trust me. Which garage? It's gonna be gangster shit, man, so? we can hold the AK out. Let me run in the apartments real quick, let me run in the apartments. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna rack one of these motherfuckers too. Actually, does anybody need a motherfucker? Right, let's get, I got, let's get a I got the oh, Mac 10. Oh, actually, this, up, yo, this Uzi, yo, fuck this Mac 10, yo, this Uzi be in good ass motherfucking condition, yo. All right, bet. Give me the, give me the Mac 10, bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, player. All right, bet. Did you got two Uzis? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got no. I just, oh, got, just the got the one. I got the the oh, Uzi right, and bet. the Mac 10, yo, that you hooked me up with, player. Let's fucking go, right, motherfuckers. Hell yeah, let's get out this motherfucker. Yeah, against the shit. Let me put this up real quick, man. All right, somebody got drive. Damn, hold on, I'm getting my strap out just in case. I know how motherfuckers be, yo. Apartments be the first place a motherfucker check. You want to drive? I'll drive. My keys. Keys, Mando. I got keys. 
Let me keep you. Go. Bad, sorry. Yeah, let's go put some dolls in this thing. I'll pin, man. Hell yeah. Yo, that chick there on the blue street team, by the way. Which one? Let's go fuck her up. Which one? This one? Uh, right there at the front. Wait, what's she do, bro? When we, we get nah, nah, chill. Don't roll up now. We, we. She's trezzy. What do you mean? We at war, dog. No, 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 no. Just, just, uh, uh, just, just catch her out, Yeah, man. shoot, shoot. Nah, yeah, yeah Palmas. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. Etiquette, dog. Damn, yo, you motherfuckers got good etiquette. I would have just uh, ran up on a bitch and shot That's her. That's right. Damn, bro. I would have just ran Two up second, and baby. shot you the bitch. That level gacked up in that motherfucker. And let's repair this motherfucker as well, man. You got a hundred dollars? Yeah, yeah. It's not a hundred dollars. Hey, put some fucking tent smoke on the windows <laughs> as well, man. Fuck let's that, purple dog. this shit up. Hell yeah. Wanna purple it out? Yeah, fucking let's do it, man. I got money. Right, yo, oh, hold let, on, me, hold on. let me hop out the whip, motherfucker, just in case. Everyone yo. hop out the whip. Or bet we holding them down. Hell yeah, player. <laughs> yeah, this shit's kind of funny, man. Fucking I'll shit. We can't. God damn, that be East Side Orange Gang up in this motherfucker. Hell yeah, yo, that be Sunkiss Gang up in this motherfucker, yo. Damn, bro. Yo, guys, Holy what up, Craig? Shit, no, we Tang Gang, gang bro. Gang shit, bro. <laughs> tang Gang, bro. Oh, tang Gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah. We just missed that boy, you know, Orange, man. He's gone for a while. Yeah, I'm keeping my eyes peeled just in case. Oh, man. Exactly. You know how I am. Whenever I fucking. I, I'm always ready, yo. I got the awareness. All right. Bro, this I'm, I'm too fire. aware. This I'm too fucking aware, so chat. Ridiculous. We go in 180 in four fucking dollars. <laughs> Too fucking aware. Come on, I'll pick up that receipt. You got bullets in the grip? No. You pimp in the war vehicle out, guys. You yes, pimping it out. Yes, Yo, Capital Moose, thanks for the shit, 16 months, months of shit, fucking prime, dude. I really do appreciate it. Oh, we don't fit. <laughs> you get a you good angle. Hold on, I'll there make it fit. I'll make it fit. I was wondering why that door was open there for a second. Got the chopper. <laughs> Never let God your guard damn. down. You know that he said that they didn't fit. What'd you say, yo? Hold the door open, Craig. Hold up. I got it. I got it. That good enough, yo. Damn, who that fat ass motherfucker, yo? <laughs> Fuck you, you piece of shit! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Look at this, <laughs> look at this porky ass motherfucker, yo. How the fuck you fit your fat ass in that tiny ass car, yo? Oh, yo. Oh, it's outdoor, man. We love Damn, outdoor, yo. Come on, outdoor. Give us a hug, dog. What the? Bro, I'm gonna fucking give him a taste of freedom. That's what I'm gonna do. Damn, I bet oh, I, I bet you'd probably be able to recommend a taste of freedom, though. You probably have seconds, fat motherfucker. Bubba, gang. Come here. Bubba, gang. Bubba, bubba, gang. You guys get tracked! You get in the truck, yeah, you keep on driving, yeah! Are you coming, Abdul? <laughs> no, wait, 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 where are you guys going to? Not joking, man. Uh, we don't have time to stop man. today, so we hung that chain gang pack, man. Yeah, no, we, we, we had some that chain gang issues pack. the last couple days. Get your so chubby ass what? later, motherfucker! It is a chain gang creek, isn't it? It is. Damn right it is, man. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. The old one, right? It's like the old one. Sir. They had it. Oh, wow. I want to shoot that. You guys going to war with Jane? Ed from yeah. Elite, yeah. thank you so yeah, much for the three the months of Prime. Game, I really do appreciate well, it. Mr. Flag, you guys. Mr. Flag. Appreciate it, homie. Please don't shoot me again. Y'all yo, need it. Motherfucker ain't got no faith, yo. We're going to be laying out the street team, yo. 
Oh shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could hear shots. I think there's a gunplay in here or something. Oh, oh damn. The Raiden? Yeah, they must have had a shootout. Who's Raiden? Drive around, let's have a look. But that, we are four right now. You got the Matrix number? Oh shit. We being shot at? Got the Matrix number? I heard a shot pop, yo, oh, but I don't think it was at us, yo. I bet. Just go to sack. Uh, we at war with Chen Gang, Street Team. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Alright, homie. Yeah, with Dimitri, though, so he's not on his own. Alright, homie. Peace. What was Doc? Always gotta check the roofs. Sounds like a boat. It does turn like a boat, don't it? Next. What's up, man? Dimitri to get with a uh, doc. Doc's waking up, so he's not on his own. Oh, fuck, I know there's so many of us. <laughs> Thanks Hell for changing, yeah, right? Yo. Hey, you have an AK, oh, bro. Let me drive. Shit. Let me drive. Nah, he does not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, you drive, man. Yeah. I got AK anyway. Blast out the side door, homie. Hell yeah. These windows. Let's get these windows open. Got a street team map, baby. Let's go. All right, bet. We back. Show up. Yo, show okay, up. geez. Thank you so much for the eight months. No, 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 it ain't, no, it ain't. It is, it is, right? No, yeah, 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 that's Blue what Audi we got is. told. Blue, Blue Audi, Audi. Audi. But no, no, don't shoot straight away, don't shoot. No, 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 oh. no. Just saying it is. Oh, fuck, you know, it's picking off here as well. What? Right. Oh. God damn, yo. Follow this car, follow this car, follow this car. Damn. Go on, homie. Let's go, guys. Hey, yo, who that hey, is? What's up, man? Hey, what up, boys? Hey, you guys good? Who the hell that is? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what up, man? Who the hell team? that is, bro? I asked you a question. Are you street team, man? Nah, I, I ain't street team. I ain't nah, man. Are you street team, team, yo? You street team, hey, motherfucker? No, no, you street team, yo? Motherfuckers, we street team, yo? I ain't street team, brother. Alright, 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 later, motherfucker. You better not be lying to us. You better not be lying, yo. You better not be lying, motherfucker. Come back for your ass. Someone told us blue Audi. Someone told us blue Audi. I'm just saying, we'll be going the same way. Bro, it's an Audi R8, and it's a light blue one, like an sky R8. blue, bro, not dark blue. You ain't gonna be driving around an R8. Yo, this you ain't gonna be R8, driving bro. around in a supercar, yo, goddamn, motherfucker. Yeah, hey, bro. This guy's got money, man. They never fucking catch him, man. Listen, I actually they were listen this time, bro. All right, the Wimps is a Mustang, dark fucking blue. They got a light blue Audi R8, like sky blue, as ugly as a motherfucker. And then it's a military green penumbra with all types of stickers. All right. Military all right. green penumbra. Number yeah, FF. Number FF. Oh, FF. Yeah. All right. And then that contender shank he'll drive. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they be busting on him. Oh. Oh my Ooh, God. Get bro, bro, I almost made bro kill out your ass. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away from, get from, here, here, get away from me! Oh, yeah. you know. Motherfucker just running, seen running seen down the street, holding down with an AK. Dude, that motherfucker yeah, ain't playing. Fight against those guys. That motherfucker ain't playing, yo. I know, yeah. Get with Doc. Get with Doc. Tell him to kill you. That motherfucker ready, yo. They're blasting around for him. So just He's just trying to stay away from for him. Yo, thanks for the 300 bits. Let's go up in the bottom with or some shit. Remember, if you guys are new to the stream, to hit that follow button. Hmm. We are on Bye. our way to 400,000. 400,000? On their way! See, all they have to the name is the packing spot. That's all they hold down. They don't hold down a block or nothing, bro. Mm. They got no houses, right? They got sports cars and a fucking... Uh, they whatever. got a warehouse, but I don't know what it is. Mm. And check the warehouse spots? Straight ahead? Nah, there's way too many of fucking camp. Yeah, what you gotta sure. do, yo. You gotta think, where would these motherfuckers be at right now? Is they looking mm. for you, or is they preparing for you ass? You know what I mean, They should be looking for us. They should be. Nah, they probably sat the fuck down be like, Oh my god, we can't do this, bro. They be fucking us up. We got all our homies got down, Exactly, bro. motherfucker. That's exactly what they yeah, doing, yo. so they, they threw in the white tower to fucking CG, bro. What you eating back there, ball of game, baby? I got, I got a donut. I got, I got a donut, motherfucker. Oh, nice. And what yeah, type baby. of donut? Double chocolate, yo. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Chocolate donut with chocolate frosting. Keep it gangster in this mm. motherfucker. Oh, oh gangster, nice. baby. Keep it gangster in this motherfucker, y'all. 
I like a chocolate donut, man. Or donut with marshmallow creams, in the middle, bro. Crispy creams all day. Is you more of a white chocolate or dark chocolate type of dare? I like, it depends on what I'm eating, motherfucker. But yo, what this motherfucker be talking about, though? Not a lot of people know about the donut with the marshmallow in it, yo. Not a lot of motherfuckers mm. know about that shit. Damn. That's that good shit. Oh, you ever had yeah. that pot of marshmallow fluff, bro? Oh, oh, oh yeah, motherfucker. Just fucking tongue fucking that fucking pot, uh, bro. Uh, uh, mm, uh, that's okay. what I'm Why talking about, weird, man. Bro? What the fuck? I we're going to make a weird, man. What the fuck? That's that good shit. Trust me. Mm -hmm. You ever had the that? Fluff, the fluff shit? Yeah, yeah. Fluff, right? Shut Tyrell, you can't say you ever I ain't never tongue fucked a cream egg before, man. Ooh, baby. Now we're like talking. You ain't never tongue now we're talking, baby. Egg. Now we're talking. Damn. You ever had cream egg? Craig, you had cream egg, bro. That ball gang, you need to get some cream eggs, man. Ca Cadbury, Cadbury get cream egg. That's the one, baby. Yeah, that's, yeah, the one. that's the one. They probably ain't as good over here, yo, but Who maybe that? I'll... Who that? Hmm. Who I don't that? know. Looking kind of sussy. There is kind of stuff right there. You can't miss this one big purple truck. Well, damn, bro. How about we uh, roll up on some motherfuckers slinging holes, trying to get ball again, rich as a motherfucker up in here? Hell good yeah! Idea, man. We could do it our oxy, bro. Mm. Yeah, we gotta show up and show out, bro. We about to show them how it really done, player. Hey, right, so what's your favorite type of chocolate here? Milk, baby, all day. All right, all right look, yo, I'm, I'm a complex motherfucker. All right. Like I used to be all about the what the, the milk chocolate, I right? Yeah. Used to be yeah. all about that shit. Alright, yeah. but then I started I'm getting into different mine. different levels of dark chocolate. And I gotta say I prefer the bitter taste the to the house. milk chocolate. Just because it different to me. It hit it hit it hit me oh, in a way shit. that I, I prefer dark chocolate. Contra you know, most things better with milk chocolate, Before. don't get me wrong, but if I'm just eating chocolate by itself, I prefer the dark motherfucker. And it better for your heart. And it better for your heart, motherfucker. Food that Our chocolate be like a big Linda tip, Medora, bro, that's some good ass chocolate right there. Did you pay your house tax last month? Last two weeks? Damn straight, man. Look, look, Chad, I'm Check not kidding. With, um... All right. Uh, I like milk chocolate a lot. Go to Cole House. All right, but for some know. reason, just the. All right, hold on. I really enjoy a nice piece of dark chocolate. But you're negative in your bank, right. or is. No bullshit. I can't hear you, though. You're fucked up. All right, go, go figure it out. Oh, Dark, it, it's, it's just different. Call me, ask him to. It's um. Okay. Yo. Yo. I, I, I would say uh, that like. Where's you going? One six three six. What's your favorite place to go, bro? One six three six. Damn, yo, you you can't go yo, wrong up? with a good ass surf and turf, yo. But I'm gonna tell you, motherfuckers, the life hack. Whenever you go to get some surf and turf, motherfucker, and they try to pawn off a little four ounce lobster tail for your ass, you Kirk, always drive real quick. No, you never go smaller stop. than an eight ounce on a lobster tail. All right. Stop. 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 Uh, is it the GPS? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me drive real quick. All right, go you, ne you, never go, you never go. You never go small. You never go smaller than an eight ounce on a lobster tail, motherfucker. That 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 that's something you gotta know. Ne ne because it just ain't the same, yo. A smaller lobster tail ain't got that. It, it, like the meat just don't. It just ain't, ain't the, the same. It like good, motherfucker, it but it ain't no the like the, an eight ounce perfect. That a perfect lobster tail. All right, bet. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Keep that in my motherfucker, trust me. Shit, lobster tail, bro. I've only had something that spences out the fucking garbage can. Damn, yo, what's motherfuckers? Go to a goddamn red lobster, motherfucker. Goddamn. True, true, bro, true. I think it has like a Q-tip in it. And, uh, I, I use rubber. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, oh, then no wonder the motherfucker didn't taste good, motherfucker. Had, someone was fucking that I mean, lobster. It wasn't that too bad. The used rubber kind of gave like, a good bit of kick to it. That ain't no chick, some chick dude, Yo, some dude just texts me saying some fake ballers of the courthouse, if you care. Some fucking oh, fake ballers of the that's courthouse. Fake ballers at the Dimitri. courthouse, yo! Hold on, hold on, let me pick this AK up real quick. All right, yo. Fake ballers? Roll it's, hey, it's Doc and Dimitri, they're behind you. Oh, fuck him then. Fuck this guy. The fuck text you that? The fucking... That little British dude we just robbed. The fuck? That motherfucker might be trying to set you up. Remember that, yo. Yeah, bro. Fuck this guy. He might be an undercover Vago or some shit. Yeah. Hey, yo, throw this in the crib real quick. Go check it out. What the? What the fuck gave you an AK? It's Draco's, uh, I guess he had to run. Oh. Drop some shit off. 
Did they yeah. fuck them up when they robbed what them? What is it, uh, the M70? Know. M70 and a brown in, yeah. Yeah, that M70's See, mine, Damn, I bro. like these guys. Yeah, we'll just put it up oh, in the house. Damn. Death yeah, I'm not kidding though. God, damn, Whenever yeah. you get surf and turf, man, don't let them cheap you out with a fucking four right? ounce or something. Like yeah, got my eight, is up in there. Just put or is it, up is it six? It's, yeah, it's four what ounce lobster. That shit's gross. The boost Never get the small there. lobster tails. Never skimp. Never skimp on that shit. Trust me. Should the blocks clean, dog? I would know because I'm rich. I'm checking the roofs. Roofs dog. <laughs> Secure the perimeter, dog. Y'all see shit. Fit the coast to clear, bro. I be clear, yo. Be clear, bro. Be clear, yo. Back, back yo, I got a new bro. nickname, yo. Bloodhound. 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 Baller gang. Bloodhound. Right here, yo. Baller gang. Ooh, Bloodhound. Hell <laughs> yeah, player. That's badass as fuck right there. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Bro, name like that, you got him, motherfucker, shivering like a motherfucker. Hell yeah, player. Hell yeah, you is. Yo, I might need a uh, shit like that. Shit, yo, I might need a. Uh, Extra SMG ammo. You motherfuckers got extra SMG ammo. Oh, I got like, boy, yeah. I got like five magazines, yo. I actually don't got any SMG ammo, man. Well, I, boy, got I, I just gotta make sure I don't miss my it. shots, yo. <laughs> don't miss, man. Like man. You with him? Shit, I don't even know that's possible, bro. I ain't gonna miss, yo. I'm gonna be shooting them before right, they yeah. even know. They, they ain't even going. The motherfuckers ain't even going to know what's going on, player. Yeah, bro. The motherfuckers ain't even going to know. <laughs> All right, bet. Don't they got no got shit, you man. You gonna bro. fuck him up with that motherfucker? Your shit talking to be on point. Yo, your, your shit talking to be on point. We just Hell got yeah. to get your blasting be like. Yo, don't worry, yo. My blasting, my blasting just as good as my shit talking, yo. All right, bet. Good shit, dog. Looking forward to seeing him. I mean, we can go look for uh, some runners. Keys, bro. Slap me down. Ain't got keys? Boom. Go. Go look for some runners. Go look Put for the, the crosshair on. Whatever. You automatic. I mean, oh, shooting from a car is garbage. Some hoes, bro. Yes, sir. You know, unfortunately, I gotta say it. I'm the one who pioneered everybody having a different car during the Lost the MC CKR War. Ball of Gang Bloodhound, motherfucker! Oh, oh shit. shit. Right, right. Yeah. Stay away. We should get away from here, left, man. Left, 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 left. Damn, Damn, yo. The cleanup crew here, dog. God damn, bro. The motherfucking cleanup crew here, gangster. All right, so listen up. You got to take the lead on this next one, bro. Ard. I got Tell your you back, player. Hell, you got to show him what it is. Don't worry, motherfucker. I got your back, yo. I'm a type of Mark motherfucker Pitt. that I don't hesitate, yo. I don't hesitate, yo. I could. I need a vacation at this point, motherfucker. I ain't going to say oh, a motherfucker yeah. wordy. I need a vacation. Damn. Hell yeah. I'll leave you honest, baby. <laughs> oh no, did sure I? catch the memo on that so we can stand Wonder who went down when you're doing that, bro. Exactly, yeah. exactly, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, bro. I got you, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, yo, the problem is, yo, when you motherfuckers be saying baller gang, I don't know if you saying it at a motherfucker or you asking me what up, yo. We need to give you a nickname. Shit, no, yeah, that's that's bloodhound. You know, bloodhound, bro. Bloodhound, bloodhound, yo. Right. Baller gang, bloodhound. 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 Bloodhound, I like that, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's some fucking gangster shit, man. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if he's like full gangster yet, though, until he gives us like a good skirt. You know what we gotta, we gotta, we gotta find a, we gotta find an old runner. How do you spell discreet? And then pull up on an old runner and give him a skirt and a. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's how you spell. Yeah, it. something like that. Yeah, we need some oxy, man. Let's find some oxy. Damn. Let me see if I got a, I got a VPN on me. Oh fuck. Alright, yo, I just composed a tweet, man. yo. 
the street team be acting like the discreet team. Hiding ass, bitch made, motherfucking Sears catalog ass, sounding fake ass, gangster wannabe, bitch made motherfuckers. That's the whole fucking gangster shit, yeah. man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, they some whole ass, stank ass, mark ass bitches. They some busters. How we go, baby? Hey, yo, loads of people at the VU, man. Let's go there. Let's go to VU. Hey, hold up. Hey, we caught them slipping up in one of these houses yesterday. Uh, you did? Mr. Viennese and Mario, he said it was their house or some shit. It was up there somewhere around here. Hmm. I gotta be careful because I know I know VU, where bro. Mario's house is and shit from Marty. Check these alleyways real quick. No, I can't make any suggestions where to look. You see, chat separation well, of characters. It's not OOC for me. You see that? It's not OOC hey, yo, for fuck me. Let's One slide through here. the VU, man. Oh, oh, hot, hot, red hot. I think it's this one. Steaming hot. No, maybe you not. You guys hear me? <laughs> hey, we do. Black salt right there behind us. Plus one, plus one. I swear I seen Mario driving a black salt today. Salt RS. That's the guy there behind Everything's us. Everything's OOC with me. That's a normal nah. song. I'll shoot the VU if you want to shoot the Con VU. Con contrary yeah, to popular to belief, OVU, chat, bro. nothing's I'll really ever OOC for me. No, don't <laughs> shoot at the VU. <laughs> Goddamn, bro, let it drive, grandma. What the fuck? Damn, if a motherfucker be pulled out of strap at the VU, yo, I'ma be busting. <laughs> I'm straight. Oh, yeah, we is. And you best believe I'ma mow down the whole crowd to get a motherfucker. <laughs> You crazy as a motherfucker, man. Uh -oh! Bro, that's uh -oh! your inner right too much, there. blood, huh? That's your inner bottle right there, bro. That's the noise we, ne <laughs> we need to hear, man. When we go into battle, bro. Cut y'all like a motherfucker. Damn, yo, we be like Peter Pan, yo. We got a crow. Uh -oh! You ever seen Peter Pan? You ever seen Hook, yo? <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, baby. You see Hook, yo, we got a crow, motherfucker. We the lost Going boys. to Neverland, baby. Let's do it. Rest in peace, man. R.I.P. Shit, oh, yeah. Shit. gonna be a gangster right party there. up in this motherfucker. Let's Damn, go. motherfucker. What up, what up, what up? Hey, what up, what up, man? Oh, shit, bro. Pock it up, pock it up, Craig. Yeah, yeah, we gonna slide in, man. What's up, man? Now nah, we talking to the street team. Fuck <laughs> 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 hey. your shit, then. I just, I just, hit his, I just hit his fucking. If y'all got cash, it's whatever. I just hit his phone with a beat. He on the phone. Just put down the uh, Seven eight four one. Hit me over. Gotcha. Yeah, I love first right, person. There you go, baby. I ain't get shit. What the fuck? You, you accept that? Accepted it, yeah. Yo, yo. It's all good, it's all good. If you did it, you did it. Go yeah. Ahead. All right, hold on. Wait, what the hell be going on here? Hey, I came with the birthday boy. I just had to go get changed real quick. I'm a weird boy, so I suck. If you need ghosts, where does your pen just suck? It's hard to me, we are too loud. Meet and greet, you belong in the crowd. Looking cute, what you wearing and cute? You're looking the beast, you don't need to be loud. Damn, that shit was loud. That thing blew my ears out. Damn, yo. You can die, I'm broke up there. Yeah, I'm about to show these motherfuckers a real hot tub stream up in this motherfucker. Damn. Is that Bobby with short shorts on? What the fuck? How do I turn down this fucking music? Go on your phone. Go on your phone. <laughs> Damn, yo, just remember, real gangsters don't dance. They just lean with it, rock with it. Fat Joe said that shit, yo. Shit, I bet. Damn, yo, this motherfucker ain't popping, yo. Valentine Zala, where the fuck are you, Valentine Zala? I'm fucking having flashbacks and shit to the worst period of my life, yo. Bobby. Hey, what's up, dude? Tidy Whitey's on the tidy green zone. Yeah, brother, yeah, brother. Hey, mind your way, I'll get out your way. You can turn your tidy Whitey's and tidy green. I'm glad you did, brother. Don't judge me. Because it's circle of truth. Damn, yo, $2,500? Motherfuckers be spending that kind of dough, chief. Yeah. Damn. Are we smoking here? 
I'm gonna join. 8,000? Kennedy? What the fuck? Yeah, what's up? Here, sugar mama yeah, after all. These motherfuckers oh. donating to themselves up in here. Mean girl, and then what else? Daddy, trust me. Right, get Damn, here. yo, Come my on. name, my name, Baller Gang, yo, yeah. and I take my top off for money, dog. <laughs> Do nah, it. It's fine. Hey, I'm taking my, I'm taking my top like, off, yo. Like I'm gonna knock around. I'm playing with a beach ball. I'm playing with the beach ball, yo. Yeah, there's eight of them. All right, yeah. let's go, let's go to the ATF. Like Hell yeah. Day, Damn, I just got $20. Hell yeah. Boom. 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 Hell yeah. Damn, hold up, yo. I got to pee. Ah, there we go. I got some nasty shit, bro. Hell yeah. Hell. I told you, that's why I don't want to go in the water. That's worth another 20 rounds. Oh my good, that's the thing that I'm in the Damn, that bitch be moving her hips like a motherfucking wrecking ball. I hate it like that. The motherfucker got 2,500 bucks on the wall, bro. I think he donated to himself. Hell yeah, that motherfucker definitely donated to himself, yo. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Y'all want some drinks? Y'all want some drinks? Yeah. 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 Yo, fuck it, man. Get us one of everything, bro. One of everything. Yo, I don't think your liver gonna agree with that shit. Yo, the one on the left, it, it don't know how to move her hips like the one on the right, though, yo. Alright, I'll hit you up for you. How's the view? Oh, that's amazing. Better than my girlfriend's boot Hey, let me buy a drink for the boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm watching Zrap Princess. I'm, I'm so drunk. Be right back. Right, right, right. <laughs> what the fuck is going on behind us? How do you do that, chat? Tell me how to do it. I'm going to hop up there and show them how it's done. What emotes do I have to do? Uh, so <laughs> what emotes oh is it? Oh my god, it's just turn around to just jump back. Thank you. Got time, bro. All right. Where are you at, man? You just spam it. Alright, so are you charging him then? Oh shit, my bad, Craig, yo. My bad, Craig, yo. I don't know if they want it. I'm gonna go after you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, throw it back. Throw it back. Shake that ball up. <laughs> oh yeah, motherfucker! The baller boost. Homie knows how to shake it. Hell yeah! It's another one. What's the other emo? This baller got cake. It's all in the knees, bro. Oh, he on his tiptoes. This is fuck. Arch that back, B. Come on. So twerk and rabbit. Bobby. Hey, this would be a good photo of all of us bent over. Hold on. Ah, my pussy. My pussy. Phoenix, you like that view? Stuff you want? She went. Come to the no. She's just jealous. Some frazzles. Yo, where the fuck is that bottle going, bro? Someone take a photo of us. I don't know how to do it. Guys, someone take a photo from the back. Uh huh. Maybe two dead. I'm all in my asses. Literally, just like everything off the menu. Oh, we got, we got one behind us. Damn, this is gonna be a long video. Not Harry Bows. Give me that skin. Alright, I'll take the beer. Alright, I got that still. I was checking my twatter. Yo, I'm a gynecologist. I'll check your twatter, yo. Oh, new tweet. Hey, Bottle busted. goes missing from that table you're standing on. Damn. Oh my gosh. 
bro. I know yeah, I don't bro. see one of your homies twerking on that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, yo. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, he is. He's working on that smoke. Follow me. Yeah, oh man. He's shaking the black motherfucker. That's right. That's right. He's working that shit, bro. Hell yeah, yo. I'm trying to get through med school, motherfucker. He should have been there with me at the polls. There you go, there you go. Come on, check out a play, boy. Woo! Someone, someone, throw some money at him. Throw some money at him. Yeah, don't be afraid to throw the homie. Don't throw some money at him. Don't be afraid to throw a homie some money, motherfucker. Don't be afraid to throw a homie some money, motherfucker. Don't be afraid to throw a homie some money, motherfucker. Don't be afraid to throw a homie some money, motherfucker. Don't be afraid to throw a homie some money, motherfucker. Don't be afraid to throw a homie some money, motherfucker. Don't be afraid to throw a homie some Hell yeah, yo! You ready? Damn, yo! Work that shit, bro! Hell yeah! <laughs> Damn, yo! <laughs> Sorry! Hell <laughs> yeah! Five cocktails, five cocktails. Damn. Streaming grand amici and that by Valentine. Hola, what, what am I feeling like? What am I Valentine feeling like? Dollar. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Damn. 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 Damn, you were working like a motherfucker up in there. Hell yeah, yo, gotta get paid, Damn, yo, yeah, gotta get work. paid. What the fuck going out here? Hey, what's with you? Oh, oh, your homie fucking dipped out like five minutes ago. Oh, damn. Yeah. Damn, yo. Yeah, let's go, Scoot. I think they put down the other boys, bro. <laughs> Boy, so, is that, so that's y'all? Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Damn, okay. Who y'all busting on? Ain't none of my business, but smoking shit. on that chain bang pack. Oh, where for what? Chain bro? bang, for chain what? bang, chain bang. You know I gotta hear the deets on that shit. Though. We what actually smoking on. We actually smoking on a street team pack, but the oh. chain bang be the ones coming out. You know. Nah, you right. That's how it is, though, man. That's how it is. But don't don't they got like nine goons anyways? The fuck? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck's is going on, man. Just handle that shit themselves, but hey. Ain't my business. Shit, I already took him out of the fridge. I told you to charge oh, really? it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> charge you? I'll be honest with you. I got impatient. I'm not even doing this intentionally no more, I'll motherfucker. Push, I think I fucked up my spine in that motherfucker. Everything. Ready, salted, crisp, yeah. frazzles, man. And nothing was coming. Like, I, thought my, I, thought, I thought I thought Maya was charging you. I might need to go to a doctor later. Just charge me like, what's your number, Dex? There you go. Oh, PayPal or what? I got you. All right. There you go, motherfucker. All right, good luck, good luck, good luck. What we doing there? We right now? Yeah, talking? where the whip at, yo? The whip, the whip, he disappeared oh, on yeah, us, yo. Be honest, wait yeah, a minute. It's this know, motherfucker yeah. again? Are you, is he here to fucking rob me or some shit, man? This Ooh, guy's yo. following me around. Then we get that motherfucker. Oh, he robbed this guy twice, man. Oh, now he running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He be yeah, following. Yeah, now he ass, running, yo. man. That hell, bro. He fucking do anything, man. I'm gonna like. He's so fucking hanging around. Yes, homeboy's around there in the corner. Hold up. Damn, he's sketching you out like a motherfucker. I'm about to bump rush that the, motherfucker. He's not my serial killer, bro. Right, is that you in the? Is that you in the yellow Porsche? No, that ain't you. Oh, this. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. All right, we need to get it. Oh, fuck. fuck oh, shit. <laughs>
It's tight vagos, but got the orders from El Jefe, okay? Man, I, I'm from the El Jefe team. <laughs> I'm robbing one. Caught lacking while Turkin true. Uh, why are you unconscious, oh, man? Talk to me, man. Don't die. Are you licking me? Vagos, I don't know if I want a perma. I was actually having a lot of fun hanging out with them. Yo, Butters, thanks for the 29 months. I mean, if we hit, like, I don't know, if we get, like, 200 subs, I won't perma. I mean, if everybody in here just gifts one sub, I mean, I definitely won't perma. I mean, if everybody in here gifts a sub. I mean, if we get, like, 500 subs, I won't perma. Ooh. Uh-oh, it's working. 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 <laughs> Yo, thanks for all the subs, guys. But just to be honest, I'm not going to perma anyway. So, just so you know, just so you're aware, I don't like doing that kind of scam shit like that. I'm, I'm not. Pl I don't. I don't want to perma. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to keep gifting, I mean, you might as well. You know what's funny? I kind of expected that. I kind of expected something to go down at the VU. Oh, I still got my knife at least. Damn, I should have slayed down there and played dead. I thought I'd be I thought the the shots were only coming from the overpass. That means someone there tipped them off, for sure. Somebody there tipped them off. Thanks for the 10 bomb, Jay. Guys, thanks for all the subs. I really do appreciate it. I mean, it would be cool to hit 15k subs this month. I mean, that could happen if everybody in here just gifted one sub. You know, we could easily hit that. Damn, I don't understand how I did not get a new world deal. How the fuck did I not get a new world deal? I could be rolling in the fucking money right now. I don't understand how I didn't get one. Yeah, all we need is 2,958 subs. RP with Jordan. I like RPing with Penta a lot, but we, our schedules just never line up. Yeah, someone DM'd me the weirdest thing last night. They said, said something about you let Bass do your dirty work or something for your assumption. I was like, motherfucker, I hopped on the server to make a new character. I hopped on the server for about 25 minutes to make a new character, and someone said I hopped on the server to, like... And, dude, people are so... Dude, I'm not gonna bullshit. I love Penta to death. Bob, 
I, I say this and I mean it. Bob, best friend in this entire industry. All right, friend for life. But I hate his fucking community so much. I really do. I fucking hate his community with a passion. I love him, but I hate his fucking community so fucking much. The amount of DMs that these sons of bitches send me is unreal. Unfucking real. Oh, I didn't hop on to fire him. I did say to fire him, though. Not gonna have a felon working in the lot. Kidding me. As good as the RP would be, fuck no. Definitely said, hell no. Fire that motherfucker. You can wait until he gets, um. You can wait until he gets. Yo, you good? I got you, man. Don't worry. Help me, motherfucker, yo. They shot me down, yo, like a dog, yo. They shot me down like a dog. Chill, bro. <laughs> They shot me down like a motherfucking dog, yo. I was just shaking my ass, yo. I was just shaking my ass. You good, bro. You good. Fuck. One sec. Oh, don't crash. Are you bleeding heavily or what? <laughs> yo. Yo, I'm already shitting in a colostomy bag, yo. Don't worry, yo. I'm gonna be good. Shit, okay. Hey, I yo. Was I was not in a gang-related shooting. I tripped and fell off some bullets, yo. He tripped and fell. I'm a I witness. I tripped and fell off some bullets. I was not in a gang-related shooting. I wouldn't lie I'm about that shit. Yo, I'm a good guy, motherfucker. He definitely tripped and fell. I tripped and fell, yo. Can you get Nancy? It. <laughs> Doctor! I need a doctor in this motherfucker! Help me, yo! Pick me up, bitch! <laughs> bitch, you better pick me the fuck up! Are you okay? I'm alright, yo, I'm alright. I'm gonna I'm a just lay here all for right. a bit, yo. I'm gonna get you a doctor, bro. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> I never got a chance to shoot. The Alabaster Slim talk more like this. All right, this is more the Alabaster Slim voice. All right, you he bitch motherfuckers. And then this more. Oh, shit. Hold on. It's hard for me to go between. <laughs> Help me out, motherfucker. It's like a lot lighter. Here he is. Oh, He's oh damn, heavily. yo! Oh, all right. So you can you can leave now. Thank you. Hey, what's going on? How you doing, bitch? Sir, right, you that can sounded leave. a lot like Alabaster. No, I'm his friend, right No, I don't care. You can leave. Wait right. for me outside, yo. Yeah, I'm telling you to wait. Wait right, for me outside, yo. I I know what it look like, motherfucker. But I ain't do nothing illegal, I promise. Fuck, now I feel now now I can't stop from pushing myself into doing slim voice. You happy? Fly, thanks for the gift sub. Let me stay here for a second, let me just get him. My back, yo! My back! My motherfucking back! Have you been through Nancy? Yeah, I have, yo. Here you go, sir. Let's go. 
I must rest here a little bit, yo. <laughs> I still might die. <laughs> I still might motherfucking die, yo. Yo, dude, Crepitonic, thanks for the 14 months, dude. I appreciate it. I'll lay here for a minute. I'll lay here. Hey, <laughs> Craig, they got my ass, yo. They was on top. Yo, Craig, they was on top of the closing door, yo. A boy fucked us by leaving us like that, yo. A boy fucked us. Someone tipped him off. You get dirty. How are you, they, bro? They, I'm all right, yo. They, they pocket wiped my ass, yo. They pocket wiped me, dog. I, uh, I'm gunless, yo. But they left my knife, yo. That's yeah, what they done bro. fucked up. They left me a martini, bro. Damn, you all right, yo. You all right, yo, motherfucker. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I caught one of their shoulders. That shit scared me like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna last. Damn, yo. I was gonna lay and play dead in the middle of the street, yo. But I didn't get a chance to. <laughs> the hell, bro. I'm getting out this motherfucking bed. <laughs> you got me good, bro. Come on, man. We getting out of here, Craig. What the hell you go, bro? We getting out of here, oh, Craig. Man. We getting out this motherfucker. You go, bro. We gonna you find that motherfucker. Like motherfucker. Hell yeah. Damn. I just told yo. I told them dumb that dumb bitch cop yo. I fell on some bullets yo. Oh shit. Yeah, you be alright. Hey, I'm alright. Yeah, trust. You be alright. Yeah, trust. You go, bro. I'm better than good yo. I'm, I'm ready for war yo. I'm ready for. I Damn. mean. You, you uh, saying you ready for round two, bro? I'm ready for round two, yo. I'm ready for round Shit. two. Yeah. All right, we ain't got whips, so we got to take this one. Never mind, we taking this one. Ooh, all right. All right, looks like we walking back to the sack, motherfucker. Now nah, we got the primo, bro. I was just playing. I just wanted to Oh, oh all right, yo. Hey, what you feel, bro? You like it? I get hella titties in this. Yeah, hell yeah, motherfucker. This call be gangsters yeah, a motherfucker. Hell. Y'all right now. Hey, you see why I can do this, man, bro? Benny's can fucking suit this up like a motherfucker. You mean drop by, check it out if you want. I don't want to get shot again, dog. Nah, you got me go, bro. Look, you just got... You know what? We got to get you one of these, bro. Check this out. Check this out. Hey, how's about the whip for a minute, bro? Hi, right, yo. You just got to get yourself one of the Fake mustache. Bump. Hey, yo. Craig, where you, go, Craig, where, yeah, where you go, motherfucker? Craig, where you at, yo? What you doing, oh, Craig, shit. yo? He, he, he just around the corner, bro. Bump. Where you at? Hey, I'm right here, bro. Oh, damn, yo. You got me, yo. That, yeah, you, yeah. you got me, dog. Break. That's just my disguise, bro. You got me, when motherfucker. On, look, crack it, Craig. When I put this on, check it out. When I put this on, I turn into Brain Dead Brian. But this motherfucker love it. Get back here, yo. Get back here, yo. Yeah, that's Brain Dead Brian, bro. That's that be my disguise, bro. Ain't never anybody got no shit. Get back here, yo. Get back here, yo. What the fuck? Get back here, yo. Get us out, bro. I'm getting that motherfucker. I'm a fighter car, yo. I'm a fighter car, yo. Oh, oh, damn, yo. The other my name, my name, Baller Gang, yo. Put some respect oh, oh, on it. Oh, 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 oh. They, they no CG, bro. They ain't no CG. Oh, no. oh I. Jeep, All right, here, take this. Craig, Drop chill. Top, All right, Craig, come on. Hell chill, yeah, yo. Bro. Chill, Craig. Chill. Demon time, yo. Chill, okay. Craig. Kill Why is Craig. It time? Chill, Craig. What you motherfuckers Sorry, up to, I yo? Didn't you want to kill me, I, I, did, bro. I didn't mean. We don't. We just oh. want to say hello. Chill, bro. Just, just be chill. That's all. 
Uh, How you so been? Ball, I, can't, bro. I'm just I use this big gun to chill people out. Oh, so that's the guy that's on Damn, Twitter. Motherfucker got cannon Hold the gang, bro. Yeah, hear my ID, yo. Gun today. I got a new gun today. Here. Oh my god. I, I'm ball, just trying to build them like ball brass, bro. Ball the game, bro. Right now. Yeah. Huh? I'm getting up there, yo. I'm getting up there. I'm getting tougher, yo. Shouldn't you be hiding right now? Fuck no. Why the hell would I be hiding, bro? You're standing on the open while CG is probably hunting for you. I'm I'm so proud yo, of this, you for still wearing your collar. Yo, we hiding in plain sight, motherfucker. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You are like no, invisible. Oh, they busy yeah. checking all these other places, yo. We just hiding out and playing ball, fucking psycho. Don't yo. move. Yeah. No one will notice you. Hell oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the town, bro. Oh, oh, I, I think you're about to die. Oh no! no oh no. damn! There's, it's oh slow shit! Rolling. We got a dip, yo. We got a dip, yo. It's that blue Mustang, yo. Hey, yo, that was my only strap, by the way, bro. So you gotta hold it down. I hold it. I hold it down, yo. I hold it down, yo. Are you want to drop out that motherfucker for? Say less. Oh, they come around. They come around, bro. Hold up, hold up. I oh, know we good, yo. We retreat. <laughs> we retreat, yo. Oh! I was looking behind me, bro. <laughs> yo. I was looking behind us, too, yo. Say what? I was looking behind us, too, yo. I didn't, I didn't see yeah, that car, either. I was waiting for them to follow us, bro, and we bailed them down the alleyway and you stopped busting. Oh, hell yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, yo, the way I'm feeling medically wise, motherfucker, they could have spit on me and a motherfucker die. Yeah, true that. Hey, let me get you something a bit more durable than that fucking Mac 10 though. Yo, let me, let me, let me, I get you something else. Yeah, 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 I got you, player. There you go, player All boy. Right, Don't worry, I got my knife out. I chase these motherfuckers off the block. Can we go down, you and I? What up, motherfuckers? Hey. Yo, you ain't gonna gas if you bro. What's up? Stuck. Hey, we, we just dropped gas. up. We, we just dropped, we just off, dropped Mando. off Mando. Oh, I right, ran yo. out of gas. Do you have gas? <laughs> what I got. Uh, no, but there'll be a gas station up there. You, you don't even need pimping that shit, bro. Are they asking the me if I got a fart, yo? Listen, <laughs> uh, uh, You can just suck the pumpkin shit. But I'd get Do out of here before y'all get blasted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to Hey, yo, the more y'all stand here no, talking. No. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up, motherfucker. I want to be with Chris. All right, listen up. Oh, damn. Y'all got legs, bro. Y'all can walk. We keep in the car now, bro. All right. Yeah, we we, we we hold the car for him. We walk, we keep it on lockdown for him. I got your whip, bro. I got your whip. Oh, right, hell yeah, gangster. Looking for the whip? You got to charge him 20 bucks. Oh, hell yeah, yo. I charge him. I charge yeah. him. I charge him, motherfucker. Right, yeah. Let me get you a strap, bro. All right, yo. I'm ready. I got my knife ready. I'm a, a bloodhound. Bloodhound, motherfucker. Ain't nobody getting past me, yo. Damn, yo, them shoes be looking fly as a motherfucker. Uh, tomorrow, not sure if we're gonna take the day off tomorrow or if we're just gonna do some variety tomorrow. Most likely, do some variety tomorrow. All right, yo, I guarded your car for you, yo. Mando, Mando gave us gas. Yo, any of you motherfuckers got 20 bucks, yo. I'm down bad, yo. Yeah, I got you. I, I got you, bro. I got I you. I need alcohol oh, money. I got you. Bo, uh, here, I got you alcohol. No, I got I, alcohol for him. Damn, hell yeah, yo. Here you go. Let I dropped some for you right oh, there, thanks, too. Oh, thanks, yo. The hell this motherfucker? A goddamn cherry a kiwi, shot. yo. I don't know. They yo, gave it to me at the bar. I got you. Hold on. I got you some beers. Hold hell on. yeah, yo. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm Actually, out here pumping gas in a fucking suit. Come on. I actually have a bunch of bro, alcohol in, in my trunk. In it. If I was to take a picture of you and put feminism at the bottom of it, it'd be an inspirational photo and hey, shit, yo. It would guys. be. It would be. Bell, yeah, Bell texted me and said, the wow. city limit like is 50, or 35, not 75, and she sent me a picture of the radar. <laughs> so y'all going to war, huh? 
Going to war, yo. We already be at war. All right, war. here. Take these beers. Good luck. Would you like some I don't need luck, yo. Oh, I'm a straight killer. Oh, there you go. It's just one, but there you go. Have fun. Ain't you motherfuckers see my yeah, knife, yo? I'm ready out this motherfucker. Oh, oh shit. my I god. Rambo. I'm ready out this motherfucker. Have fun, sir. Uh -oh! Yo, what it do? You got yo, what it do, down. baller gang? I got shut the fuck up, yo. You got shut oh, the that, fuck that's up. That's the baller gang. Shit, yeah, man, I got shot the fuck up, bro. Oh, you got any joints, Craig? Yo, that that's the baller gang, bro. Y'all left me at the VU, man. I got shot up. Up. I got shot up well, too, what, yo. What you picked up was for baller gang. Give it to him. Oh shit, my bad. There you go. You give me a gun out, Craig. Uh, that was it. You you gotta go get one from the crib. Yeah, yeah. You got a car? That's why I was asking. You got a car? Uh, yeah. We got the pre okay, Let's go then. Ah, right, yo, hell yeah, ball player. Of gang? Let's go, gangster. They they ambushed us, yo. They ambushed us. Yeah, yeah, no, bro, that bro. They ambushed the shit out of us, yo. Oh, that's that's the shit out I of got you. fucked up too, motherfucker. I thought I got. I thought they was just on the overpass, yo. Turned out they was on top of the clothing store too, they dog. Was everywhere. Yeah, they was everywhere, bro. It was left, right, and center up in that motherfucker. I'm gonna get a, uh, gonna get a gun. Go to real quick. Let's go down to the Damn, you been out secret facility yet, bro? Yeah, yo. Yeah. Check it out. Are right, you here? Damn. I bet. That's where we keep all the blickies, bro. That's smart, yo. Hell, Hell yeah. smart, yo. Can't be only only problem is, yo, you never know if they, like, if you do keep all your guns there, yo, you should probably try and keep a couple extras in your in your houses, yo. Because all it oh, take yeah, for them yeah. motherfuckers to follow you one time, then if you have to go there every time, you know what I mean? That just increases the odds of them finding that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, true that. I'm a smart motherfucker, yo. I'm a, I'm a tactician. Oh yeah, me too. I don't drop that preschool. <laughs> oh yeah. Hell yeah, we did. I need a motherfucking Kyle. gun, bro. Did he call me Kyle? Oh, you're saying what's Kyle's name? Ugh. Damn. Damn, you jumped through that fence, you motherfucker. That fence up, <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn, bro. To me, it looked like you fucked that fence up. That's some next level shit right yeah, there. Man. Hey, if you took a look inside, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, yo, it decorated like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm having too much fun hanging out with these guys today to perma. Hell yeah. Damn, yo, this motherfucker. So walking back, you'd be looking like a shop class, yo. I need some joints up this motherfucker, bro. Yeah, I need I need two Yo, joints too, motherfucker. Got you some right here. That go bloodhound. You enjoyed that. Sip on that like a motherfucker. Oh hell yeah, yo! You already know your boy got all the drinks ready, yo. I fight better when I'm drunk. <laughs> oh nice. Oh yeah, I fight way better when I'm drunk, yo. Fearless, fearless motherfucker in these streets. Hell yeah. You hungry? First day, something like that. Mm -mm, I'm Pretty good, good, yo. I do need to go do some yoga or some shit. Smash right. some more of this shit down your throat, bro. Just eat it. Bag. Gotcha. I got two, yo, Craig. Pick up the other two, dog, just in case you need some. Oh, what the hell that is? Yeah, Crystal, yo. Oh, nah. Yeah, let me get some of that. Hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a couple joints, I'm gonna get you some motherfucker. Joints. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. some joints now, man. Now smoke up and blaze up. Boom. Brown. Brown. Joints, man. Brown. To bow to pass Brown. up in this shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We got papers in here, Craig? All right, I'm Kyle Pred. Put your hands up. <laughs> Where the I papers at? Shit. Shit, where the hell are you asking me? I don't know shit. shit. Man, there's no fucking papers. Shit, the homie right here, he probably got some paper, bro. He was shaking his ass, getting all types of pay. Yeah, like that. He was busting it. Damn, bro. Damn. I'll be ready, like yo. I'll be ready, yo. Part-time stripper, yo. Full-time gangster. Damn, you got your nut, uh, a fucking rash on your nut, shaking your ass like that in them jeans, bro. Hell yeah, yo, I already got it. <laughs> Damn. Ain't never been, Shit. you ain't meant to be twerking hey, in no yo. denims. Hold up, hold hey, up. Hey, listen, bro. Did you try to say your gooch is as red as a motherfucker? Red from all the bullets it just took, yo. Damn. Yeah, mine's a little bit red, too. A little bit soft, but I kind of like it. All right, we're going to go on a ninja mission, man. You guys ready to do this shit, bro? Oh, we uh -huh. gonna sneak you up in this bitch. We're gonna go ninja style. Hold right. up, let me activate Look camouflage. Look at this shit, man. Boom, camouflage Ooh. activated. We gonna fucking blow these motherfuckers God, up. Bro. You down? Damn, hell yeah. You down? I'm down as fuck. Sky high, motherfucker. I'm down as shit Sky high, this yo. shit, man. You wanna blow them up? Fuck yeah, I wanna blow them motherfuckers up. I wanna blow them up and then I wanna kill. I wanna shoot them, yo. I wanna blow them up and then shoot them. I wanna shoot them, blow them up, shoot them, yo. Let's let Tyrell hold that, bro. I, I don't think you can throw that right, bro. I've seen your throw in. What do you mean? No chance, no shot. And we need to, we need to sneak approach. We need to get in there, get in the trunk, man. Put it in the trunk. All right, bet. Oh hell yeah, yo. Shit, we get, we going back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we going back together, yo. Yeah. Let's bro. do it, man. I mean, I ain't never been before. Is the nice way or what? This thing's heavy. <laughs> but yo, what if we blow out the power to the city, man? At night time. And we're gonna get night vision goggles from uh, Mega Mom, man. They ain't gonna know what hit him. Damn. Damn, that wouldn't be a bad plan, motherfucker. Except we gotta know where them motherfuckers be posted up at. Seem like they be out on the prowl now, yo. They probably feeling cocky as a motherfucker. Yeah. Damn straight. What if I plant the C4 on the side of a building somewhere? Not that. We, we just got strap of the whip, bro. See if we can get him to run to it. Nah, what you do, yo, is you fucking... You, you fucking put it on a car, yo. And then you drive up all dressed up incognito and shit, pull up next to motherfuckers, get out and run, yo, and then just blow that motherfucker up. Damn. Holy shit. Hey, that's a plan right there, bro. Hell yeah. I'm, a, I'm an outside the, the box thinking motherfucker, yo. Damn. All right, we're getting a whip. We're getting a whip. I got the purple one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, Glitch, thanks for the yeah, six grab months. grab that one right there. You know what? This park moved down. It's out of yo, gas. Ain't ain't got got we run out of gas, bro. Let me get some. Uh, let me get some more. I got one. I got one. And I keep lookout, yo. That run animation, I know the run animation is so good, isn't it? Oh, I'm up here keeping a lookout, yo. Hey, can you drop my whip down into the sack, bro? Yeah, yeah, I got you, yo. Where you want me to park it up at? Uh, there's, there's like a garage straight down. If you just be oh, lined up right down there, bro. Got you, playboy. Just park it right from there. I need a scale. I'm uh, I got 
got his weed on me. Here's the plan here. Here. Oh, you got joints, yo? Yeah, I'm trying to roll joints now. I need a scale. I need to go and get a scale from the... Right here on the inside of the door, bros, where we can put the fucking... the C4. Put it on there. No, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. So we gotta get changed first, bro, and then we gotta roll up and do that. Yo, shit. yo, I would recommend just in case, yo, you probably racked that motherfucker in your crib until we're ready to set it up, just in case that motherfuckers catch us lacking, yo. Oh shit! You know what? Why don't you take it, man? You wanna do it? Nah, motherfucker. Nah, 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 I trust you, got you it. more than this than yo, I trust myself. Yo, yo, yo! I, I, yeah, I, I, you got this, away, motherfucker. Man. I'll coach you, yo. Put I'll be away. like, yo. I'll be John Madden, yo, and you be my Raider. Fuck that! I ain't no John Madden, bro. I'm, I'm doing John, my feet, man. I'm with John my hands. Madden. Let me put it away then, Craig. You sure you don't want to press the trigger, bro? <laughs> I don't even know how to press the trigger. What's that, man? G muscle, yo. Fuck knows what we doing. Uh, Mando wants. <laughs> Mando wants a plan. Oh, what shit. For, it's bro. kicking off, man. I'm getting on the roof. I'm getting on the roof. The Mustang done drive by them, and the boys went after him. They did, yo. All right, I was getting ready. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'd be on red break. You sure this got work, bro? If we, if we use the C4, bro. I don't know. Yo, about I look, that. I'm gonna be honest with you, motherfucker. I'm guessing. <laughs> do I Shit, do man, I think it's gonna work? Mustang. I look, I got another yeah. plan, yo. We steal a helicopter, get some parachutes, and we drop the helicopter on the motherfuckers, yo. Like, there's some shit, wily, wily coyote shit, yo. I don't, I don't know how to fly, fly. I, don't, I don't know how to fly, yo. Then we fuck. Yeah, we gonna Damn. crash and die, man. I mean, you don't need to know how to fly if you got a parachute the way I look at it, motherfucker. Like, true. I've got a couple parachutes, too. Damn, look, them helicopters, they be chasing after somebody, yo. Be the perfect time to start shooting that tail rotor. <laughs> so it was that blue Mustang from earlier that we saw up at the square, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's them. It's like a dark blue, bro. Them motherfuckers ain't finna uh, come back, pussy-ass motherfuckers. <laughs> you think that's a good idea to see for them, bro? Nah, put a C4 away. It's all good. Let's go in the rump hole, man. Let's go and hunt these motherfuckers. Hold on, I tweeted him, yo. The... Hey, shit, yo, baller gang, just tweet him, bro. Yo, you always got yo. Trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. <laughs> Damn, I still need joints, motherfucker. Yeah, me too, man. I need joints as well. Get joined. Got gotcha, your play, boy. Yeah. You got keys to this, man? Uh uh. Shit, we need some keys, bro. Yo, Craig got them, yo. Craig, you got the keys? Yeah. Oh, shit, they're here again. Oh, shit, yo. Let's just sit here. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. They on GSS? Oh, damn, yo! I took a bullet! Damn, bro! When you blast in that candy. Be careful, bro! Oh, damn, yo! I need help! Oh, damn, I'm running into the Mega Ball! I'm running into the store, yo! 
I'm coming, I'm coming, yo, I'm coming. Come up. There you go, there you go, quit, bro. Hell yeah. I'm about to smoke some yeah. crystal. Well, yeah, let me smoke that shit. <laughs> oh, it's game time now, bro. Hell yeah, game time. GSF black, GSF black. He's on top of the roof. Hey, be careful, ball again, bro. Yeah, I see him on the left, yo. I see him on the left. Oh, he fucked me up. Don't worry, yo. I'm about to pop that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's don't worry, yo. I'm now, about bro. to. I'm about to roll and headshot that motherfucker right now, yo. Oh, right make now. Him out. Make him out. Oh shit, he fucked me up. We're fucked, bro. We. Yeah, we fucked. pinched, yo. We pinched like a motherfucker. Him out. We pinched as fuck. He rolls don't worry, yo. I got a plan, yo. I got a plan. You might. Ball again, be careful, bro. Don't worry, I got your ass, yo. Come, Mega Ma and GSF roof. Uh, he's back left, back left. He's peeking now. He's gonna peek. He's gonna peek. Left side, Mega Ma. Yeah, yeah, top top. He's by the billboard, left side. He's coming right side. He's right side now, peek him. Everybody, peek him right now. Three, two, one, go. I fucked him up, bro. Hell yeah, gangster. <laughs> oh, that shit tastes good, bro. Yo, you got any more med kits, yo? Uh, I got one more. They go, bro. I yo, the bet. But thank you. Yo, you, you need, need any? You need Kevlar, bro? Uh, go, go. I I got another thing of meth. Oh yeah, smoke that shit. So I'm good. I'm good, yo. Uh, he's but he's peeking right side again, Mega Ma, Mega Ma, right side. Damn, yo, here come the ops. I don't see the guy on GSF roof anymore. Yeah, I don't see him either, yo. Mega Ma's peeking right now. Yo, I got that. Get that motherfucker, yo. Get that motherfucker. Bro, that thing hits hard as a motherfucker. Hold on, I'm checking all the rooms right now. We need help from that dude on Mega Mall. He he's pinching us like a motherfucker. Oh, they're pushing him right now. Yeah, no, he he he, he back up. We gotta be cozy here, bro. We just gotta watch in case somebody pushes us from behind. Yeah, that's the thing I'm worried about Mega too. Mega Mall dead. Mega Mall dead. Mega Mall. Oh no, he got... What the fuck? Oh, he's still up, motherfucker. Bro, that looked like he flopped like a motherfucker rock. Right Damn, yo, someone can come up behind us though on this roof though. That's the thing I'm worried about, yo. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to. I got planned. Yo, who the motherfucker in all white down there, yo, Craig? Who that motherfucker in all white is down there? Who who's down there in all in white? In the back, yo. He in the back of the he in the back of that house, yo. He wearing that white shirt, oh, yo. That's us. That's us. That's I, us. I, I, that's that's us. All right, bet. I got a plan, yo. Uh, GSF roof. Oh, they behind us, yo! Oh, they behind us, yo! Oh shit, they behind us, yo! Oh shit, they behind us! Oh! <laughs> the flank was definitely it was inevitable. Oh, dude, I'm so, oh, dude, I'm so in the habit of doing that. Fuck. I'm so in the habit of doing that. Roof is tough. Yeah, that roof was always tough. I never liked holding it when uh, the lean boys had the uh, street. My favorite place was just to be on the ground with an AK.
wish I had the AK. Fuck CG. Why would you say that? They're all nice guys. Do you dislike CB? I don't dislike anyone in CB. I can't stand their hoppers, but that's about it. They got me, yo! I can't feel my legs! They got me, motherfucker! I can't feel my legs! <laughs> wheelchair. Um, I wish the wheelchairs weren't so ridiculously fucking expensive. I don't understand why wheelchairs are as expensive as they are. It makes no sense. It literally makes zero sense. It's a great RP prop. Where's the cops at? Why didn't the cops roll in yet? There's enough of them. Spad, yo! <laughs> I'm never gonna walk again. I already shit in a bag. I already shit in a bag, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck Mary, killing Cerberus. Um, Mary Lang, no, Mary Dean. Fuck Lang. Um, kill Leslie. Smooth, thanks for the $10. <laughs> Yo, smooth. Oh, man, that was funny as shit. I did jack your dongle. I forgot. I forgot I took your dongle. I did steal the fuck out of it. <laughs> I was going to sell it. <laughs> I was just running around with a gun with no bullets. I got a gun! I got a gun! I want to play a character who's horrible at robbery. Who just runs in everywhere manically screaming that he has a gun. <laughs> just to see how people react. Just run into any place, just say, screaming how, I got a gun! I got a gun! Seeing how, like, seeing just what happens. I wonder if someone will just, like, shoot me. 
Oh, yeah, the fucking Pokemon battle I had with the pet rock and the goldfish. That was probably one of the funniest things I did on... I did a lot of funny things on Brett. When uh, Mr. K and them were robbing the dojo, or had the dojo thing, and then they gave me a gun, and they let me tag along with them, was probably one of my favorite moments. That shit was mad fun. When I uh, was with... I think it was... I'm not sure who it was. I think it was Randy... K and Rami. I can't really remember though. That was old. That was old as shit. James wasn't there. Have I met James Randall yet? Who the fuck's James Randall? I'm really bad at remembering names. Fuck, marry, kill, Tony, Ray, you know. I don't know you know too well. Seems like a really nice guy. Marry him, fuck Tony, kill Ray, because he shot Pratt. From the bushes. Help me, yo! Yo! I can't feel my legs! You, you good there, dog? I can't feel my legs, yo! I already shit in a bag! You shit in a bag? I already shit in the bag, yo. I can't feel my legs. Damn. Well, uh, I guess I'll call 911 for you then. Just take me up there, yo. Put me in your backpack. I, I can fit, yo. Put me in that backpack, yo. Oh. Okay. Get me out of here. There's a goddamn war zone. There's a war zone in this motherfucker. I know. I just seen a bunch of dead locals over by the gas station. They probably weren't locals, yo. Those was my boys. Ooh. <laughs> they got caught lacking, huh? They were locals. They was my boys, yo. Damn. Oh, I wanted to see they beat us there. My legs! I can't feel them, yo. I can't feel them. It's all gonna be alright, man. Uh, we got a man got shot down by the cul de sac gas station. And we walked towards his apartments. There's a bullet hole out. I'll try to get the pressure on it. What's your name, man? Oh! Nice to meet you, huh? Oh, yo, my name Baller Gang. Oh, damn. That's definitely an interesting name. Hell yeah. That's how down I am for the sec, yo. That's how down I am. I expect it. I wish oh, I was still up. That way. But I knew the flank was coming for sure. Had to get down from that roof. I should have just jumped off it. Out of all honesty, I should have just jumped off it and ran. I'll always die. Really? You guys say the dumbest shit. You guys say shit like it. I always die and I always drive bad. When in actuality, I'll make like one mistake and I'll go down like second to last. You guys are just toxic. Fill in your fucking shitty narratives that dumb fucks talk about. I used to be the one that dropped everybody. Ah, fuck it, yo. Just put me down. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, wait, yeah. hey, maybe they give us a ride. Ah, just put me down, yo. Just put me down. Okay. Let me die. Let me die in peace, yo. Just let me die here, yo. All right. Just let me, sure. leave me to die here, yo. All right. Leave Maybe me to die, you. yo. <laughs> Damn, yo. I can't feel my legs, yo. Good. What you mean good? Fuck you, motherfucker. Yo, I shit in a bag. You, what? I shit in a bag. Is it laundry day for you, too? Oh, yo. It's laundry day. Damn, I can tell it'd be laundry day for you, motherfucker. Hey, this is a $25,000 outfit, dog. This chain expensive. Yeah, that chain be icy as a motherfucker, yo. Hell yeah. What, uh, what happened, dog? We got ambushed, yo. We got ambushed. Oh, shit. Ambushed? And I, yo, I took down like seven of the motherfuckers, yo. Seven? God damn, you're a damn I took, war I'm a hero. goddamn killer, yo. I'm a goddamn killer, yo. God damn. What the fuck happened? We got ambushed, got yo. Ambushed. But then I took down like seven of the motherfuckers. There was like 27 I of them, yo. There was like 20 of them. There were like 18 of the motherfuckers, yo. I took down one more, almost a half of them. Damn, this they was they was in the trees, yo. I'm a gangster, yo. I'm a gangster. Was, I am dog in the trees and shit. My name Baller Gang. Oh, you were the entire Baller Gang. I got the Baller Gang on my back. Damn. Oh, don't don't run out here on the street. Don't die on course. What's your don't name, dog? Course. My name Baller, Baller Gang, gang yo. It, ba it Baller oh, Gang. Did. That's oh. Well, First name Baller, gang. last name Gang, yo. I'm Baller Gang, oh. member of the Baller Gang. That's how die hard I am on my yeah. set, yo. I, I see that you, you change your name and everything, dog. His mom really, oh, really shit. set this plane out. Some cat in a raccoon oh. mask just dropped him off. Oh, wow. Yo, I was, that motherfucker would change me, yo. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I wish that raccoon was around to take a piss yeah, on him right now. I, I, I shit in the bag, yo. I shit in the bag. He said he shit in the bag. You see one of them bank? coffee enemas. Nah, yo, I got a colossal me bag. My asshole don't work, yo. Dang, yo. Yeah, just it's come just on the corner. It's unfortunate circumstances, yeah, dog. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you about <gasps> to get a coffee enema, homie. Oh. Uh. Uh. Hey, there's gonna be a guy running down the street here in a second. You're gonna have... Any second, any second. He a little chubby. He kind of runs slow. You, you uh, left, left, your left, Bobby. You're left. I got him. I got him. All right, all right. Help me, yo. Uh, uh, they shot me, buddy. I got Bobby. you, buddy. They I got shot him. Me, all right. I need you to stay still and don't clinch. I shit in the bag. I shit in the bag, yo. I got shot in the stomach of my and I can't shit right. There he goes, going in. Two gallons of coffee, premium, grass-fed, gluten-free. I, I need you to hold it. Hold it in your ass for two, for 30 seconds. Look, that hot, that oh, coffee what? hot. That coffee it's hot, hot, yo. It's hot as fuck. It's I can't fuck. feel my legs. Oh, God, don't worry. It's going to make you feel better. Trust me. All right, get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Release. Oh, shit. There it is. All that shit right there. There it is. Yo, oh, what? Your, your homie's going dying. On? Your homie's oh, dying, yo. <laughs> All right. Let's hit the clip bot up. Try your best not to post anything that's going to be drama. Oh, real fucking nice! <laughs> Dude, I love Fingal. Oh, that's you know great, that Max. I love Fingal. <laughs> is it fucked? Let me see. How much freaking trunk space does this thing even have? It's got like nothing. It's a fucking free. I, I love Fingal. I can't even bring anything from the house. Just goes to the lot. It gets uh, sto stored there on the lot. Yep. Down at down at the impound lines where we take the cars and impound them. You know I have uh, before, right? yeah I've impounded here and there. Yeah you once know once or twice. Mm -hmm. You know uh, 
If you ever want to cheat on Pred. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to cheat on Pred, okay? That's okay, not all right. I, I read this. Okay, so you That's are just hiring happening. me then. This is I'm a job? I'm just hiring you. Okay, yes, I thought this was... <laughs> okay. Underneath me. All right. Right. But Pred's I'm just gonna... the only one who's underneath mm. me. Just underneath you. Hard labor. Yes. Sweating. Hard labor. You're going to be sweating under my command. Oh, you know? God. <laughs> hey, I bet you're a hard boss. I bet you're really going to be riding me. Yeah, I'm going to uh. be riding your ass like uh, it's not tomorrow. Okay. Oh, man. God. This son of a bitch! You know, it's a dangerous job, obviously, as you're very familiar, so... You'll need to be prepared to defend yourself. Hey, just gun cuff me right here, no balls. Just uncuff you? Hey, just think about it. You know, all these cops you work for are fucking corrupt as shit. Why can't you be, right? Hey, you're right, actually. Fuck you. Alright, brother, you have a good day. Aye. Hey, later, AJ. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I knew he wasn't gonna let me go. <laughs> it hurts to laugh, man. That was matter with Lang. Go, I no, have I to say. I knew that from the start. I was like, I'm in the Yeah, fuck the races up. There you go. There you go. Driving yeah. tall. There you go. <laughs> you hit about four of them. There you go. Fuck all the races up, man. <laughs> Bro, that was like fucking hey, school. Hey, they're, they're doing illegal street races, man. I'm trying to get to work. <laughs> and you hit every Strike. single one of them, bro. <laughs> he didn't even, give a, he didn't even he stop didn't either. I was, already, I was already in the middle. I said, they fuck it. The let's go keep going. He did not <laughs> miss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, yo, what a I legend. Want these try, pull up on us and what try to. What a so fucking up. legend. <laughs> that was an S class race, too, bro. It was all like Audis and shit. <laughs> CG race crew, bro. Pull up on us, dog. You drive your own fucking car. Oh, you want me to drive? Okay. It's your car. I hate drive. No, I mean, you can drive if you don't want to. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. I mean, but it is your car. It only seems right. Ah, you're right. The game didn't launch. Okay, there it is. There it is. But I really don't there like driving. There it is, driving. boys. You sure you don't yeah, want to drive? Tired. Ow, I just I punched you. myself okay, okay. in the mouth. You lost your job and everything, you probably will be tired. Ow! Fuck! Oh, Corey's calling. I shouldn't drive while I'm on the phone. Take the wheel. Okay, Ow! Okay. Punched hey, myself Corey, in the him. fucking face! Yeah, we're gonna come pick you up. Like I was. I have a. I usually keep like a pillow okay, okay. on my lap, and I was like leaning back in my chair. It was pinched between my guys. Do some lollipops. Lollipops for you. Lollipops. I got lollipops. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna pick him. Here, don't pick him up yet. Here, there you go. You pick up. Pick up your lollipops, guys. There's one in the ground. Lollipops. Let's go. Thanks, Tony. Hey, this trip was worth it after. Oh yeah. Mm, lime flavored. That's, that's, that's a strong tongue. Mm, mm. That's a strong fucking okay, tongue. Okay, real right question. Boys. When you guys eat lollip. I'm not the wizard this town needs. I'm the one it goddamn deserves. Um. God, I love Red Dead. I fucking love Red Dead. <laughs> ah. Priorities. Priorities. Ah, shit. You can fucking play that? You can play instruments? There's your magic. Ah, shit. Can you jump and land on a fucking horse? Doc Holiday, thanks for the 11 months. Dal Norin. <laughs> Thanks for the two months of Prime. All right, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, let's be... <laughs> that was a good punch. Yeah, let's be... <laughs> that was a good punch. Oh my... Just flash your badges, please. I like this clip Uzi a lot. In the glove box. Yeah, let's go ahead and put your hands up, both of you. <laughs> Random guy, uh, thanks for the nine months. Badges? Yeah, w listen, sir. You are on the streets. We are the police. We give you commands. You follow. We give My... badge. We give badge and stuff when we are safe 
and you are in custody uh -huh. and you won't Put shoot me. In me. Okay. And then show me your badge. Sir, I'll give you my badge number when we are done. Okay. Uh, oh, Tony, you've been out of the uh, out of the, the loop for a little bit. We have a new department policy. Uh, hang on, we just pull it up. The sheriff just announced it. Uh, shut the fuck up, pussy. <laughs> I want all of your badge there numbers right now. That should have resolved the situation, Tony. <laughs> all right, uh, let me see. What's I going want on. all of them. I love Ripley's delivery. Let's go to the PD meeting and then probably jump back on Bali Gang. As long as those guys are still around. Or we might make another character, I'm not sure. And we can hang out with them tomorrow. Hey, Bundy! Perfect. I want to be fashionably late. An actual perma character. Yeah, it'd be good to make a perma character. Hold on, I gotta practice for more suspects later. Ugh. Hey, you sure those fat bitches, Sheriff? I will. <laughs> I gotta practice for more suspects to beat later in my custody. CG side now. Um. Why are there so many goddamn fat people in that alleyway? It's it's a rug store. I, I don't understand either. It's uh. It's not, like, it's not a goddamn bakery. It's like a fat woman gathering, a gathering of fat women. Maybe we'll do Mar. Uh, what? Maybe we'll do um. Yeah, hold on. I'll get rid of this homeless piece of shit. Boom! Boom! Maybe I'll do Richard Simmons next. See how long Richard Simmons can live for. Ah, perfect. I really want to see someone hit. I want to charge someone with littering that strikes a trash can in a chase. I door. think there should be a way to calculate, go like damage to gov to to government property with like street lights and shit. Like that'd be fucking cool. You could calculate like damages, hey, and, like sure. the. Hey, what's going on, my man? And you could like calculate not the bad, shit. Not bad, not bad. I got solo last night, which was good. Oh, congrats! Oh. Good job. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. Good job. Oh yeah. FTO crystal. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll FTR. I'm not really feeling cop though. I I get kind of. I'm so sick of cop. I think I'm sick of being sheriff. I'm not really sick of being yep. a cop. I want. I really am thinking about perming Pred and doing my new cop yeah, character. All right, how's everybody doing today? Hi, sheriff. Did we have a fair Hi, share of gang war today? You're doing great, bro. Really good. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, any volunteers for roll call? I'll do it, sheriff. I right, you know what? Fuck roll call today. Who's? If you're not here, you're not here, and it's your loss. <laughs> We have any announcements? Yeah. Nope. Uh, Perfect. Let's sure. dive on in head first into that pussy. Uh, you really know uh, how to do it, bro. I do. I was wondering about the 13 Alpha just a couple minutes ago. That was me. Claire Seducer shot me for literally no reason. There's a warrant out for her arrest. Please look for her. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. In the same vein of that, Madison Bancroft was uh, held hostage and shot the pier. We have Kurt the Cop who did it. However, she has been admitted to the ICU, so please keep her in a thoughts and prayer. Oh I also God. want to say uh, thank you and actually good shit on that situation. No, it was hectic. We had two quite extreme situations going on at once, but uh, and it was majority led by cadets, solo cadets. So well done. That was good. That was good shit. I know we got a bit hectic toward the end, but uh, that was decent. Thanks, guys. Also, those in the back, do you want to, like, listen, or do you just want to have your own private conversation no, outside? I'm currently trying to get somebody out who should not be in the meeting. Okay. Uh, Stop yeah. yelling. I'm trying to listen to the meeting. Okay, give that individual get five seconds to leave or beat the out fuck out of him. Fuck that! Beat his ass now! Little man. Beat his ass now! Beat his ass! Beat his ass! Kill him! Kill that skinny motherfucker! You fucking idiot! Oh my god! Oh god! No! Don't worry, I got him! Sheriff shit! Boom! 
hell. Nice job, yeah, go, bro. Uh, go throw him in the dumpster out back. Could, uh, could one of the cadets, get up here. Grab no, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, take him. Take him. Throw him Gordon into the dumpster. Never get that motherfucker out of here. Take that motherfucker's shoes. Take that motherfucker's shoes. Take his shoes. Get some. Get some. Yeah, so on that, well done, guys. Good shit. I need to take some initiative. Do that every time now. Thank you, All right. We got Warrants Bundy. Would you, you got anything to bring up today? Yeah, I got I got two things real quick. Perfect. Sarah. All right. I've thrown a couple of uh, incident reports in. One was written by the chief. The other was uh, photographs that we took following a vault robbery last night where we caught all four goddamn suspects, I might add. Uh, so this first one, uh, we've been working with the people down at the lab. Our cameras and flashlights are now uh, capable of detecting small bits of plastic explosives, other, otherwise Whoa! known as C4. We got people breaking in. People walk. Get all of them, cadets. <sighs> we really need a sign that says trespassers will be shot so we can just murder those people. Ooh, agreed. True. Let's True. do it. You know, sometimes these guys are sneaky snakes and they go through right as you unlock the door. Or they go through mm -hmm. after you've gone. Yeah, That's they did that to me last do. time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so uh, we are now capable of observing uh, C4 fragmentations and little bits of plastic explosives. So gone are the days of, it was a gas explosion. You can't prove that I threw C4 at your face. Uh, the other thing that we had, give me just a moment... All right, so there is that. Uh, I don't know if this is new information or not, oh but I, God. I personally haven't seen the large metal doors in the downstairs in the vault open in a very long time. Uh, so I took a couple of photographs while we were down there. Uh, that crime scene tape that they put up, I, I want to get some of that shit because that is uh, that stuff is impenetrable. Uh, you literally cannot walk past it. Uh, but otherwise, uh, from the last time that the giant vault door got blown off of its hinges, it's still just kind of laying on the ground there. There's little chunks of it all over the floor. Uh, I could not find anything that was stolen out of this room necessarily. Uh, but yeah, uh, all of this is going to be in uh, the other incident report that is up on the board there. So there you go. Perfect. I'd like to add on to this. I am uh, one second. I am going to be forming a new unit. Uh, it has come to my attention that this vault is, uh, well, this to say, there's a lot of stuff going on in this vault. There's uh, magic tape and portals. Now, what we need you to do is put together a drop. unit to study and find out how to combat the portal threat. I am not concerned with the portals as much as I am concerned what may come through them. And as far as this magic tape goes, we need to get first person to get their hands on a roll of it gets promoted to under sheriff. You get it if you get your hand on a roll of magical tape, you come to me and I'll make you co under sheriff. Easy. Actually, fuck it. I'll give you my rank. I'll give you my badge. You can be the sheriff if you get the magical tape. Give it to me. Keep it off the radar. That's all I need. Thank you. But do you have a picture of a portal as well for him there, Bundy? Uh, yeah. There you uh, go. Perfect. As you can see, I am not joking. That is a portal. Where does it go? Who put it there? These are questions that we need to find the information and we need to investigate. Because there could be a threat. Ever, have we opened the portal before? Is there any way that we can open a portal ourselves and then somehow send one of the new cadets in to find out what exactly is this threat that might be terrorizing Los we, Santos? We, we actually mm. sent uh, Cadet that well, at the time, Cadet Thatch into the portal. Uh, I briefly interacted with it, but I was wearing safety gear. It had very little effect on me. Uh, Thatch seemed to lose approximately 300 years worth of memories for a couple of hours. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what this portal's doing, but it's kind of fucked up. We got to keep our looks. Listen, whoever put that portal there might be a huge threat. We need to find out. We need to investigate. You find any intel, get to me. I'm going to open up a unit. It's going to be... I haven't thought of a name yet. I'm open to ideas. Not paranormal. I, this isn't paranormal. 
Operation, Operation Gladys. Mm. Mm. Any more announcements? I just want to get you guys up to date on the important things. When we open that new unit, can we, like, put the vampire investigations on that unit? I'm, uh, I'm going to be honest, Pred. I'm thinking of opening up a time cop unit. Ooh. Approved. Done. Is there a the, uh, cyber police yet? In the, the time cop, it's going to be like a... That's the main head of it, and then it branches down to uh, thought police, uh, cyber okay, police, and then uh, just uh, interdimensional time dilation investigations. Perfect. Approved. Whatever you need, you will have it. I need the rhino. Done. Take it. Fuck yes. it. Yes. It's yours. Woo! All right. Uh, any more announcements, or are we good today, everybody? Are we good? 10-4, I'm going out good. there. We're being shot gotcha. on center, but that's nothing different. Gotcha, all right. Um, you know, go out there. You know, you make... I'm so happy. Oh, my God, am I happy. I'm so proud of all of you. You all are like little rays of sunshine peeking through my blinds. You never leave me the fuck alone. You're like crabs. Little lice balls attached to my dick hair. I take you with me wherever I go, and I refuse to buy the shampoo because we're a family. Just remember that. You're my crabs, and this PD is my bush. Now go out there and get them and show them really what's what. Thank you, Sarah. Sure. Sure. Shoot Matt. her in the face yeah. like she did to uh, me. Is there Perfect. Perfect. Petrol can. uses Get my toothbrush. There's one in the back of a bike. <laughs> I'll use I, I you as my toothbrush. I, I, I do. Oh, I do. bro, I'm, you're so I'm, silly. I'm a silly guy. Yes, yes, what the fuck is wrong, wrong with you? Did you just confirm there's an outbreak uh, in the PD? Right here. Fred's really good at tickling you. I will return it to you. I'm really good at tickling wanna, without my you hands. You guys want a good laugh. He's sure, right. really a good tickler. Hey, Crystal, how you doing? You riding with, uh... Um, you getting a, you getting a ride along or what? The question is, what does it take to oh, get yes, tickled? I just wake up this time mm, true. to, oh, hey, to yeah. get like a meet, to make oh, a meeting and stuff. But oh, so you don't want to do your I'm, job? No, I do. No, I do want to no. do my job. So you don't want to do your fucking I job? To, I want to do. Do my you want to do your job? I want to do my job. Do you want to do your job? I want to do my job. Do you want to do your job? I want to do my job. Perfect. Well, you. Yeah, it's okay. I appreciate you coming to the meetings. Pred, me, and who else? Uh, like, the meetings are pretty You and Pred. Cool. Wow. Yeah, Jordan's dead. Pred. He's We're dead. Best, He's dead to me. We're number one. He's dead to me, and I fired him from the tow lot. You guys are... The second I heard Jordan had that lot under it's control, sir. you best believe I said, uh-uh. Son, -uh. Son, sir, we're standing right in front of you. Sorry, Dad. You know, he was across. laying face down after getting shot yesterday, and he begged me to take the guns off of him and hide him in a bush. <laughs> you didn't do it, did you? No, of course not. Should have put more guns on him. <laughs> yeah, well, I asked him, I'm like, what if I planted guns on you? That would have been great. Uh, Sheriff sends her permission to take Miss Clear if she uh, would like to. Oh, yeah, permission granted. Are you staying around, Miss uh, Crystal? Or are you going to bed? Uh, yes, sir. What are you? What I'm is that? What is that? A yes, sir, too? I don't understand. Uh, you, yes, sir. I, I will be. Yes, sir. Around. What? I don't to understand. Do my job. You're, yeah. you're doing. Oh, I'm okay. I'm going to be gotcha. doing my job. Gotcha. You'll learn a lot from my dad. My dad trained me, and now I'm the sheriff. Oh, so I yep. can be a sheriff yep. like you, too, sir? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Just no, being clear, not. you can be a combination of Pred and me. Oh, yeah, you could oh, literally be... Oh, another protege. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. You could be literally a oh, mixture I mean... <laughs> of the three of us here. I'm okay. Yeah. You oh, just have to grow really mustache cool. and dye your hair red. Exactly. Okay. Mustache and dye my hair red. Yeah, mm -hmm. or you can, and almost, or you can make your eyebrows. Geek like our dad. Yeah, true. Or, yeah, four eyed... See, we don't need glasses. We have... We, yeah, we Our eyes glasses. work. Yeah. Glasses, red hair. Okay. I have 5G eyes. I have 2015 no. in one eye and then 2050 in the other. 15. I'm basically 15, a Cyclops. 1515. Oh, hell yeah. Look LASIK, at you. LASIK oh, flaunting that works, shit. Dude. Oh, flaunting yeah. that shit, huh? Flaunt yeah, your really LASIK. Am. You know what? I'm going to look out my window and look count, at the trees count the that grass, are a mile strands away. of grass. I'm count count right. the strands of grass. She's ready. Well, my arm's still that, hurting a bit, clear. but I, I got it. I got it. Got you. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. Oh no. 
I don't want to. Because uh... yeah, if, if I have to be on duty any longer, I'm, I might just go perma. Oh, uh, well, good night, sir. Please. Hey, you guys have a good one. I love you, I love you Dad. Oh, I went oh. sightseeing with a friend yesterday, and I Hello, sir. ended up falling off the pine hey, sign. Oh yeah. Well, Crystal, you have yeah. a good time. All right. You're learn. You, you know what? I got faith that you're going to be a great deputy. Bye, Bye Dad. I love you. You too, son, sir. Um, what are you doing there, Hayes? You working? Yeah, I am looking at a report, and I'm about to take a cadet. You're pretending to work. Are you lying to me? No. Why are you? Why are you? Are you on Facebook right now? I'm looking right at your tablet. You're on Facebook. No, I'm not on. Not on Facebook. You are on Facebook right now. You are not paid to browse. You are not paid to browse Facebook here. This is so, to make sure that people who walk by me aren't seeing what I'm writing, okay? This is privacy protection. Oh, I can see it clear as day. You're on Facebook right now. Oh, look this at you. This isn't Facebook. Watching a trailer for the new Batman movie. And then you got a tab open for your Instagram. Oh, you hey, make yeah. me sick. You make me sick. All right, let's do, a, let's do uh, that, Gene, that Richard Simmons character. I've been wanting to do him for a bit, and I feel like I got good energy today, even though I, uh... <laughs> even though I, uh, did not sleep well last night. Chat, yeah, remember to hit that follow button if you're new. Alright? Hit that fucking follow button if you're new. You better hit it. You guys are in, are in for a, a longer stream than usual today. Be a lot of ads today later. I mean, a lot of ads later. I mean, a lot. <laughs> Overtime. Dude, listen, chat. Say what you fucking want, but I have been doing some long streams lately. All right, Mob Psycho, thanks for that brand new tier one. Jones the Gemini, thanks for the 10 months. Paul S, thanks for the three months of Prime. And Mama Prince, thanks for that brand new Prime. Chet, can we just get to 15K subs already? Can we just get to 15,000 fucking subs? I think you guys are gonna like this character. And then tomorrow, let's hang out with the ballas again. They were a lot of fun to hang out with. Maybe even hang out with them later, too. Fuck it. Hanging out with them was a lot of fun. Oh, what a beautiful day. OMG. How you doing down the back there, honey buns? How could back here you? How you doing hey. there, sweetie? Hey, don't call me that. Oh, why that? Oh, are you scared? You scared you I might like that. it there, big boy? A little bit. Yeah, look at oh, you. What just happened? Get out of bed. Get out of bed there, Fred. Yeah, oh, look at this guy running around. Hey, like Baby. Perfect. Here we go. How's everybody doing today? Let's go. Lift those legs, ladies. Lift those legs. We got to work it. We got to work it. and We got to work it good. Work those legs. Out of the way, please. Out of the way. Hey, Get out nice, of the hey, way! Nice shorts, family, nice shorts. Shorts. Thank you, thank you. Hey, you're, you're like, you need to jump. You need to it's jump, time buddy. to work. I don't know, but he has nice way, legs. Man. He has nice legs. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Move out. Lift those legs, ladies. Why is he bargaining now? Squeeze those oh, glutes. What up, uh? Richard Simmons, that's what it is. How huh? that reference? Hey, do you mind giving Rim. me a ride there, handsome? I don't have a car. It's just me and Rim. That poor oh, guy just had to steal my phone. Well, that's fine. No, I'll just get up poor. there on my we own. Got daddy's geez. money. Oh well, call me daddy. 
Oh, yeah. damn. All right, where's my money, Daddy? Excuse Come me! On. Shit, why do I turn that way? Hello! Excuse me, hello! <laughs> actually, chat, there is a chance I might actually have to end today's stream early. No bullshit. Yeah, I might actually have to do some shit now. Which is unfortunate. Well, it's cool because, listen, we're, uh, we're streaming tomorrow. I just gotta think if I got enough time. Because I got some stuff I gotta do. Typical, what do you mean, what is surprise and typical? No, no OOC meetings or anything like that. What do you mean typical? I stream six days a week. At an average of eight and a half hours each fucking day, you limp dick cock. Well, I thought I could, but then I remembered the way... I, listen. Can't go into detail, but... We, we might just watch YouTube videos and watch ads for, for, for a couple of hours. I could walk like this all day. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I just like I just like running ads. An Enus? No, oh, that'd be that's gonna be the vehicle that we definitely rent. Damn, I've always wanted to uh, hit somebody with a gate. Manimal, thanks for the 20 bomb. I really do appreciate it. I just want to make sure my key. Huh, Flo flying car. I just want to make sure my key works up at the uh, yoga studio. My bad to get you guys excited for something and then kind of honey dick you a little bit. But, um. <clears throat> uh, don't worry about it. Fabio with the 10 bomb. Look, it's all, we always have fun hanging out, don't we? We have fun hanging out. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of fun hanging out. I'm not trying to prick tease you. I'm gonna make sure these keys work to the yoga studio. I think I did a good job making Richard Simmons. Oh God, hold on. Hello, boys. How are we doing today? You come here to take a yoga class? How are you doing? Oh, I can't shit. I'll take a yoga class. Come with me. Come on. Let's oh, go, ladies. Come on. Right. Chop, chop. Lift those legs. All right, with me now. We got the, the exercises start now. Let's go, ladies. Come on. Chop, chop. Lift those knees up. I'm on my way. Lift those I'm knees and way. let's go. Very, we're uh, moving and we're moving fast. Okay. All right, let's go, ladies. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Welcome to the Happy Yoga Studio. I'll be taking care of you. The name's Richard Simmons. Richard come on Simmons. in. Nice to meet Everybody, you. come on in. Let's go. Oh, hey, pick a mat. <laughs> Everybody, pick a mat. <laughs> All right. So let's start off with introductions. What's your names, boys? Uh, Harry. All right, Harry. Nice to meet you. You don't look that hairy, I'm though. Sandy. I'm pretty hairy. Your name's Sandy. 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 Oh, I knew a. I had a girlfriend named no, Sandy. No, 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 Sandy. Oh, Sandy. No, Sandy. Next, Sandy. please. Next, please. Sandy, Harry. Who's this I'm guy? I'm Willie. Who's this hunk of Willie. man? Big Willie. Big Willie, me. Big Willie. Oh, I'd, I'd like you. Can prove it. <laughs> oh. Prove it. All right, now let's let's all assume our positions. First, we're gonna start oh, off with something 12. basic. There you go. Very, position. very, very microscopic. Okay, zoom the position. Zoom the position, ladies. Come on, let's go. Let's go. 
All right, now we got to stretch our body. We got to get the blood pumping, and we got to get it pumping right and well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stand back up. We're going to stand back up straight. Just like me. And then we're going to go back down, Spider-Man. Let's go. Back into the position, ladies. Come on. This is so bad. Oh, my God. Bones are crazy. Perfect. Shit. It's okay. Oh, Flatulent throw. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't be afraid to hold it in. I'd be offended if you didn't. Okay. All right. Now stand back up. Oh, my God, Willie. What the f Stand back up, ladies. Oh, my God. Spider-Man. Let's go. Once again, we're getting back. We're keeping the body again. We're playing guessing games oh, with our body God. right now. We're working it out. We're getting strong. We're getting limber. We're limbering up. This isn't even it, ladies. This isn't even it. Oh, my God. This is just a start. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, stand up straight. All right. Now, I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to visualize. All right. Everybody All right. close their eyes and visualize. You're at, you're at your favorite place. You're at the beach. You're at the beach, right. and you got a beautiful woman next to you. Oh, and things are getting hot and heavy. So what position oh do God. we do? What position uh, do we do? We do we do downward dog. Yeah. That's right, ladies. Come on. Downward dog. Let's go. Let's go. Open your eyes. Downward dog. There we go. Come on, ladies. Bark for me. Come on, bark for me, lady. That's right. Now now back to the Spider-Man. Now back to the Spider-Man. Perfect. Oh, man. Now we gotta, oh now doggy it, now doggy it. Doggy it, back to the Spider-Man. That's right, that's right, don't be afraid. Bark it, bark it for me, bitches. Bark it, now Spider-Man, that's it, hold it. Hold that Spider-Man, you hold it. Harry, you better get your sweet yams uh, down on that mat. Know. You better get your sweet yeah, yams Harry. down on that mat, Harry. Can't move hardly. Oh. That's right. Hold it, ladies. Oh. Don't be afraid. Oh my God. Do not be afraid. No. We have to hold it in. This is how we build it. This is how we do it. This is us. All right, and then here we go. Bark for me again. Let's go, ladies. <laughs> Keep barking. Don't stop barking. Fantastic. I'm a bad boy. Now I want you to pretend you're a mighty lion. That's right. Oh, king of the jungle. That's right. Pretend you're the... You're the, you're a lion. You're king of the jungle. There you go. There you go. But now wait, go into bird pose. Oh, that's right. We soar. We're soar. We're getting our arms moving. We're in the bird pose now. Oh. We're in the bird. Get up, Harry. Get up, Harry. You can't just give up now. You can't give up now. All right, now we got to stretch our wrists. <laughs> stretch your wrists. Put your wrists behind your back and stretch them out. There you go. We're going to break those zip ties. That's what we're going to do, ladies. We're going to break those zip ties. Those zip ties are going to be broken. All right, now beg for money. Beg daddy needs a new wallet. You better get it for him. He's going to hit you again with a clothes hanger. That's right. Beg for that money. That's right. You beg. You be that bum. You be that bum that you were born to be. You be that bum. You bum it. You bum it, ladies. Bum it. Don't be afraid to bum it. Now we move into chicken. Now, oh, we gotta work the shoulder blades and the rotator cuffs. We gotta chicken it. We gotta chicken it, ladies. Oh my god. All right. Now clap your hands. You're doing great. Give yourselves a firm round of applause. There we go. Clap your hands. Now do it angrily. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Look at how happy you are. We're all yeah, but now you gotta clean it. You gotta wax on, wax off that shit for Mr. Miyagi. Otherwise, it's going to be back to being under the stairs, Daniel-san. Here we go. This is perfect. This is perfect. It's beautiful. All right, everybody. All right. I hope everybody enjoyed their first Oof. class of yoga. <sighs> All right. Now, um, if everybody could line up in front of me. Today's class cost $2,500. No. Oh, my God. That's going to be oh, each, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, let me go get it. It's at the Give ATM. Give me two of these cost. things. Gotcha. It's going to be $2,500. Go $2, Come on. From my Come on, ladies. I'll go get it right now. Rome wasn't so built in the ATM. day. Just, Come on. Let's uh, go get that money. Yeah, chop, yeah, chop. Just, and I expect to see you here. guys every day. I expect to see you guys every day. We're going to get those bodies nice and limber. Yes. Excuse me. Are you parking here? Are you a customer? No, Are you a customer? Well, you better give me $15. You're in the yoga spots. 
You better keep your van in your shitty fucking nerd store lot. You better give me my money. I think we could do some funny stuff with this yoga RP. This place is pretty dope. I wonder if it has a storage. Those bastards. I got I can't talk with a lisp for, uh, I can't talk with a lisp for long otherwise it gives me a lisp. <laughs> Takes me a bit to shake it. Can you change clothes here? I've never been back here. I don't think you can change clothes here. It'd be cool if you could. Yeah, you need keys to this place. How'd I get keys? I just DM'd the person who runs it and saying I want to do like a character that's a yoga instructor. Alright. So unfortunately though. Feel bad. But we're gonna be streaming tomorrow. It's always that. Alright, be sure to hit the follow button if you're new. Don't forget to follow the Twitter, join the Discord, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't. Alright. I just got some things I gotta do. Like I mean, I just got some things that I wanna do. Perfect. You know, let me just, you know, you guys know the routine. I'm glad I didn't perma ball a gang. I was having a lot of fun with that shit. All right. Perfecto. Muy perfecto. Funny. You've been waiting for someone to dare to say what? That the state of roleplay is shocking. I can only manage like an hour at most, not even that. When there, the, the thing is, the thing is, loads and loads of people are amazing. Loads of people are amazing roleplay. It's just, what's the point in making an effort when everything sort of just gets handed to you? It's like, well, you know, I can just, I can just treat this like GTA Online and still get paid for it. That's why I have so much respect for people like fucking Kyle, who is killing it. Oh, I He's do kill it. He's absolutely fucking killing it. She wants to me to hit 20k subs so we can get married. And he's always creative. He's consistently creative with what he does. I am. And he always puts effort in. Oh, thank you, Kiwo. I do appreciate that. I do. Cases like this I don't do. happen. Perfect. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mr. Ballin here. You probably Mr. know me Ballin from here. TikTok. Uh, in fact, I bet there's a percentage of people that are on this YouTube video just because they watched my TikTok version of this case, the Jamie Close case. And so thank you for making the, the jump and watching the full version. Um, I hope you'll stick around and you'll actually subscribe to my channel because- Yo, dude, mine scribbles. Thanks YouTube for the two months, dude. I appreciate it. And Miss KD, a KDLH, thanks for the um, four months. Much the same content that I'm putting on TikTok, you know, scary stories. Murder mysteries, unsolved stuff. We're gonna be live stuff, for a bit, just stuff. so you guys. Just know. kind of anything that's that's compelling. What's up, uh, Sarkum? YouTube's gonna be the place where I try to do that primarily, and so I'm already committing to doing. Oh, I got another um, cop you know, character planned if I decide to burn. Trying to make it two. This is the first week I've done two, so we'll see. All right, so hold on, real. Let me pause this real fast. Let me tell you, I think that there is a big opening. All right, in the world of RP. For not only like some, not only for some like different type of like RP, but I think there is a large opportunity that I think that going the super immersive route, right? And like upscaling like the production value of like the RP with like, you know, music and transitions and, you know, other things like trying to make it feel like a movie or a TV show. I think there is a big, big opportunity in a big opening to kind of go against the grain. Um, I think it's risky, but I think there is a big opportunity to try and take a character and push it down an immersive route. So I think I might do that soon. I'm probably not going to perma Kyle Pred, but I kind of want to try doing an immersive movie-esque TV show kind of like feel to a character, you know?
basically like uh, try and I think there's a big like kind of like moon not moon moon you mean moon and that character is Richard Simmons no like Jersey Shore just like Jersey Shore I think it's like a pretty big uh I think it's like a pretty big opening and I think uh, I think it could be fun to do I'm working on putting together a bunch of things and stuff and hopefully in a week or two I'll be able to do something kind of different is to try and like go like I just think there's an opportunity man and I think it would be more fun not only for you guys but fun for me as well to take a different approach like I want to take a serious approach but keep my brand of humor you know that's how I want to do it while doing a variety of characters and shit Starsky and Hutch, I actually thought about doing a fucking um, Starsky character. I did. I did think about doing a fucking Starsky character, dude. But yeah, man. I think, um, I think it'll be fun and different. Um, I do have, you know, three kids and other job responsibilities, so it's a little hard to juggle, but I love doing this. Well, all right, whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, Mr. Ballin. You have a YouTube channel with how many subs? 4.16 million. This guy probably makes a month just on YouTube with his fucking 3.7 million. If he puts out five videos, five videos a week, this guy's probably making like $200,000 a month. Easy. And that's probably low ball on it. That's probably fucking low Stop. ball on so it. So please, if you enjoy this video and you like my content, please subscribe, please stick around. So with today's case, the, the Jamie Close case, the reason I ended up choosing this one and making a TikTok version of it now, a YouTube version of it, is actually pretty straightforward. It's because even though it's true, if you were to make a movie out of this case, the viewers wouldn't really believe it because the perpetrator in this case has no motive and has no history of committing any crimes. I think he had a parking ticket. Uh, and he targets a child. With, I mean, putting that all together, you don't see that. That is not a popular uh, archetype for a movie. The idea that there are just these random, you know, perpetrators out there just targeting random children uh, and harming them and their families. There has to be a motive, especially when it comes to children being involved. There has to be a motive. And in this case, there really wasn't. Uh, and and even, even the perpetrator, when he was in prison, he wrote a letter to Jamie and, and her surviving family members where he kind of tried to explain why he did it. But even he didn't oh, have the skinwalker strong sighting. enough language you should check to that one out next. was. He made it seem like it was pretty complicated, and even he didn't know. He just said, hey, look, I'm not a serial killer. I just, I just had to do this, and I don't really know why. So... It's just Fucked one up. of the more disturbing cases when you go into it knowing that this whole thing was perpetrated by someone who had no criminal history. He had no connection to, to the victims except that he randomly had a chance encounter with, with one of them. Um, and it just kind of happened. It's just one of those horrible Chat, things. Chat, more of you need to join now, the Discord. No one really understands, including the killer himself. So let's dive into it. In 2018, 21-year-old Jake Patterson is on his way to work at a cheese factory in Wisconsin. He'd only been working there for a couple of days. This is like his third day on the job. You know, he's this kind of typical guy leading a typical life in Wisconsin. And uh, he's driving his, his Ford Taurus. He comes to a stop behind a school bus where middle school kids are getting on the bus. And he's sitting there and he looks up and he sees for the first time in his life a blonde haired, green eyed girl uh, who ended up being 13 year old Jamie Close. And as he's sitting there, because this all came out in a very lengthy confession, so we have lots of details about this case. As he's sitting there, I don't know anything uh, about this case. Watching Jamie, who again, he doesn't know, get on the bus. Nothing. He has this realization that she is going to be the girl that he takes. He actually says that. That sitting behind the wheel, he's like, I realized right then and there that she's the one I'm going to take. 
And so a guy with no criminal history, he's sitting there coming up with this plan of how he's going to abduct this girl. Um, and it would come out later in his confession, which again was very lengthy, that he put a ton of effort into planning out this abduction. So let's talk about Jake's plan. He takes his father's Mossberg 12 gauge shotgun, which is a very commonly purchased weapon. He assumed that because it is you know, so widely purchased, it would be hard to track, okay? So he takes his gun, takes a couple slugs, uh, so he's got his weapon. Then he goes and purchases a, a balaclava, so a mask, a whole head mask from Walmart. He, you know, he shaves his head, shaves his beard so that there wouldn't be any hairs, uh, you know, for forensic evidence at the crime scene. This is all so premeditated. Sick motherfucker. Um, he, uh, he went out and purchased gloves and wiped his gloves all so they wouldn't have prints on them. Uh, he purchased steel-toed boots and dark jeans and a dark jacket. Uh, in the car he was going to use because he, he again he plans on abducting Jamie and he knew he was going to be keeping her in the trunk he cut the cord inside of his vehicle it was the uh, when you press this button inside the car it would open the trunk basically he didn't want any access to the trunk unless he had the key so he cuts that cord he disconnected the dome light inside of his, his Taurus his Ford Taurus um, to try to better conceal him when he's in the car I mean this guy uh, He's really thinking hard about how he's going to do this. He knew he was going to go in that house. He's going to take Jamie and, and he had his big plan, right? Two separate times, Jake tried unsuccessfully to uh, abduct Jamie. He drove to their house um, the first time and there were cars in the driveway. So he got spooked and he leaves. He comes back and he's about to drive up the driveway when lights come on. So he leaves again. But on October 15th, 2018, he was... Unfortunately, he was successful. It was around midnight when Jake Patterson rolls into the uh, Close family's driveway. Uh, the lights in his car. I don't are watch off, Daily the Dose. Lights are off, uh, and he rolls into the driveway. And inside of my bad, I forgot to turn on closed home, captions. Uh, Jamie was sleeping. Jordan, thanks dog. for the 18 Molly, months, and Molly Ronan, thanks for the three. The Freshness, thanks for the five. Uh, Mind scribble, thanks Jamie. for the two. I think Jamie I missed all those. She sees a car. Sorry about that. It's the middle of the night. Uh, and she runs to her parents' room and she alerts her parents. Jamie's father, James, he goes to the front door with a flashlight. Meanwhile, uh, Denise, that's Jamie's mother, and Jamie retreat into the bathroom where they shut the door. They sense that this was potentially going to be a home invasion and certainly they were right. So they actually barricade the door with a, with a dresser that was in there and they get in the tub and they shut the, the, the curtains. Um, and so James is at the front door and he watches Jake Patterson uh, get out of his car, calmly walk up the steps to the front door. Um, and at this time, James is thinking that perhaps this is the police. And so when Jake arrives at the door uh, and starts banging on the door, James shines his light out through the window, kind of gets a peek at him, then moves over to the door itself where there's this little tiny window on the door and he looks through shining the light and he says, uh -huh. show me your badge. And unfortunately it was at the same time that Jake raises his shotgun and pulls the trigger, shoots right through the glass, hits James and James dies immediately. Back in the bathroom, uh, Jamie would later say that when she heard that shotgun blast, that she knew that her father was dead. And I think Denise, her mother knew that as well because immediately Denise picks up her phone and calls 911. As she's talking to the dispatcher who said that there were no police in the area, so further confirming that this was definitely not the police, because they didn't see that interaction at the door, they just heard it. Jake at the front door is trying to bust in the door, he can't do it, so he takes a shotgun, ejects a spent round, and then puts a slug through the doorknob, uh, making it come wide open. He pushes it open, steps over the body of James, and begins to search the house. The house is empty, every door is open except one, and it's the bathroom door where Denise and Jamie are hiding in the bathroom. Uh, Jake begins to try to push the door open, he can't do it, and finally he just starts trying to smash the door. This guy sounds like and a bitch-made pussy. 10, 15 blows, he actually managed to split the top half of the door open because the dresser was blocking the lower half. He goes into the bathroom and he, he rips down the shower curtain and there is Denise bear hugging uh, and protecting her daughter, Jamie, in the, in the tub. 
Jake hands duct tape to the mother, Denise, and tells her to put duct tape over the mouth and the hands of her daughter. She refuses, she's protecting her daughter. Jake sets his, his shotgun down, pushes Denise aside and does it himself. And then uh, after getting Jamie out of the tub, he picks his right, his shotgun up again, aims it at the mother, turns his head, and he pulls the trigger and he kills the mother. Picks up Jamie, she's only about you know five foot, 100 pounds, and he drags her out to his car, opens up the trunk of his Taurus, puts her in, shuts it, and he's on his way. He was in the house for a total of four minutes. He would say in his confession, Jake, that as he's driving away, about 20 I don't know seconds what that is. after departing the house, uh, he saw all the cop cars coming down the road, uh, and actually police officers would say they remembered a Taurus yielding to uh, the police cruisers as they came in. He makes his way around them and off he goes. And Jamie would say she remembered uh, hearing the sirens and then they fade as they disappear. Uh, Jake would drive 70 miles to his house uh, where he would keep Jamie prisoner. For the next three months, investigators, the, the local population, everybody is looking for Jamie. Doing a variety stream and, and, tomorrow, and at the I same think. time, I mean, people didn't have high hopes for her safe return. I mean, in the vast majority of cases like, like these where you know, a child's been abducted, unfortunately, they usually don't get home safe. And so the, the whole community is just devastated. This is gaining national attention. Everybody's looking for Jamie and they can't find her. The whole time she was being held 70 miles away in Jake Patterson's uh, cluttered kind of crummy house that was out in the middle of the woods. When they got to his house, he burned her clothes and his gloves. Yo, Zypher, thanks for the tier he three for 10 months, dude. I'm, I'm trying to find her. some. Uh... And then he had her go under the bed, this bed he had in the house, and he barricaded trying to find her some, underneath uh... the bed. And so he had, she had a pillow Alter and a blanket. Videos. Stay tuned this bed. for a sneak. Um, and. You know, that was it. She basically was ignored. Basically, I mean, I'm scanning her captor, everything. Jake Patterson, he puts her under the bed and he warns her, you know, if you if you leave or try to escape, you know, bad things are going to happen to you. And because she did witness him kill her parents, she knows he's capable Got of that. Got a couple of videos that we can watch next. That she knows that he's capable of that. So he had this strangle. Was me, uh, her, I, I brought up a video to scan it. Under the bed. I have any um, shit in it. I'm so I hate. She that's listened. why I hate watching frankly, shit she can't on blame her, right? Um, you know, and so she would go stretches of eight, ten, twelve hours of laying under the bed with no food, no water, no bathroom breaks. But ultimately, Terrible. she was just kind of ignored. Um, it, there wasn't really a plan for you know what was going to happen when she got to the house. He just kind of neglected her. Um, after two weeks, where he was really on guard, and he he told her that he was keeping a shotgun right outside her door in case anything went down with the police. When no one came looking for them, or when no one arrived at his place, he he was he felt very confidently. Sounds like the dude was like almost like suicidal or something. Just wanted to like actually, do something Jamie to do would it. Say, Sick fuck. He started having guests over. You know, he had friends over, and he just told her, "Stay in the room, don't come out." Uh, and so for 87 days, that's how it was. She I wouldn't mind was getting videos. Um, roll was underneath this bed. Mods, do you think maybe we could get like um? I think maybe we could get like a channel. In the Discord, potentially, let's see who's around. You guys think maybe we get a channel in the Discord where people could like submit videos and then like um. I don't, know, I don't want to make you guys like screen videos and shit for me, so I'll probably just rely on the community to like screen the videos and tell us like make comments on like if they can be played and not and shit. I think that I think we can trust the core community on Discord to kind of do that kind of stuff. And, you know, just wondering what the heck's going to happen uh, with obviously no time to grieve over the loss of her parents. Mr. Patterson. That's because Paula um, is my favorite mod. You hear me? Uh, Paula is my favorite did, mod. One time to, to visit a grandparent and he, he was very aggressive in warning her that he would hurt her if she tried to leave. Uh, but for the most part, you know, he didn't leave the house. But you could tell uh, in looking at this case that he became fairly confident that he was just going to get away with this. And so he actually applied for a job. Uh, and, and he left one morning to go to the interview. And it's kind of funny on his, uh, in a dark way, he wrote on his, uh, what did he write? On his, uh, on his application that he's an honest, hardworking guy uh, and under skills, he said he doesn't have much work experience, but he shows up to work and is a quick learner. And so here he goes, he goes out to just get a job and go back to normal. Yeah, we'll think of some way to do it, uh, Saint. When he left that morning, Jamie, who's under the bed, is just, she's done. 
He's not going to be a captive anymore. And as soon as he leaves, all my mods are great. Pushes aside the barricade of you know, there's some weights that were there and dress. I wouldn't mind you guys having aside. admin. Uh, it's just that out, uh, with, when you do that um, stuff in Discords, he gets too many shoes, cooks in the kitchen kind of shit. The wrong feet. Uh, and she runs out the door. She doesn't know where she is. She doesn't know anything, but she's gone. A woman was walking her dog around 4 p.m. Uh, her name was Jeannie Nutter, and she sees this, this girl, this teenager, who doesn't have a coat on, she doesn't have gloves on. It's, it's bitterly cold. They're in the middle of Wisconsin in the wintertime, uh, and she sees her coming towards her, and she can tell kind of instinctively that something's wrong. Okay, this is not a, this is not just some nice kid coming down the road. There's there's an issue here. And as she got closer, uh, and the girl said, "I'm lost. I need help. My name is Jamie." Uh, the woman, Jeannie, said that she immediately knew who it was. She lived in the area, uh, and she had seen the posters up for Jamie. She knew exactly who she was. She gave her a big hug and held her, and said, "You know, I've got you. So I'm going to take care of you." And so, holding her closely, she brings her to a nearby neighbor's house she said this is this is jamie close uh we have to call the police and they go in there and the homeowners got their weapons out and they guarded the door and they huddled around jamie yeah, perfect while jeannie called the police and the police just didn't even know what to do they were so shocked that they had found jamie i'll close. probably do that tonight then albert for them to recognize what they were saying and how urgent it was that you come here right now because at some point her captor who can't be that far away is going to recognize that she's not there anymore and so they send the police and, you know, luckily Jamie is brought in and is, is saved. Um, you know, certainly not from the emotional toll. We're going to watch the Skinwalker Ranch one. Saved. This one's pretty long. Jay it's it's, it's like 38 fucking minutes. Interview, and um, he sees that Jamie's gone and he sees footsteps leaving his property in the snow. And he goes out looking for her. And, you know, just because this is the way things go sometimes, he was immediately rounded up by the police. They, they found his car. They found him. Um, and as soon as he was pulled over, he didn't resist. In fact, he immediately identified himself and said that he did it. Jake Patterson was given a life sentence without the opportunity for parole, so he will die in prison. Um, but to this day, no one really understands how this could have happened. And going back to what it's I said at the beginning, cases like this don't happen. There's always some reason Long -ass video. for a crime such as this. It, it, we can't, as human beings, except that some stranger has the ability to randomly target a child and go as far as to kill their parents in front of them and hold them hostage when they have no criminal history there's no red flag people are just crazy mr ballin people are just fucking crazy and that was all he needed i mean how could that possibly be the case but in this unfortunate case it just is so that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit like and subscribe. I'll be doing stories like this one and many more, you know, mysteries, scary stories, spooky stuff, interesting stuff uh, on this channel at least once a week. Gotcha. Well, that's an interesting story, but it's also fucking sad. All right, here's the Skinwalker Ranch one. Apparently, this one's supposed to be good. Kind of long though. Some call this location the most paranormal location on Yo, the planet. Yo, Securacore, I feel Others like I haven't seen you for a bit, man. Thanks for the 43 course. fucking but months what is of prime. Undeniably true, that was and frankly, what up. makes this case so much more interesting is that unlike the vast majority of paranormal stories and claims, this case was put to an enormous amount of scientific scrutiny. In fact, there was a decade long study done on this case. Where PhDs oh, oh, before I forget, I need graphics artists and animators, preferably people who can do both, to DM me, either on Twitter or on Discord. All right, I need to get some stuff done, and uh, I'll pay you pretty well, I promise. All right, just keep that in mind. I just want to just make sure that I forget. I wanted to say that earlier, but if you're, if you're like good at animation and you're a graphic designer, I need you. All right, perfect. Perfect. And scientists converged on this one location and basically around the clock studied, you know, all these claims of the paranormal that was happening in the area. And after a decade of research, the findings are pretty, pretty mind blowing. And the case that I'm referring to is none other than the very famous Skinwalker Ranch. So the too long didn't read version of the story is you have a family that purchases a ranch out in Utah. And as soon as they move in, they start noticing some pretty bizarre things around their property. 
everything from you know some of their livestock going missing or being harmed they have strange sightings in the woods of creatures and lights in the sky they eventually report it to the news and that news story gets picked up by a couple of other outlets and a billionaire who is obsessed with researching the paranormal sees this story he buys the property and installs an entire team of scientists and researchers to basically try to figure out what was happening at this ranch. And they spend 10 years studying this ranch. The outcome is, well, turns out some strange things really were happening there. Before we get started, if this type of content appeals to you, the kind of strange, dark, mysterious content delivered in a story format, well, if that appeals to you, that's what my channel's all about. And I post three to four times a week. So if you would, if that appeals to you, please gently ransack the like button and then turn on all notifications so you can get all of my content every time I upload every week. All right, on with the story. In the northeastern corner of Utah lies a 500 acre plot of land, it's all desert, where a ranch sits, and that is Skinwalker Ranch. Uh, it was built in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and it was actually built on a piece of land that had apparently been cursed. Uh, prior to its construction, the Navajo tribe had a feud with the Utes Native American tribe. The Utes were selling off other Native Americans that they would capture. They would sell them into slavery uh, to the United States. And so the Navajo, who had previously lived in the area where this, this ranch actually was built, they were forced off their land as the Utes came in and were rounding them up and selling them into slavery. And before the Navajo left that area, they cursed the land with what's called the Skinwalker Curse. The idea was they were going to torment the Utes tribe for the, the hardships they had inflicted on the Navajo. Uh, the Skinwalker Curse, legend has it, is this curse where these witches descend on the area and take the form or wear the skin of various predatory animals in the area, namely large wolves and foxes. They inhabit those bodies and terrorize anybody in the cursed land. At some point, this ranch is actually built on the land that had apparently been cursed. It wasn't until many years later when owners of that ranch started seeing predatory animals doing some very strange things in and around their property that they did some research on the area, learned about this curse, and then before long, the nickname had stuck. In 1994, Terry and Gwen Sherman purchased Skinwalker Ranch. It had actually been abandoned by the previous owners for the last few years, so when they purchased it, they got it for way below market price. So they are just so excited to be moving in. They are uh, they breed cattle, and so they had you know 500 acres to let their cattle free roam. It was like the dream purchase for this family. And so when they finally do move in, like the day they move in, they don't really care that you know the grass is overgrown. It looks like things are kind of in disrepair. And in fact, when they go into the, the, the homestead, like the actual house on the property, they were so excited about everything that they kind of overlooked some of the strange things that they immediately noticed about the property. You know, they go inside and every window has a deadbolt on it. The inside and outside of every door in the house, not just the doors leading outside, doors leading between rooms had locks, the front and back side. They noticed these big pikes that were driven into the ground at the front door and back door of the property with massive chains stringing off of them, which looked like you know pretty powerful guard dogs had been there. They're, they're thinking to themselves, well, this is a huge piece of property. Uh, you know, perhaps the, the previous owners are a little bit paranoid because they're kind of isolated. And so, they didn't really raise a red flag when, to be honest, had I moved into a property where every single door and window had multiple locks on it, they had these big guard dogs, I'd probably ask a couple questions, but you know what, Terry and Gwen, they're just so excited about this purchase that, again, they kind of just overlook it. So on the day that they are moving in, uh, Terry and Gwen have some family members over to help them offload trucks and move stuff into the homestead. And it's during this process as they're moving things out of the truck into the house. And, and again, you gotta remember that the, the house is situated like right in the middle of the property. And you can see in like, every direction, basically unobstructed because it's basically open desert with the exception of a couple areas that are you know, basically forests. And as they're, as they're offloading some of the stuff into the house, Terry looks out at one of these tree lines and he notices this- Dying light too well or what looks like a wolf, pretty pretty well off in the distance, kind of 
meandering its way over towards them. But it's far enough off that this is not enough to be totally worried about it. Uh, after all, I mean, I'm Terry was a, a rancher and his family were fairly rugged. They, you know, they carried weapons and they were used to you know, protecting their livestock Dying from predators. Fun. So this was not a, oh my goodness, I can't believe a wolf is near us. It was more like, okay, let's make a note that there's a wolf walking towards us. And so Terry does. He tells his family, hey guys, just so you know, there's, you know, there's a wolf coming towards us right now. Um, and the whole family is now standing near the truck. And they're watching this wolf. Dying light would be and fun Terry to play. Terry recalled as he's staring out watching this wolf. That game scared the shit out of me. Almost walking in like a snake, like a serpentine Actually, uh, path dude, towards them. Dead From Island was kind of scary. It's still quite a ways out. Terry notices that there was a fence that was out where this wolf Maybe that'd wolf be fun is. to play tomorrow. The fence was pretty Dead big. Dead Island. The spaces between posts were about six feet. When he had a good look at the wolf next to the fence, he could tell that the wolf was at least six feet long. And he was thinking, like, are my eyes playing a trick on me? Like, that's an enormous wolf. That's the biggest wolf I've ever seen. But the wolf, wolf wasn't acting angry or aggressive. It was just kind of skulking its way towards him, very nonchalant, you know, broad daylight. And at some point, you know, Terry and the family, they're standing behind the truck. And Terry said that they all had this feeling that the wolf was not going to harm them. And the wolf got about 100 yards away. And Terry and his family are transfixed. And he even said he didn't understand why they weren't scared or why they weren't you know, running away or, or shooting at it or something, but they just, they didn't. All of them are just standing there watching this wolf. This wolf. Massive. Wolf. And the wolf is wagging its tail and acting like wolf. a domesticated dog. The wolf comes over and goes up near uh, Terry's father, who was there helping unload some of the, the, the gear they had. And Terry's father just kind of reflexively reaches out to start petting this He's petting like up at his head level, this massive wolf. And the wolf just acts like a domesticated dog and kind of rubs against his hand and then starts walking away from them, just wagging its tail and, and not doing anything, not causing them any harm, not snarling, not growling, nothing. But just as nonchalantly as it walked over to them, it walks over to where they had a, a pen with a couple of cows and, and calves inside of this pen. And one of the calves had its head through the, the post that was keeping them in this cage, just kind of watching this wolf. And the wolf notices it and in an instant jumps over to this calf and immediately has the whole head of the calf in its jaws, just trying to rip it out of the cage. But it can't get it to squeeze through the cage. And so all of a sudden, you know, like Terry and his family are broken out of this weird trance and Terry starts firing shots at the wolf it, it strikes the wolf and has no impact. They run over, they start hitting it with the back end of an ax. They're trying to get this thing off of the calf because their livestock, that was their livelihood. And you know, these are rugged people. And so they're trying to fight to save their property, to save their cows. And the, the wolf is just totally unaffected. It's not trying to attack Terry or his son that are trying to get rid of it. The wolf is just trying to attack the cow, but it won't let go. And finally, it just kind of gives up on the calf, starts kind of retreating. Terry ends up getting his rifle, a high powered rifle, and takes a shot at the wolf one more time. But again, it just has no impact on the wolf. And the wolf just, at some point, just as I guess bored, turns around and kind of trots off into the, the woods. After they kind of were brought out of that initial trance, that they remember this horrible smell, this like foul, almost chemical smell that just permeated the whole area after the wolf was there. Terry and his son, True, they decided the to go track this wolf because now there's this massive predator that's gonna make owning cattle extremely difficult. And so they would have to go deal with this predator. Um, and so instead of retreating into the house, they grabbed their weapons and they tracked the ah! and jogged off into the forest. And they make it to an area in the forest where the ground is very muddy and sodden and Terry could easily make out these footprints that just suddenly stop and they just couldn't make sense of it. And so they went back to the house and they told their family like, Bullshit! Tracked it into the woods, there's no blood. Liars! Trail. There's nothing, it just walked in. They just made up a bunch of shit and then sold so it to this some is billionaire. Day one of being at this ranch and they're all on edge now. The whole family is on edge. They really don't know what to make of that wolf. The sheer size of it, uh, the fact that it was totally unaffected by being shot multiple times. You know, there's real concern over their own livelihood because they keep cattle and they're only gonna have more uh, that are gonna be out in these pens. And if there are wolves that are three times the size of a normal wolf that are walking around killing cattle, 
that's a big problem if you own cattle. And so they're on edge and they're all in a way trying almost not to talk about how crazy and how bizarre that encounter with the wolf was. They're just like, they're treating it like it's just a normal predator problem. Like, man, we gotta, we gotta get those wolves. We gotta protect our cattle. But in the back of everybody's minds, they're like, something very strange is happening here. Gwen, she was having some other very strange things that were happening to her that she was not tying to the wolf thing. She was just noticing a couple of distinct things that were happening to her that made her think that she actually had a very real. Can I pause while uh, you go? Just get wireless problem. headphones, had, dude. Like, you know, you need. I, I got up twice. I got up and pooped already myself happened. during One, this shit. In that first week, she had gone to the grocery I got up store, once, grabbed some back, cookies, got up another time, away. pooped. Uh, Easy. And then she left to go to the other room. Wireless headphones, my back, man. All the groceries were now back in the bags. And so for like I didn't even know I was fucking gone. Sitting there, like dumbfounded with, did I put the groceries away? Same day, she goes to take a shower, and she. Hangs her, her towel. I always share a little too much like information with you, Jack. Shower, and then when she gets out, the towel's missing. And she's like, huh. She gets another towel and she towels off. And then she finds the towel hanging up in a closet on the other side. Which of the brand house. do I use? And so between the groceries like and the towel, she's like, Lights, is there something wrong with me? Or whatever Am I like having a, a stroke? Am I, am I, I having like them a, a, lot. a medical issue here that I'm like literally losing my mind? And it wasn't until. Way Terry better than using studio had headphones. Similar experience that she You're a streamer that uses studio headphones. You're maybe that strange. Pretty much wasting your money, in my opinion. You don't need a fucking studio grade property. headphones. I have them. And it was Terry and in that like, first eh. week. He had been digging eh. uh, holes for a new fence. Wireless is the way to go. Fence digging tool. It was about seventy pounds that he was using to dig the holes for the fence. And so he was. He had taken a break to after making a bunch of posts for this fence. He took a break, left his fence digging tool, you know, at the last place he had dug a post, and he went in to grab a bite to eat. Came back out, and his fence digger is missing. And initially, he just goes into the house and he's like, "Hey, you know, to his wife, to his kids, like, did you guys move my fence digger? Like, do you know what happened to it? Like, where is it? It's not out there." And they're like, "No, we've been in the house the whole time. I, I have no idea." And so they couldn't find it. And a week goes by and he's out patrolling his property looking for wolves and in the tree psychopath like well away from where he had been <laughs> digging the post before in the tree his fence digging tool that's 70 pounds is like 70 feet in the air strung up in this tree so terry comes back to the house and he tells his family about the fence digging tool being in the tree and that's when gwen tells terry about her experiences with the the groceries going back in the bag and a towel being moved around the house. And everybody starts to become, everybody in the family starts to really start being scared. Sponsored. We can't explain what's this happening sponsored. on this property. And we're very isolated. It's fucking chilling, what's, dude. What's the deal with all these locks on all the doors? I mean, they're starting to feel really concerned. Following the fence digging tool being found, Terry started to notice lights on his property. Initially, because this was the first couple of weeks they're there, he would see lights way at the far end of his property that looked like headlights, and he would think someone must have made a wrong uh, turn uh, that wound up in my- It doesn't look anything like fucking headlights. If this is the picture, what type of fucking car do you think's coming at you with fucking seven lights on it? Seven. Li you think that's headlights? Dumb fuck. My property- and It's ghosts! In the middle of nowhere. It's fucking and ghosts! Leave. And so when he first started seeing these lights, that's a, that's what he assumed it was, just people making a wrong Multiple turn. Multiple cars, uh-uh. But he started You'd to hear see him. it so often that he wondered if people were illegally hunting on his property. And so one night, he sees these lights on his property, and he goes out to investigate. And in fact, he's angry. You know, he's had all these strange things happen. His family's on edge, you know, and now he's mad. And he's going to take it out on this, this person who's illegally hunting on his property. And he starts charging out to these lights and he starts getting closer and closer and he starts to realize it's not making any sound. If this was like a truck, it's not making any sound. And we're in an area where I could totally hear that if it was a vehicle and, and he can't hear anything. And as he gets closer and closer, the lights start retreating from him without making a sound and then float up into the sky and disappear. And Terry's like, Ghosts what are real, but not there. aliens. Both are the real. Winter rolls around, and it's a particularly Both are fucking real. brutal winter. And one night, he couldn't account for one of his cows. And so he's out looking for this one stray cow. 
and uh, he searches this whole property and there's only one area that he has in search and it's that forest where that giant wolf had disappeared after marching in there and they, they tracked it in there. And so he goes in there and as soon as he gets to the tree line, he notices there's a bunch of footprints from what looks like a cow. And he's relieved because it's probably his. He follows it into the woods and much like the wolf that had just disappeared in that muddy, uh, like sodden area in the forest, in the same spot, the, the footprints that appeared to be this cow had also just, well, disappeared. And then over the course of the remainder of the winter, that would happen four more times. He would just, the animals would run away and, and just disappear without a trace. By the end of the winter, after all these animals have just mysteriously disappeared, Terry and his family, but Terry in particular, has really gone into full paranoia mode. He, at night, would just like stalk his own property, like hiding behind bushes with his weapon and like hope to see what was taking his cattle. Yeah, and dude. So one night as he's, you know. I look, one second, pause. That's the only thing that bothers me about ghosts and aliens. Everybody's got these fancy fucking phones now with all these fucking amazing cameras on them and shit. And how come there's never any really good pictures? I still think they're real. But there's never like anything good. It's always shit. Doing another fruitless search around his property, he catches out of his periphery what looks like a kind of mass of something moving around in the trees near his property. And Look, Chad, point, I don't want to get into it, but I've seen ghosts. Some, all right, some shrubs and I've some, had some spooky plants. encounters. And so we kind of crouch down. I'm sure, and look some out people in here have had line. spooky encounters he sees as well. In the tree line, this like strange shape, kind of moving about inside of the trees, and. He would describe the mass as looking almost like a stealth fighter jet, but really small. And it was making no sound and it was hovering about 20 feet off the ground. And he's crouched down, not making a sound, watching it. And it's just kind of like moving around the tree line. And it has these lights that are, it looks to be kind of scanning the ground. And it's just kind of moving around. It's shining these lights, these multicolored lights in the ground. And Terry, moves a tiny bit to get a better better angle on this thing and he makes the tiniest of noises against the brush just like a tiny little barely audible sound and VR this, counts, this bitch. mass that's pretty far away the lights immediately turn off and it angles itself so it's facing directly at terry and terry can feel it right away that it's it's heard this tiny little sound he's made and now it's staring directly at terry and terry's like terrified and he's looking at this thing, wondering like, oh my God, like, is it gonna come take me? Like, what is this? Is this the thing that's been taking my livestock? And he's terrified and he's staring at it and it just flies away. By the spring of 1995, there are good pictures, but they are being removed really, by really YouTube. Why? Terry and his family. Now, not only are they Sketch. losing livestock inexplicably, but they're showing up. The actual terrified cows Terry. themselves. Are showing I should make up a character named Terrified Terry. Hours or days Terry later, something, just call him Terrified kind of Terry. He's scary, the property, scared of everything. They look like they've had surgery done, like precision cuts and pieces of them are missing. And in addition, some very strange things are happening at the house. At night, they would see these, these entities walking around their property, these, these humanoid, they described them as having no expression, just walking around their property. And sometimes they would walk right up to the glass, put their hands on the glass and look in, but there was no face. And like Terry and his, his family, they had blinds down and they would use the deadbolts on every single door and window, but they could hear them rapping ah! and they could hear them ah! communicating in a language they didn't understand right outside of their house. And this became so regular that it was almost impossible to sleep. Terry's kids started performing very poorly in school because they weren't sleeping. Uh, Terry's wife, Gwen, she lost her job at the bank because she wasn't sleeping and she was like delusional. Just move. They were all just, just at fucking an move. breaking point. Terry is now feeling totally disheartened. One night he's sitting on his porch with his rifle <laughs> and uh, he notices out on the horizon a, uh, a new phenomenon. He, had, he was used to seeing the lights on his property that would be off in the distance that would disappear and uh, you know, he had previously seen that kind of like fighter jet thing that was scanning the area. Like those were two types of lights he would see, but there was a new light he saw as he's sitting on his porch. It was almost like this orangey orb that appeared off in the distance. Since he had his rifle with a high powered scope on it, he just lifts up his rifle and he looks through his high powered scope and he zooms in all the way. And he can see that this orb 
he describes it as as a portal that as he's looking at it, it it has almost like an oval shape to it and even though it was nighttime in the middle of the the orange orb is this blue sky it's as if he's looking through a portal into another world where it's it's broad daylight and there's a sky and he doesn't know what to make of it but he can see that a black figure is crawling out ah! of this portal into his property spooky it looks just like the Hold black me, entities that were Hold basically me. walking around his property at night. In addition to these these figures that are crawling, like uh, imagine that scene from The Ring where the girl crawls out of the well, but they're crawling out of this portal into his property and then scurrying away into the tree line. And he sees weird craft as well coming into his property through this portal and then the portal shuts and disappears. Following this night with the orange portal, Terry started to notice blue orbs that he and his family would say were the worst and most terrifying thing of all of the things they experienced. And considering they had tall, featureless black humanoids peering in their windows and rapping on their windows, that's saying something, okay? So a blue orb started showing up on their property. And the way they described it, Terry and his family, was whenever the orb came near you, it gave you this extreme sense of anxiety. It was almost like it was emitting this, this feeling that you automatically got where suddenly you were unbelievably anxious and terrified of the blue orb. And then as soon as it left, you would you know, not be anxious anymore. And so one night he's sitting on his porch like he had begun doing, and he sees this orb show up on his property. And his three dogs are sitting with him that see Baron, the orb. Baron, thanks for the four months of prime. And, and so he lets his dogs go, thinking that maybe they can scare this thing off. And the dogs take off running towards this blue orb and they chase it and you can see the orb terry can see the orb that starts to kind of retreat and he's thinking oh my goodness i, I finally won something my my attack dogs are going to scare this orb away and they chase off into the woods and he sees this thing the blue orb retreat into the woods and then when he's thinking again that finally a little victory for us he hears his dogs yelping and he's too terrified uh, to go check it out and so he ends up going inside and locking the doors locking the windows like they had been and just kind of retreating so the next day when the dogs haven't returned terry and his son they go out looking for the dogs in the forest and when they get out there they get to a clearing and they find three stacks of ashes in like little burned out circles as if there had been a fire previously in these three little spots and it turned out it was the ashes of his three dogs that had gone into the woods. They had just been vaporized. Terry oh God, this is such bullshit. To leave. And, they, and he wants to This is such bullshit the now. I'm so having a real hard time believing this story. And goes to a local news outlet and he tells them about what's happening. Oh, of course he goes to a news and outlet. This son of a bitch. would have it, a billionaire by the name of Robert Bigelow, uh, who had invested millions of dollars in standing up this uh, scientific research team, this all-star team of PhDs, uh, specifically to, to research what he described as- uh, A bunch of people using a rich guy for money. Who would have guessed? Basically, he was obsessed with- A <laughs> bunch of people using a rich fucker for money. Classic. Animal. And he had actually seen that fairly obscure story when he saw that it was up for sale. Robert Bigelow, the billionaire, saw this great opportunity to buy the piece of property and actually make it the headquarters of his own scientific research team. Not only to investigate what was happening on Skinwalker Ranch, but use it as kind of a hub to do other scientific research. So he purchases. Dude wanted this billionaire ranch. wants to be an and evil Terry, villain. So actually, bad. even though he did not want to spend any time to learn ranch, how to harness on some level, so wanted go, like, to know what the research the was going to show shit. because he was very curious, like what is going on at this ranch? That's Yo, dude, like reventing fanboy. Thanks so for the gift sub, dude. dude I appreciate kind of it. Like uh, the ranch manager, because you know Robert Bigelow and his team are a bunch of scientists and and, and then reventing fanboy also coming in with that gift sub. I mean that brand new prime. Really Terry appreciate is still it. connected to the ranch, but at this point, he sold it to Robert Bigelow. So Robert Bigelow's scientific team was called the National Institute for Discovery Science. Or no, you can't borrow NIDS, shit. NIDS, NIDS for short. And Bigelow had actually built the team before purchasing Skinwalker Ranch. What a and shitty what name. What he went out and did is he recruited some of the most incredible scientists and PhDs he could possibly recruit, but he didn't want people that were interested in the paranormal. He wanted people that were inherently skeptical so that if he was ever able to kind of prove the existence of high strangeness, 
that he would have credibility in doing that. And so he went out and found these incredibly skeptical, incredibly smart scientists and PhDs. And so they move into Skinwalker Ranch. And the first thing they do is they need to start doing testing to make sure that this whole, uh, all the stories about Skinwalker Ranch coming from uh, Terry and his family were not just some grand illusion by the family that you know they could have just made it up and so they get in there and they start running these tests so that first year as they're running these tests which are largely things like okay let's check the environment and see if there aren't any you know plants that are giving off spores that could be hallucinogenic that they're breathing in let's check their water supply and make sure there wasn't something happening in their water supply let's do psychological assessments of the family let's ask neighbors let's do all of our diligence to make sure it's not something environmental or psychological and over that first year while they're doing this research there isn't much activity at the ranch save a couple of instances where there were some strange lights so that first year is fairly Yo, elite thanks for the 39 months dude the nids researchers come That's to a long a fucking time that this did not seem like a hallucination this did not seem like a uh, something coming from you know a plant or, or water supply. This seemed like the uh, Terry and his family were really experiencing something odd. They just didn't know what it was. One day, uh, Terry and actually Gwen, who was helping him, were tagging some of the new calves, the new cows that had been born, putting these little tags in their ears. And uh, so Gwen was there helping. And so Terry and Gwen, they tagged this new calf. Uh, put a yellow tag in its ear and they move on and they're tagging other animals and so for about 40 minutes their eyes and their attention are not focused on this one calf or that one area of the ranch they're tagging other animals and then their dog that they were that was with them starts growling and reacting in the direction of where this calf had been and so terry and gwen turn around and they look and they they don't see anything and they start walking over they find the calf that they had tagged about 40 minutes ago has been basically surgically dissected and, and all that's left are its legs and its head and in addition the ear where that tag was had been had been removed and so they immediately call over the nids researchers so the nids veterinarian comes over and looks at the scene and just can't make sense of it because the 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 incisions on the calf were so well done that it looked like someone with real surgical expertise had done this on an operating table uh, there, there was no sign that this was done by a predator and there was no blood anywhere. So this prompts a massive search of the property because in many ways, this is what the NIDS researchers are looking for, are real occurrences of something that is highly strange that they can go investigate. And so all of the researchers and everybody there begins searching the property for whoever was responsible for this uh, dissection of the cow. And they start searching the property and the dogs, they had all these guard dogs that were kept at each of these observation posts that they had set up around the, the ranch as soon as the NIDS team had moved in. They were all looking in the same direction, all four of these, these four observation posts. And they're all cowering in the back of their cages, all looking in the same direction. And so they start making their way towards the tree line where all these dogs are looking. And they stop short when Terry says, I see something in the tree. So they stop their car and they're looking. And in the tree is this massive wolf, this like wolf-like humanoid that's basically perched on a tree limb. And Terry takes out his rifle and he aims at the, at the creature up in the tree, this huge creature. And everybody sees it. All the NIDS researchers are looking at this creature and they're like, oh my God, what is that? Terry starts firing at this thing and it just disappears into the woods. And so the team charges into the woods, they fan out and they pick up a couple of tracks of this huge thing that has like this massive footprint with these huge claws. But much like the wolf that had disappeared and the cattle that had suddenly disappeared when they went into the woods, they couldn't find any traces of this thing. But they did smell this horrible stench that uh, Terry remembered smelling. It stuck with him that first day when that large wolf had come over uh, on the very first day they were moving in. It was that same smell but they couldn't find this huge animal. So dumbfounded, the NIDS researchers just go back to the property and no one can make sense of it. And you know, they have the, the footprint and they have their own eyewitness testimony, but like they couldn't make sense of how something that big could just get away. Um, and so over the following month, they're like searching the property and they're looking for any more signs of this huge creature or anything. 
Um, the only thing they noticed is that the guard dogs consistently stayed in their, their kennels and did not want to come out. They were acting like they were kind of being hunted and they were very kind of, they were cowering quite a bit and they were scared to go out in the open, but they couldn't find anything. So it was around this time that Terry and Gwen are kind of back to doing work around the ranch. And one day they're driving off to one section of the ranch and they pass by the, uh, the, the corral where four of their prized bulls were. These are very expensive animals that are all in this enclosure. And so they, they drive past and they take a mental note that they're seeing these bulls in this enclosure. And they drive no off picture to the proof. other side of the ranch where they're doing some work, you know, None tagging of animals and you know building fences, As whatever it is they're fucking doing. As per fucking usual and they round a corner where they're, they're first able to see that corral of bulls again, they are like, where are they? Because the bulls were not in, in their enclosure and they weren't anywhere. And so they're panicked because these are very expensive animals and they run over and Terry sees that the gates to the, to the corral are still locked, but there's no bulls in there. There's no sign of a struggle or anything. And it just so happens that right next to the corral was this fairly small trailer um, that hadn't been used in years. In fact, yeah, yeah, I got another video shot. next. It it's uh, five and real poltergeists Terry, that will give you nightmares. Reason, Terrifying footage. The windows. And inside of this tiny enclosure are these four bulls, completely calm, all crammed into this tiny trailer. They could barely, yeah. they're not fighting with each other or anything. They're just calmly sitting there as if they're in some kind of a trance. And Terry yells to Yeah, to people Glenn, have been talking like, hey, about the Skinwalker here, right Ranch. Here. And chat. it like startles the bulls out of their trance. They start panicking and kicking and they, they end up getting ah! them out of this enclosure and it takes them hours to Yo, find them Yo, Vex thanks for the five months of Prime. You startled my balls. But it is almost impossible to get even one bull into that small of an enclosure. It would take hours, hours to maybe be successful at doing that. To get four bulls into that enclosure was pretty much impossible. And to do it when they basically were calm after they were in there is also somewhat impossible. And it was important to note that Terry saw when he looked in the window that the, the only entrance to that, that trailer was wired shut still. It had not been undone. In fact, the cobwebs at the corner where the, the opening basically formed with the sides of the uh, the trailer, they were still intact, like it had not opened. And it made no sense how those bulls got in there. And so the NIDS researchers come over and they can't make sense of it either. Well, upon further investigation, the NIDS researchers found that the bars of the corral that held the bulls, a section of it had been Hold my balls. highly magnetized. And so while they're doing this research, trying to figure out if magnetic fields has anything to do with the strange occurrences at the ranch, Bullshit uh, two indeed. of the NIDS researchers were on the outskirts of the property uh, using their compass to look for magnetic fields. And they started smelling, they both reported smelling that horrible metallic, like rotting smell that other people had reported smelling anytime they saw that large wolf creature. And uh, when they started smelling it, their compass started to, to flitter and then pointed away from north towards wherever the smell Dave's was. diving videos. They, were, they remember thinking that they felt like they were being watched and it went on yeah, for dude. a few moments and their compass- Being underwater is it was scary. in the direction of the smell and they're both on opposite sides pointing in the same direction. Um, and then at some point it just, the smell stops and they stop feeling anxious and the north arrows go back to the way they should have been. And then one of the most terrifying of all of the paranormal occurrences that happened at Skinwalker Ranch happened the at the end of 1997. Uh, two NIDS researchers were up on a ridgeline overlooking the, the homestead. Um, every night it became commonplace to basically position NIDS researchers all over the property to basically be on the lookout for weird things that are happening. And these two researchers are up on this ridge, kind of obscured and hidden, and they see this orange orb take shape right near the homestead. And one of them had an infrared, uh, had infrared goggles, and so he looks down at the the orb the infrared camera out that it's this oval shaped opening uh that sounded an awful lot like what terry had seen on his porch when he saw that humanoid creature crawling out of the portal into his property well these two researchers are looking at this portal and they see the same thing they see this this black human-like creature crawling out of this orange portal onto oh, the ground Such and then bullshit. it starts running up the hill towards them 
and they're like frozen <laughs> with fear. They start smelling that horrible, rotting, metallic smell as this big human-like creature bounds up the mountain and they can hear the shale under its feet as it runs up and it goes right past them. About 30 feet away from them, they're looking at it and it just barrels past them at a full sprint up into the mountainside. The following year, in 1998, the activity on the ranch declined significantly. All they have was the occasional strange lights here and there, but for the most part it was done. And in fact, even though NIDS remained on the property, uh, by 2004, the research just wasn't amounting to anything, so they pulled the plug on the operation. They did have footage of a number of the lights that were seen, but again, no one's gonna take a picture of some random lights and say, oh, there you go, proof. You know, they, they demonstrated that, that there were, you know, magnetic fields and they have images of these. Yo, cowboy, thanks for the two months, dude. After looking like they'd had surgery done to them. They had hundreds of eye eyewitness reports. You know, they have all this information, but none of it was really <laughs> the activity proof, declined when the cameras to were Bigelow, there to Terry and his family. And the way they described it is they felt like they were dealing. Bro, perfect tactic. If you if you if you think you're being haunted, just install cameras in your home. That seems to be the deterrent for ghosts is you just got to put cameras in there and then bam, you're good. You don't need an exorcist or anything like that. Just install fucking cameras. Easy. No, no more ghosts. Simple. With an entity or a group of They're little sh spirits or camera shy. We're just consistently one step ahead of them that they could catch glimpses of what they were doing, but it was never enough to really understand what was happening. They never felt like they were in control. It was always clear that this entity or these entities were, were in control of the situation. And they just, they never were in a good position to really record hard data or get good footage. Not to mention this is 1998, this is the late 90s. No one just had like, you know, an iPhone they can pull out and snap pictures. You pull had it like out, real dude. cameras. Being such a bitch. And so the best they could do was some pictures of light and some of the animals that had been mutilated. There's been numerous books put together by some of the people that were a part of this. You wanna hear my ghost team. story? And to this day, they right. believe that what they saw was a result of some paranormal activity. And to this day, many people believe that this is one of the most credible instances I'll tell of you one. Uh, paranormal activity occurring. So I'd love to hear what you think in the comments, whether you think this- All right, all right, all right. I'll tell you one, all right? And this is true, hold on real quick. When I was a boy, all right, this is true. It's a true one. I used to go to my cousin's house all the time, right? Uh, during the summers, all right? And he would tell me that, yeah, he, his house is haunted. And he wasn't fucking with me either, he was serious. Okay. But one time, we were in the basement. This house is big as shit. This is a, a 9,000-square-foot mansion, all right? Big as fuck. I don't, I don't know if some of you know. Oh, oh. Uh, Duo Animos, thanks for the five bomb. All right? Biggest house. B big house, 9,000 square feet. We're in the basement just watching uh, movies, playing video games and shit. Okay. All right? He goes upstairs to get some drinks. Okay? And he's going upstairs. All right, I'm just chilling. All right, and I hear a a bang. Right, hear a bang. Okay. Oh, too loud. Hear a bang, all the way down. So the basement was big and open. It was a big room, right? Big ass downstairs room, like a big room with big TV and shit. All right, and then a long hallway, right? And then there was another big ass room that was like the game room and shit. Hear a bang. Alright. He comes back down. And it, it would have been physically impossible for him to do it. Okay. Because it was literally when he was going up the steps, right? He got to the top of the steps. I hear a bang from all the way down there. Okay. So, he comes down. And I'm like, dude, I heard something down the hall. Like, all the way down there. Like, he's like, what? 
If we go down there, okay. All right, we go down there and the door is open. All right. Literally, the fucking door is open. Okay. So of course, what do you think you think it is? Like a burglar or some shit, right? Close the door. It was nothing, right? We just like play it off like it was nothing. Close the door all the way, lock it, go back. All right, we're hanging out. Like a little bit of time passed, not sure, it was a long time ago, all right? Must have been like 11 or 12, all right? Which means he was like 13 or 14. So, um, and his parents were out. So, we're just, we're chilling, right? Bang, again, bang again, all right? We go back down the hallway, and the door, he heard it with me. We both freaked the fuck out. We freaked the fuck out. We go down there. You know, dumb kind of like, you know, stereotypical like kids in a horror movie kind of thing. And we go back down there, and the door open. Completely open. Close it again. All right, head back. All right. Trying to convince ourselves, dude, what the fuck is going on. So we go upstairs. Okay, we go upstairs. All right, and I shit you not when I say I heard, we both heard the loudest bang ever. Like you would have thought it was like a gunshot. Like the loudest bang ever. All right, no idea where it came from because it was so loud. So, uh, we freak out a little bit and then we go downstairs because it couldn't have been anything upstairs. Like it was loud as fuck, right? but it didn't really sound like it was close by. Okay, so we go back downstairs, door again. And then it never, then it didn't happen again after that. So it was three times, three fucking times. Yeah. Yeah, you think I'm, well, guess what, Chad? I just made that up. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you guys any of the real ghost shit. You guys are fucking stupid. Holy shit. Fucking stupid. Do you see how easy it is to tell a convincing story? Literally. Fucking stupid. Or maybe it did happen and I'm just trying to deny it. Sneak peek of this week's episode at the end of this video. Okay. In today, we will be oh. going through some of the most aggressive paranormal and poltergeist activity that people have captured within uh -oh. their homes. The footage you're about to witness has been analyzed by our team and appears to be genuine. Warning. This is truly the stuff of nightmares. All right, all right, all right. Chat. This is truly the stuff of nightmares. So, I mean, if, if you want to leave, now's the time. Their team analyzed this footage. A team of YouTubers analyzed this footage. And they think it's real. Now, that's enough for me. I hope that's enough for you. All right. Uh, they they think it's real. I'm just saying. Number five. Ah! Oh shit! That wasn't it yet. This clip was submitted by the daughter of the former owner of the small home in Texas. Her father, a retired at-home physician, had recently passed away in the home. Since his passing, she began noticing strange things happening throughout the home. Could this house indeed be harboring a familiar presence? Or is there something ah! more sinister that ah! is its home here ah! in her absence? You be the judge. This might be the chat, this might be too scary. Chat, this might be too fucking scary. Yeah, this is might be too scary. <laughs> oh, an orb! Orbs! Orbs! You can't fake that. Ah! Towards the beginning of this clip, you can see light orbs dancing around one another in the kitchen. 
On a second static camera in the living room, you can see this picture frame slide forward and fall flat on its face. Then, something very interesting happens. Very interesting. As the light orbs continue to dance around each other playfully in the kitchen, the static camera in the living room picks up some very deliberate and very mysterious movement. A bright light orb appears at the top left of the frame. As it falls to the surface of the credenza below, it makes contact and disappears. The fragrance bottle then topples over, as if this inanimate object's particles were charged enough to give it new life. Very creepy. Number four. Ah! This video shows a rather volatile interaction between the owner of this home and whatever oh. entity is plaguing this home. The owner claims to have been hearing and seeing unexplained things for the few months that they have owned the home. In an effort to gain some insight into the events that have been occurring, he began setting up a camera in the living room just before bed each night. Let's watch carefully. Did he just get attacked by a fucking chair? Carefully as we review the footage. Oh! I've seen this movie. Oh! Ah! Get out! Get out of there! Oh! <laughs> ah! Despite all the movement in this clip, there's one part that for me makes it even scarier. It's easy to sit here and try to debunk and try to figure out how someone may have staged this or hoaxed this. After the sofa falls, I want you to pay close attention to the display case in the corner. Watch as a teacup flies into the glass front of this case. It appears as if it was thrown from within, or something reached through the glass and grabbed it in an attempt to remove it from the case. My fine china! There. The camera operator then goes into a frenzy, attempting to take cover from the flying objects around him. When the coast is finally clear, he emerges. He then hastily exits the room and then the house, and has yet to return. After only owning the house for a few months, he's now forced to put it back on the market. Talk about some real estate bad luck. Number three. Bro, can you imagine? All right, listen. Imagine if that actually happened to you, how fucking terrified you'd be. Imagine. Imagine, seriously, I just, dude, I would have been gone already. What a, dude, I'm just glad, dude. My, my house is basically poltergeist proof because I literally don't have anything in it. Literally, like, a poltergeist would just be bored being in my house. Like, what's it going to do? Throw the same fucking plastic cup again and again. Turn on a faucet that I don't even give a fuck about. Like, what is it gonna do? Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, I'm 200 fucking IQ. The evidence I'm about to show you was filmed by a woman from Arizona. Originally posted on Facebook, this clip gained popularity amongst her friends and followers before it was abruptly deleted for undisclosed reasons. Only months after the death of her abusive spouse, she had begun complaining to her family and friends about the feeling of being watched in her own home. Believing her home to be possessed by the spirit of her ex-spouse, she enlisted the help of two clergymen to come and bless the home. Shortly thereafter, the activity reached a new level of intensity. This clip is nothing less than shocking. Objects moving and being thrust across the room in a violent effort to gain attention. Whatever invisible entity is causing all of this damage, it moves you its never body give like it a attention, cyclone, chat. Remember tearing that. through the furniture and fixtures of her kitchen. The young woman, obviously startled and frightened by what she's just witnessed, sprints for the door. And like most in this situation, she can't get out of the house fast enough. 
How'd she stand there two. for so long? Yo, dude, I'm not gonna bullshit you. If my if something got knocked in this room right now, I would coming run from his out downstairs of this house. bathroom while he attempts to sleep at night. He sets up a camera to try and see what is causing all the commotion. Strangely enough, he forgot the camera was recording and left for work the following day. What he captured here is truly incredible and terrifying. I showed you the clip first in full speed, so we could watch in slow motion together as the bathroom explodes into a frenzy. Objects flying from their original place, and then all of a sudden... BAM! Something strikes the camera causing it to malfunction. As objects continue to chaotically come to life in the restroom, I want you to take particular notice to the amount of force used to move some of these objects. The toilet seat violently flaps up and down, the cabinet then flies open just before objects seem to be hurled at a high rate of speed and extreme velocity from the area surrounding the tub and then slam a hanging towel rack falls off the wall and then strikes the tripod jostling the camera who has a camera in a bathroom a fucking pervert a I received pervert this clip from one of the footage the reviewers Chat, that we use up. on Mindseed this type of poltergeist activity is pretty rare which makes it even more terrifying Number one. We have a clip submitted to us by a man named Tom Wayngart. He is a contractor and developer who purchased a small area of an old strip mall as part of a development project with his firm. Late one night while he was working to demolish the interior walls of one of these commercial buildings, he began to hear static and chatter over his headphones, which sounded like demonic voices having a conversation. Later that week, he then began to see objects moving on their own in the same area that he had previously heard the voices. At that time, he began leaving a camera to record the area while he worked throughout the building. What you're about to witness is absolutely petrifying. Are you evil? Holy shit! Are you evil? Is that a yes or a no? If you're evil, flick the light again. I don't know if you saw that, but while he was pacing back and forth in the room, a fluorescent lamp bulb on the ground shifted and then rested on the edge of this plastic bag. Moments later, with both cameras facing the same direction, the same fluorescent lamp bulb is then tomahawk thrown into the ceiling, just before it ricochets to the ground and shatters. It was, it was easier to fucking see when you didn't slow it down, fuckhead.
What's up, Mind Seeders? I hope you're enjoying. Bullshit. You say wind. <laughs> In 2003, Kevin Manis owned an antique shop right in downtown Portland at the base of the Burnside Bridge, which is considered the gateway to the city. Because Kevin owned this antique shop, he was always at yard sales and estate sales looking to find the next thing he Havana could sell at his shop. Syndrome. And so one day there was this estate sale over at this woman's house. She had just passed away. She was about 103 years old. She was a Holocaust survivor and her estate was being sold. And so he goes over to the house and he sees the way they're selling all of her items is by bundling them in different lots. So depending on what item- Wait, one second. Let's, exp let's, let's read this. Havana syndrome is a set of medical signs and symptoms reported by United States and Canadian MSV staff first in Havana, Cuba. Dating the late 2016 and subsequently in other countries, the U.S. Department of State has referred to the events as unexplained health incidents. I mean, what is it? Some brain injury. What the fuck is this? Considered microwave weapons. Oh, shit. This is actually true? It happened two days ago in your country? Really? Not on, well, it's not on the wiki yet. I mean, well, that's, like, understandable. That it's, like, microwave weapons. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I can believe in microwave weapons. I might joke about, like, other shit. But I can definitely believe in some fucking weird microwave ray fucking shit. I've watched the, I've actually, dude, I've watched so much of Mr. Ball and shit. It was, they'd be. I've watched tons of this guy's videos, actually. On my laptop, or on my fap top in my bedroom. Yo, Tunk, my man, thanks for the tier two for 29 fucking months. Really do appreciate that bundled with similar items and then sold as a package. So the people there would be bidding on the whole lot. They couldn't buy individual items. And Kevin had his eye on one particular lot called Lot 29. And Lot 29 included a couple of small tools that he wanted to sell in his shop. And it had this mystery box. And that's exactly as it was labeled. It just says mystery box on it. And he was intrigued by it. And so he placed a bid on lot 29 and ultimately he won the bid and he was really happy about it. So he takes the contents of lot 29 and he wheels them over to his car. And as he's loading stuff into the back of his car, someone behind him says, oh, so you went with the Dybbuk box, huh? And Kevin in his head went right back to his childhood because growing up, he had always been scared of Dybbuk's because a Dybbuk is a malevolent spirit in Jewish folklore and Kevin was Jewish. And so his parents used to say, oh, you better not do that. That Kevin or the Dybbuk's gonna get you and so he grew up terrified of Dybbuk's and so his interest is peaked and Kevin turns around and he says did you just call this box a Dybbuk box and the woman's like yeah and my grandmother was terrified of it and she said no one could ever open it and Kevin turns to look at the box and it's about two foot high by one foot wide and there are these little doors that swing open on the front and then on the bottom there's a drawer that comes out and there's one lock that sits across the two doors and it's currently locked with a little padlock and he looks up at her and he goes, why can't you open it? And the woman just says, we never knew, but our grandmother would always go every time we said the word Dybbuk. And so it was weird enough that we just never asked any questions and we stayed away from her Dybbuk box. Kevin agreed that was pretty weird. And he finished loading his car, shut the trunk, said bye to the woman, hopped in his car and he drove away. And he never really gave it a second thought. At this point, he's not thinking the Dybbuk box is anything malevolent. He thinks it's just some random chest that he won at an auction. Kevin drives back to his antique shop and he begins unloading all the things he won at the auction. He brings them inside and he brings them <laughs> downstairs because the top floor, the main floor, was really where he sold things. When he got new items, he would bring them downstairs to his warehouse of sorts, which was much bigger than the first floor, had lots of rows of shelving and it had a, a workstation down there. He would bring his new things down there and he would price them and get them ready before bringing them back up. 
And at some point he brought the Dybbuk box in and he brought it down and he put it on the back table. He was about to just leave it there and go back upstairs when suddenly he became really curious and he really wanted to open the Dybbuk box. And so he goes over and he kind of yanks on the front two doors. He doesn't want to damage it, but he can tell this lock is relatively new and it's not just going to come off. Oh yeah, the and real so he doesn't have the key to it. He doesn't have a way to clip the lock. Up. And so he takes a screwdriver and he basically wedges it underneath the actual metal clasps that are attached to the wood. And he slowly kind of bends it up and bends it off and pops it out of the wood. And as soon as he does that, the doors swing open and there's like a mechanical device inside of the Dybbuk box that Is activates no, the drawer. Basically, anytime Log the doors out. open, the, sub, the dude. drawer I really appreciate also it. opens at the same time. And Kevin remembered thinking how silly it was that this kind of old crummy looking wine closet had this fairly complicated mechanism inside of it that still worked. Inside the Dybbuk box were two pennies from the 1920s. There was a used candle. There were two locks of hair. There was this small tombstone that said Shalom on it. And there was also a small wine goblet that was inside and that was it. And Kevin immediately thought, well, this is just some older woman's keepsake. And these things maybe have sentimental value to her, but they don't to me. And so he shut the Dybbuk box, pushed it to the side of the desk and walked upstairs and didn't give it another thought. Kevin had one employee at the antique shop. Her name was Jane. She was a younger woman. She was an incredible saleswoman. And Kevin thought very highly of her. And so the day after he had brought the Dybbuk box into the antique shop and put it downstairs on the desk, he needed to run out and do some errands. And so he put Jane in charge of the store. And so Kevin leaves and Jane locks the front door to the shop behind Kevin because she needed to go downstairs and get a few items that she wanted to bring upstairs to sell that day. And it was before opening time. So front doors locked, no one else is inside the shop and Jane goes down into the basement. Once you went down the wooden steps into the basement, you'd be looking out at this huge room of all these industrial shelves that run the length of the room where they would keep their antiques and other valuables on. And the lighting down there was never that great because they used these long fluorescent tube lights that at best cast a kind of subtle yellow glow on everything. They were not particularly bright and it was a real pain to actually go up and change them because you needed to place a ladder but the ladders were not perfectly aligned with the lights you basically had to reach over the shelving where all the antiques were and you ran the risk of knocking things over and so a lot of times jane and Yo, kevin dude, would static wait exact. until you were Thanks down to like months of prime dude i really two appreciate crappy it crappy working lights before they'd say okay we really gotta go up there and replace some of these bulbs. And so as it happens this day, they're down to like two or three working lights. So in classic horror movie fashion, she's going into this dingy basement with very poor lighting. And so once she gets to the bottom of the steps, she walks to the far end of the room, a little bit away from where the Dybbuk box was placed on that back table. She's in the other corner in the back of this basement and she's getting some things off the shelf when all of a sudden she stops and she can't help but shake the feeling that she feels like someone is watching her. Now, she is down in this basement all the time. That is not her, that is dark, an actress. Whether Kevin is there with her Fake or she's alone, fuck, dude. this is a place she goes all the time. And she's never had this feeling before. There's no way to get into the basement unless you come down the stairs. Emily and Blunt. she locked the front door <laughs> and she was the only one who came downstairs. She hasn't heard anything. There's no other way to leave this space. So she doesn't know where she's getting this feeling from but she really can't shake it. And as she's kind of looking around and she's starting to get a little bit paranoid, the phone rings, they had a landline that was on a table right at the base of the stairs. The phone rings down there and it startles her. And then it kind of jumps her back into reality. And she's like, okay, I'm getting paranoid. And she walks over and she picks up the phone and it's actually her friend who was planning on coming by the antique shop that day. So as they're chatting, Jane hears what sounds like a broom. Imagine if a, a push broom is lined up against the wall and then it falls over. The sound that the wooden stick would make as it hits concrete. That's the sound she hears as she's on the phone. And it startles her again and she goes, hey, let me call you back. She hangs up on her friend and she's looking out and because the lighting is terrible from where she is, she's now at the foot of the stairs looking down all these rows and she's heard that stick land on the ground on the far side back where she had been originally. She's kind of looking around and she can't see anything. And so she takes a deep breath and she begins walking down the rows to see what fell over. And as she's walking down the row, something smashes behind her and she turns around and one of the fluorescent tube lights has fallen from the ceiling and smashed onto the ground. And so all of a sudden she doesn't want to explore this falling broom that's behind her in the dark corner of the basement. Instead, she's ready to leave. 
And so she starts walking back towards the stairs to get out of here. And as she's walking down one of these rows, a wooden chair that is on one of the shelves comes flying off of it and lands squarely in the middle, blocking her path. And there's no way this could have happened unless someone pushed this chair. And suddenly she thinks, someone's down here with me. And she screams and she hurdles the chair and she runs to the steps. She starts running up. And to her horror, there is a metal door that locks the basement at night. So if someone were to break in, it's another layer to protect the store from thieves. And it was shut and locked. It can only be locked from the outside and with a key. So there's no way she would have done this by accident. And now she's freaking out because she's trapped in the basement with some person running around pushing chairs over and breaking lights. And so she grabs the gate and she starts shaking it and she's yelling for Kevin, thinking maybe he came in and forgot I was down here and shut and locked the gate. And she's checking over her shoulder, looking down into the basement and she starts hearing more lights falling off the ceiling and shattering on the ground. She is in absolute pain. Yo, Z she's man, just thanks waiting for, the for nine someone months, dude. to come bounding up the stairs towards her. She has no idea what to do. She pulls out her phone and she calls Kevin. Meanwhile, Kevin is making Yo, real quick. I just want to say, all right, for those of you who sit and chill with me while I just like fucking run ads and like watch YouTube videos and chat with me, you're the fucking real ones. All right, just remember that you guys are the fucking real ones. All right, I really do appreciate it. I know it's probably fucking AIDS with the sheer number of fucking ads that I run. All right, but all right, I really do appreciate it. Seriously, you guys are awesome. All right, let's keep going. No, 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 quit being all fucking wide people happy and shit. You're kind of bitch made. On his way back to the antique shop, he's only a couple minutes away and he sees his phone ringing that was sitting on the passenger seat and he picks it up and it's Jane and he answers and immediately Jane is hysterical and she's screaming that someone's in the antique shop that's breaking things and Kevin's like, slow down, slow down, what's going on? And all he can hear in the background is the sound of what sounds like glass shattering and things falling Yo, Tanuki, and breaking. thanks for the gift sub, like, dude. wait, what's going on? Are you okay, Jane? Like, where are you? And he hears her say, someone's in the basement. And he goes, well, where are you? And she's like, I'm in the basement. And he was like, get out of the basement, call the police. But as he's trying to get her to do that, the phone cuts out. Kevin was only about a block away from his shop. So he floors it to his shop. He parks outside and he's thinking to himself, what am I walking into? Is there gonna be like an active burglary going on? Is she gonna be held hostage? Like are the police gonna be there? But he just knows he needs to get in there to Jane and he gets to the front door and it's locked. So he unlocks the front door and he goes inside and it's silent. And he's looking around, there's no damage to the first floor. There's no damage anywhere. And he yells for Jane, there's no answer from Jane. And he starts walking kind of tentatively through the store towards the back. And he gets to that door leading down into the basement, the same one that Jane couldn't open when she ran up the stairs to get out of the basement. And he looks at it and Jane's not at the top of the stairs anymore. And he's thinking, I didn't lock that door and I'm the only one with the key to lock that door. How is it locked right now? Does Jane have a key that I don't know about? And why would she lock it? Does that mean Jane's up here somewhere? Is that what happened? And he's like, Jane, come out. Did you lock this door? But Jane's not on the first floor and their first floor is very small. And so he thinks, okay, she has to be downstairs. And so he opens up the gate, he swings it open and he starts walking down the steps. And he's really cautious as he's going down because again, he has no idea what he's walking into. The new key, thanks he for hits the 500 the lights, bits but as the well. lights don't work down there. And as he starts to bend around the corner where he can actually see into the basement, he sees Jane sitting at the chair right next to that table where that phone is. And she's just sitting there kind of stunned. And he goes to Jane and he's like, what happened down here? And he glances out quickly at all the rows and he sees all this furniture that's come off the shelves and there's glass all over the ground. And he's looking at Jane and Jane's just showing no reaction. She's sitting there like she's in shock. And he turns to Jane again and he says, come on, you gotta tell me what happened down here. And Jane just goes, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what happened down here. I was walking down the row and then I felt like someone was watching me and then things are falling off the ceiling and the shelves. I I've never seen anything like this before. Now at this point, Kevin's adrenaline is through the roof. He came charging in here thinking he was gonna have to save Jane from some person breaking in and breaking stuff. But as far as he can tell, there's no one here but Jane. And so he decides he's gonna take a flashlight and he's gonna explore the basement because- he Yo, Chad, I just saw something crazy. Holy fuck. Which is it, dude? I just saw see, I just saw something crazy on Twitter. All right, sorry to interrupt. But did you know that soon you're gonna be able to pay to boost people's streams? Oh, I just saw this. You're gonna be able to pay to boost your favorite streamers. 
Yeah. You guys better start boosting the fuck out of me. All right, I want to become 100k Andy. I want to be like a fucking Omega Minecraft YouTuber on Twitch. That shit's going to be... <laughs> Shit sounds like a scam. Either there's someone here or Jane did this. So he grabs his flashlight and he starts walking around and all he sees is a bunch of broken glass and some furniture that's come off the shelves and a couple other things that are on the ground. <laughs> but other than that, there's no one down here and there's no I'm other gonna way boost to come myself in or on an alt account. I'm stairs. already rich. So after Kevin is certain that no one else is here, he turns to Jane and he regrets this now. Yo, please, thanks for the brand new tier one. Now, but at the time, he's thinking to himself, you know, and log this out with another paid. gift. Who he thanks my man. I appreciate this. it. I don't know why she did this, but there's no one else here. And he goes, Jane, did you do this? All right, let me and explain something real quick. It doesn't matter how many recommendations somebody gets. All right, the key to being a successful streamer is having not only being like mildly entertaining. I have to be really that entertaining. Is having like a decent community. That's how you like excel on Twitch. Is you just have a fucking like you literally just like have a good chat and that's like good enough for most people I'm, I'm being serious like not many people are as funny and interactive and you know good looking has as fat as a fucking cock as me and shit all right but you know that's not enough you need to have a good fucking chat i'm telling you that's i'm, I'm being honest with you that's the truth Jane's emotions came through because before she was in shock, now How she's bad mad. is it? And she goes, F you, Kevin. I can fuck a shampoo leaves. bottle. And she doesn't say another word to him and she doesn't come back. She quits on the spot. But at the time, Kevin believed she had done it. So he was kind of like, oh well. He was not even a little bit thinking the dinner Yo, box had for another anything to sub, do with dude. this. Just a couple of days after the basement incident, Kevin's mother was supposed to come by the antique shop. All right. Big, small. All right, hold the fuck up. That's small? Dude, you know what I hate? That it doesn't save chat for clips. I fucking hate that shit, that it doesn't save the chat window for the fucking clips. Like, it's not even that much data. That doesn't look like a small dick. How is this fucking small? And the two of them were going to leave and get lunch together to celebrate her I birthday. I still stick to As soon guns. as she walked into the shop, Kevin goes, Hey, Mom, I got a gift for you. And he brings over this wrapped box. And he sets it down on a table right in front of his mother, who's sitting on a chair. And he unwraps it. So I recommend a face box. cam. Before Kevin can explain what it is, face the phone rings at the other end of the store. Platform. And he's expecting a call. And he goes, Hold on, Mom, I got to get this. And he goes to the back of the store to answer the call. You got while big his tits. His mom is just sitting there looking <laughs> at the box. And so while Kevin is at the other end of the store, his mother opens the Divic box and she says she had to sit down as soon as she opened it because she had this unbelievable, overwhelming sense of dread as soon as the doors were open. And she's staring at it like she can't take her eyes away. And then all of a sudden, she has a massive stroke. And so she keels over and she can't move and she can't talk. And Kevin sees this happening and he runs over and he's like, Mom, what's going on? He calls 911. And as the paramedics are working on her, she I would promise say you that guys, you'll see a face scam stream from paralyzed me soon. state when she couldn't talk and she couldn't move, all she wanted to communicate was to somehow get her son to get rid of that box. She didn't know why, but she felt like the box had something to do with her having the stroke. And so all she could do was move her eyes. And so she found herself, because her son's right here, Looking at the Divic box and looking away. Looking at the Divic box, looking away. Hoping her son would see her eyes as a signal to look at the Divic box and put it together that that thing's bad. And Kevin does realize that his mom is flicking her eyes at the Divic box, but in the Probably moment... Probably flicking her eyes because she's having a fucking stroke! Mother. And it wasn't until she got put in a hospital and she was being taken care of and he knew she'd be okay, that he remembers, he kind of went over it in his head later that day, that his mom was really scared looking and she was looking at the Dybbuk box like that was the thing that was causing her to be scared. Not the stroke, the Dybbuk box. And Kevin starts thinking to himself, I don't know, there's something off about the Dybbuk box. Either it's really bad luck or there's some truth to you don't open up this Dybbuk box. Either way, I don't want to take any more chances because so long as I've Burn owned it. this thing, I've had a horrible thing happen in the basement, and now my mom's had a stroke. So I want to get rid of it. So Kevin puts the Dybbuk box at the front of his antique store, and he puts it up for sale. And very quickly, a young couple came into the store, and they bought the Dybbuk box. And Kevin's relieved. He's like, thank goodness. 
that bad luck charm that whatever's going on with that thing is gone and out of my life. But just a couple of days later, he was in the back of the shop when he heard the door open and then the door shut and he walked out expecting to see some customers, but instead he sees the Dybbuk box that's sitting right inside his store. Someone must have just dropped it off. And so he walks up to it and he sees there's a piece of paper that's been <laughs> taped to the top of the Dybbuk box and there's writing on it. And all it says is, this has an odd darkness about it. This really freaked Kevin out because in a way <laughs> it was like other people were confirming that something was wrong with this box. Kevin did not want the Dybbuk box to be in his store. So he put it in his car and he drove back to his house and he put it in his storage locker and he locked it up and then went back to work for the day. That night when he went home, he went to bed and he had this dream where in the dream, he's walking in this courtyard and he's holding the hand of this woman who he believes is his friend and he trusts this person and the area he's in feels very friendly and it's a very positive dream. And as he's walking, all of a sudden, this person starts to pull away from him and he can't move anymore and he's, he's losing the grip on this person's hand. And they keep moving and moving until their hand is out of his and they disappear into the corner of the courtyard where it's totally dark. And so he's looking into the darkness, waiting for his friend to come out again and he can't move, he's anchored to the spot. And as he's looking, he sees what looks like an old woman walking out of the mist and her head is down and he can't tell what she's doing ah! and she's pretty far away and she's walking closer and closer to him and when she's about five six feet away she raises her head up and her whole face is falling off all the skin is falling off ah! her face. She's, she's like a corpse ah! and she raises her hands up in front of her then she grabs his face and begins pulling off pieces of his face until he suddenly wakes up kevin had to compose himself in bed because he was so scared from the dream he just had he sits up and he goes into the bathroom to get a sip of water. And as he walks past the mirror, he notices there are marks on his shoulders and his arms that he did not have before. It looks like bruising almost. And he's looking at them and he's thinking, no way, that, that has nothing to do with the dream. This is just coincidence that, you know, she was grabbing me in this area in the dream and now I have marks there. It's just coincidence. And so he kind of writes it off and he goes back to bed and he has the same dream. He gets up again and he's, he's breathing heavily. He's sweating because he just had the same dream. It was this terrifying dream. And he goes back into the bathroom and now his entire back is covered in bruises. Ah! He has bruises all over his back, all over his arms. Ah, he's got red marks on his neck. And now in his mind, he feels like it has to do with the Dybbuk box. The Dybbuk I wake up like that all the time. Got scratches all over me. I don't know how the fuck they get there most of the time. Do I make the assumption that it's a ghost? Yeah. Do I keep it to myself? Yeah. Dybbuk box is now in my backyard. It's not a coincidence that all of a sudden I'm having these horrific dreams that are apparently manifesting themselves in bruises and marks on my actual body. And so Kevin is done with the Dybbuk box and instead of going back to bed, he goes to his computer and he puts the Dybbuk box on eBay up for sale. And that night, two college kids named Sam and Brian who lived in Missouri, huh. they buy the Dybbuk box and Kevin they could not be happier to package that thing up Dybbuk and box. ship it off. Sam and Brian had seen the buy, ad on eBay I'm gonna buy Dybbuk Mecca box, Dybbuk at first, box. it did not seem remarkable, but they saw that Kevin had given this really detailed description <laughs> of all the strange things that had happened for him. I'm going to buy Mecca 20 Dybbuk box. And I think clearly Kevin's angle was he was almost trying to advertise it to groups of people that might be interested in that. And Sam and Brian were exactly <laughs> that demographic because they were looking for things online that were considered haunted. They wanted to see if ghosts and the paranormal were real. And so they were eager to buy the Dybbuk box and test it out. And so three weeks later, when this package finally arrives in Missouri at their house, Brian was still out at class, but Sam was home. So he receives the package. He eagerly brings it into the kitchen. He unpackages it and he sets it on the kitchen table. And just a few minutes later, Brian comes home and Brian would say in interviews that when he walked in, it smelled like someone had peed all over the apartment. Like there was urine everywhere. And he's walking around thinking, what happened? This smells so bad in here. And he walks into the kitchen where it was the strongest smell. People actually and there's buy Sam this proudly shit. standing next to this awful looking chest, which was of course the Dybbuk box. And he realizes, Brian does, that the Dybbuk box is what smells like urine. And he goes, Sam, do you smell Bizarre. that? Bizarre, thanks like, for yeah, the 13 the smell months of, of Prime. Sam would pick it up and go, ooh, to Brian as soon as he walked into the kitchen. And Sam joked about how he couldn't wait to sleep in the same bed as the Dybbuk box. They were just making a big joke out of it. Sam had also set up a blog where he was gonna document everything that happened from day one of receiving this Dybbuk box to whenever they got rid of it or till whenever something happened. And for the first two weeks they had the Dybbuk box in their possession, 
nothing did happen. But when dude, dude, just imagine if I took like, I don't know, two, three, four, five grand. All right. Bought like fucking 50 Dybbuk boxes of all different types. And it's got them like sent to Penta's house or like sent to like uh, Mecha Bear's house or some shit. Just to imagine if I did that. If I just went on eBay, dumped like fucking 5K into just Dybbuk boxes. To do, and it's like, imagine they just go outside one day and there's just 50 fucking packages. And they're like, Kyle. What the fuck are all these packages you sent me? Oh, they're haunted boxes, apparently, that are... That I, they're haunted boxes. I sent them to your fucking house. I bought them. I bought... Whatever you do, don't open them. Can you imagine? You, dude, I guarantee Mecha Bear would freak out. I think even Bob might, might... Bob would probably think it's funny, but he would be like, Can you just throw these in the trash? I'm not throwing them in the trash. I bought them for you. <laughs> you imagine just like throwing like getting in a dybbuk box fight dude that'd be funny as fuck dude just to find all this haunted paranormal shit that's like supposed to like have like demons and like evil entities like tied to it and i just fucking dumped like five grand and is getting all this shit sent to their fucking house it's like, well, you don't have to worry about being haunted by one ghost. It's more like an, a ghost army. <laughs> Foxy, thanks for the 10-month restub. I appreciate Sam it. Sam started bringing the Dybbuk box out and leaving it right in the middle of these huge parties they would throw where people were spilling beer on it and they were opening it up and putting things inside of it and making jokes with it. When they were doing that to the Dybbuk box, suddenly they started seeing a pretty significant uptick in strangeness inside of their house. It started with their technology. Sam's laptop crashed and the hard drive was under. Hey, good luck, so he good luck, Jagger. All right, good All luck. All of their watches just didn't work while they were in the house. No matter what they did, no matter when they fixed it, the watch just simply did not work. Their Xbox would not turn on, but when they brought it to another person's house, it worked just fine. It just couldn't work inside of their house. And the toaster, anytime you turned it on, it basically immediately incinerated whatever you put inside of it. But none of these technological difficulties were frightening to Sam or Brian. They were just frustrating. And I don't even think they were connecting them with the Divic box. It was just this thing that was happening to them. It wasn't until the light bulbs in their house started bursting in the middle of the night that they started to get pretty creeped out about some of the things that were happening in their apartment. That now all of a sudden it did seem like, you know, maybe if the Dybbuk box really is cursed, this might be how it would manifest. And so they'd replace the light bulb and then sure enough it would burst again. And they couldn't keep light bulbs in because they kept popping. And so their house was dark a lot of the time. But the worst part was when they had this massive insect infestation inside of their apartment. And they were really localized around <laughs> the Dybbuk box. All these a insects would come fight. out of the walls, out of the toilets, out of the sink. They'd come from behind the fridge and they would all kind of like converge on the Dybbuk box and go inside of it. I feel like, the box I feel like I'd ruin my life if I bought 50 Dybbuk boxes or some shit and just opened them all in my house. Like, I feel like that would be it for me. You know? Like, I'd be followed by shit for the rest of my fucking life. I would never do that. Like, it's not that I 100... All right, listen. It's not that I 100% believe in ghosts. Like, I kind of think, like, it makes sense, right? But can you imagine, like, if you're wrong and you do that? Like, seriously, imagine being wrong buying 50 Dybbuk boxes, opening them all, and tr just treating them like trash. Imagine just, like, you open these boxes, you just grab them and just throw them. <laughs> you open it up, pick it up, throw it against the wall. Open up another one, pick it up, throw it against a fucking wall. You just do that for hours. That is not content. I draw the line at content box at one point was swarming with insects all over and they had to shut the door. They couldn't even go in the room with the Dybbuk box because it was just covered in insects. But despite how scary this was for the boys, 
they had become kind of like a cool talking point on I campus never set up a PO box because of down Sam's here. blog that a lot of other students were following. And so the boys kind of liked the clout they got with that and they decided they didn't want to get rid of the box after all. But it wasn't long after the insect infestation that Sam began losing all of his hair. And at the same time, he started Hail having this constant hallucination that there was an old woman in his peripheral vision on either side of his head, pretty much at all times. Anywhere he went, there basically was someone he couldn't quite see following him around. Whether he was well rested, whether he was totally exhausted, it didn't matter. He always saw this shrouded dark figure that he believed was an old woman and it scared him so much he couldn't sleep. And so he began going into Brian's room and sitting on Brian's bed because it was the one place he felt a little bit of comfort. Now, and as he's sitting on the bed, he would see these dark figures standing on either side of him. Dude, I would night. never so do finally, an actual Ouija board. No matter how Ouija cool their board. blog was, it became too much. Like the fake Ouija boards probably box. like so still do something, eBay, but a real quickly, Ouija board is made out of a fucking a guy tombstone. Named Jason, who was this museum director over at this other university in Missouri. See if I can he find had actually one. been following along like an with actual Ouija blog. board. He was very interested in what was going on with the Divic box. And when it was listed for sale, he was all over it. He wanted to buy it. So the boys eagerly ship off the Divic box and Jason receives it in the middle of a work day. So he puts the package in his truck and he goes upstairs and he works for the day. And then afterwards, when everyone's left the office, he goes downstairs, gets the package, brings it back up to his office, puts it on his desk and he cuts open the packaging. Jason decided he wanted to evaluate the Dybbuk box the way he would evaluate any other antique or item that was coming into the museum that he was the director of. And so Jason starts by taking a whole bunch of pictures all around the outside of the Dybbuk box. And then he gets his black light out and he begins scanning around the outside and he finds all these traces of wax all over the outside, which leads him to believe this was probably used in some sort of ritual. And then he takes a deep breath and he sits down right in front of the Dybbuk box and he pops off the lock and he gets ready and he opens the doors and the drawer slides out with that whole mechanical device. It all kind of comes open and Jason's totally let down because nothing happens. And part of him thought like, if this thing is haunted, as soon as you open it up, the haunting's going to begin and nothing happened. And he's pretty let down about it. And so ultimately after staring at it and looking at the pennies that are in there and the- Dude, I feel like I found something that I probably shouldn't even look at. If I'm being real with you. Dude, I found something that's like, it's a starting bid. It's $20,000, all right? It's called Haunted Buyer Beware. Hot, hot, hot item. Unholy being caught on film. I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking at. It has a bid on it for five grand. And a twenty thousand dollar buyout price. How do I do the share X thing where I can take like screenshots? No, it's not an unholy bean. It's not an unholy bean. Being. 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 A being. Shocks, thanks for the two months. A being. An unholy being. No, being. <laughs> All right, never mind. Fuck you guys. I found a Ouija board. 1898 through 1901. Yeah, fuck that. Four hundred for six hundred dollar buyout on eBay. Yeah, fuck that stuff. I'm not looking that stuff up anymore. The, the just gonna, just looking at that shit's gonna get me haunted. He's just kind of let down by it. Jayza, okay, thanks for the 25 months, dude. I appreciate it. A hoax. There's nothing going on here. It's just just a random old chest. 
And Windows so he Shift and he S. Puts it on another desk that wasn't the one that he worked at, but was just That's kind how you of do a, it. another table inside of this office that he shared with some other people. And he figured it would be a good talking point to tell his colleagues about, and it would do be that. Kind of like a do showpiece. anything. So the next day, his colleagues come in, and he explains what a Dybbuk box is and the history around it that it's supposed to be haunted, and you know it makes people sick and gives it's not people letting strokes. Me sniff anything. And, you know, there's been insects that have been known to come out of it and go into it. It's this very creepy thing, and his colleagues. Yeah, are I did press it all cool, at the same time. But they don't think much of it until all of the electronics inside of their office start to fail. Namely, their computers start crashing, and their IT department comes up, and they're like, "We don't know why this is happening, but sorry, we can't recover it." And the light bulbs kept going out to the point where they went out and got this huge pack of extra light bulbs to replace the light bulbs as they went out. Jayza with the five bomb. But all of a sudden, the Dybbuk box is in the room and the light bulbs are going out left and right. And then finally, Jason's co-workers that share that space with the Dybbuk box, they all got sick and they blamed the Dybbuk box. They said, you know what? We were fine until the that thing came in here. Now all of a sudden our computers don't work, the lights don't work, and we're getting sick. Get rid of it, Jason. So that day after work, Jason right, goes and takes YouTube the Dybbuk box, video. puts it in the back of his truck, and his truck had a cover on the back. So he secures it in the back, he drives home, and he doesn't want to bring it inside because it just seemed weird to bring a cursed object inside that his co-workers just made him get out of their space because it was Were you on this sick, whole time? Ruining their yeah, I've been on this so whole time. Okay. I've just been I'll watching my truck YouTube videos for the last, I don't know, two tomorrow. hours? He goes inside, he says hi Two and a half family, hours, just long, chilling. It's time for bed, and Jason goes to sleep. In order to understand what happened to Jason, you need to understand Post the Post Malone's the cursed by a Dybbuk box. you open the front door, you walk cursed inside, with and there's a wall on your right-hand side. That's the side of the house. That's a curse on itself. And you walk forward about five or six feet and on your left is a staircase that goes up the second floor if you walk up that staircase yeah that's straight not ahead of you is going I'm to stupid. be a bathroom if you go left and walk down the hall another five or six feet you come to the master suite where jason and his wife would sleep if you walk through that door there is a wall on Shut your the left fuck up, which is a big bay window that looks out onto the street and there's a big street light that sits right outside that projects very orangey yellow light into their room at night even though they have a shade up it's this orange glow that comes through this window right here on this side. And then on the other side of the room is the bed. And the bed is situated where the feet are pointed towards this window over here. And the head of the bed is against this wall. And it's centered on this wall here. And Jason, if you're looking overhead at the top of this bed, Jason's on the left side. So he's the farthest into his room and his wife is the closest into the room. So that night, Jason goes to bed and he falls asleep. But just a couple hours later, he wakes up suddenly and he can't move his body. He can only move his eyes. Oh, what's He's up with the ads? And the Listen, light from the street this is the light end of my stream. Strong. I do a, a massive ad block. And he's right? laying there trying to move his hand. In turbo or sub pussy. I see you got that prime icon that, next to your fucking name. He footsteps out on the stairs. And they're distinctive sounds. Slow, plodding steps all the way up to the second floor. And Jason's laying here with his eyes looking towards the door because his door is open and he can barely see into the second floor landing. And he's waiting to see who came up the stairs. And his heart's racing and he's looking. And out of the corner of his eye, he sees what looks like a dark figure begin to walk into the room. And his heart starts racing even faster when he can tell it's definitely not someone he knows. It's this woman, this older woman with Real, a shawl Yo, over fuck her that! Head. Her head is oh, look at that picture! Oh, hell no! Tucked down, so we can't I'm not see not watching her. that. This is all out of the corner of his eye. And because ah! of the orange hue coming in from the window, he can definitely tell that there is a real solid ah, figure ah, right there. This is not in his imagination. Bye, Vance. Right Thanks there. for the three this months, dude. I appreciate it. her way across the foot of the bed. And right at the foot of the bed, as Jason's looking at her, she turns and looks directly at him. And then she runs around the corner and she looks down at him and she takes her fingers and she drives them into his eyes. And Jason thinks it's real and he's screaming in pain and he wakes up and his wife is grabbing him and she's like, Jason, Jason, what's wrong? And he's like, what's going on? And she says, honey, it's just a bad dream. You're fine. And he's shaken up. You know, his heart's still racing from this dream he's just had. And he's trying to think like that felt really real. And he's like feeling his eyes and he can't believe that that was a dream. Would I stay in a haunted hotel with Bob for 24 hours? It would be very hard for me and Bob to find a hotel, a haunted one, that we could hide in without people stream sniping it or some shit. Is there haunted hotels in Austin? I wouldn't, I don't, dude, I don't know if I would trust Bob. I think Bob would try and fuck with me or some shit, you know? I think Bob's that kind of guy that would like, you know, you'd be like, hey, listen, 
we don't fuck with each other during this. We kind of like, you know, are in this together kind of thing. He would definitely try and fuck with me. If I was going to pick any, if I, I'd, I'd pick Mecha Bear over Bob in that situation. Because I know he's going to try and fuck with me. It's unavoidable. He would 110 fucking percent do something. Easily. I'm not a pussy. That was the most vivid dream. I he's don't want to have to worry about someone so fucking he goes back putting to sleep a pillow over my face and saying a ghost. Up, he goes in the bathroom and he looks at his eyes and they're all red around the outside and the whites of his eyes are covered in blood. His eyes look horrible, like he's having this terrible allergic reaction to something or it looks like someone might have punched him in the eyes or maybe gouged his eyes. That's how it looks. And his wife comes in and she's like, what happened to you? And he's like, oh my God, I have no idea. It was around this time that Jason began to think the Dybbuk box might just be cursed because the two previous owners have said in their disclosures on eBay that horrible, vivid dreams, just like the one he had, to include physical manifestations are part of having this Dybbuk box. Jason considered just dumping this thing in a dumpster somewhere, but then he was concerned that he might be passing on this Dybbuk box to someone who wasn't ready for it. And so he decided he would give it another day and he would do some research about how to properly dispose of a Dybbuk box. And so that night when Jason came back from work, he left the Dybbuk box in his truck covered up in his driveway. And so Jason goes inside, he has dinner with his family, and then he's sitting down in the TV room and he's watching TV with his son. And as they're watching TV quietly, Jason hears his son say, hey dad, who is that? And he looks over at his son and his son is pointing behind him. And Jason turns around and standing right behind him is the same woman who had come in his room no! with a shawl on that gouged his eyes out of his dream well and then she tonight. suddenly disappears. And Jason's looking at his son like, I'm going to sleep like a baby. I don't sleep well like, yeah, anyway. So and so Jason grabs his son. He yells for his wife you know. and says, we have to leave the house right now. His wife comes downstairs and she's like, what's going on? And he was like, I will explain in the car and we have to take your car. And so his wife sees how serious Jason is and she says, okay. And they get into her car and they drive down the road. And that's when Jason explains what's going on with the Dybbuk box and how he and his son just saw the same woman that he had seen in his dream the night before that gouged his eyes and his eyes were red and his wife's starting to get really scared and his son's really scared of what's going on and so the solution they came up with was they were going to drive back to their house drop jason off who was going to get in his truck where the dybbuk box is still in the back it's still Do I have any allergies from sleeping on the ground drive it a few miles outside of town fucking to a rental probably. property they owned that no one was staying i need to be in, a better fucking adult basement and it was going to stay there until they figured out how to dispose of it because they didn't I like the idea be of a just dumping adult. it I didn't somewhere because like, they felt chat, like i'm gonna be real with you i haven't paid attention to this fucking story at all this is real and it's actually next i found it i found a video imagine that your friend he comes over one day and brings a Ouija board with him. You both sit and start to try to contact evil spirits, your skeptical eye watching every move the planchette makes and trying to figure out if your friend's pulling your leg. Suddenly the planchette starts moving, from the letter Z to the letter O, over and over again rapidly, and after making its presence known, this spirit starts answering questions about relatives of yours with incredible accuracy. Creeped out, the next day you get curious and Google the name Zozo, only to discover thousands of similar accounts written across various message boards online. Hello and welcome to another special episode of the infographic show's greatest mysteries, the Zozo Demon. You don't have to imagine the preceding scenario because it has in fact happened to thousands of people around the world. Whether using Ouija boards, automatic writing, or various other spiritual contact techniques, people all around the world have reported contacting an entity calling itself Zozo. With the advent of the internet, people began to share their stories online. Each person shocked to discover that hundreds, if not thousands of others, had had the same experiences as they did. Possibly more terrifying, though, is the fact that stories about Zozo have been around for hundreds of years, with one of the oldest accounts coming from Colin de Plancy's demonic encyclopedia, the Dictionary Infernal. According to de Plancy, a young girl claimed to be constantly harassed by three evil spirits, Mimi, Grapule, and Zozo. The demons would torment the girl and force her to walk on her hands or act indecent in the company of others. 
Eventually, she was exorcised successfully, although the priest performing the rite was warned not to attempt another exorcism by the police. It's easy to discount old tales as mere superstition, or even to discount modern testimony as simply flights of fancy that appropriate old legends or scary stories. It's not so easy, however, to explain the massive amounts of collaborative testimony available online, especially from people surprised to discover so many others allegedly having contact with the same entity. Encounters with Zozo tend to go the same way. Contactees will be using a Ouija board or other spirit contact technique, and Zozo will make its presence known by spelling out its name. Typically, it will then answer questions that would be difficult for other people around you to know the answers to in an effort to gain your trust. Other times, it will simply start to spell out expletives. Contact with Zozo typically results in something tragic happening shortly after. One man claims that his wife left his daughter in the bathtub and stepped out for a moment, which was long enough for his daughter to begin drowning. After rescuing her, she was struck ill by a mysterious infection days later. Another woman claims that on the same day as her contact with Zozo, she was hit by a drunk driver. People differ on what exactly Zozo is, but whatever it is, it's clearly got a bad temper. Some say that Zozo is a demon, possibly even the ancient Mesopotamian king of wind demons, Pazuzu. Others believe Zozo is simply a malevolent entity that appropriated the name because of growing fear around it. Yet others believe that Zozo is not a single entity, but rather a name that various evil or mischievous spirits use to scare us, knowing how scared we've become of contacting the ill-tempered Zozo. These people think that spirits may simply be having a bit of fun with us by using the name, while more evil spirits appropriate it in order to scare us, and fear, they believe, gives the spirits power. Whatever its origin, some of Zozo's characteristics involve an attraction to the female sex, preferring contact with women over men. Zozo also seems to be attracted to people with suicidal tendencies, depression, or other psychological disorders. Researchers claim that these people are more vulnerable to demonic influence, giving a demon more power over them and making it easier to push them to do extreme things such Damn, as suicide or hurting or scaring others. Those who claim well, to have come in fuck. contact with Zozo describe sudden and intense feelings of anger, fear, depression, or generally black thoughts as they talk with Zozo. Their encounters are typically followed by seemingly bad luck. Others, though, are more severely affected, with some claiming to have suffered physical symptoms such as headaches, sleepwalking, and the appearance of marks and bruises on their body. This is all quite terrifying if true. Along with a host of believers, there are just as many skeptics, however, and the preferred tool of contact with Zozo, the Ouija board, itself is fraught with doubts. For starters, it's a game manufactured by a major toy company, and many skeptics have a hard time swallowing the fact that spirits and demons are immediately accessible with a simple board game. There may be some merit to that point, but then again, if the world of spirits and demons is real, then who says they need some special archaic and mysterious method to contact us? But that's hardly the only criticism leveled at the Ouija board. In 1972, psychologists ran an experiment to see if people could have paranormal spirit contact experiences through nothing more than human will. Basically, they wanted to see if it was all just in our heads. For the study, they made up a fictional person named Philip Aylesford and then invited a group of people to run a seance in order to summon his ghost. The group eventually made contact with the entity, becoming convinced that they could feel Philip's presence, hearing knocking sounds coming from the table, felt the table physically vibrate, and at one point saw the table tilt up onto two legs. All the while, they had no idea that Philip had been completely made up. The story proved just how susceptible we can be to believing in the paranormal with just the smallest amount of prodding. Yet, if the world of spirits and demons is real, what's to say that a mischievous spirit or evil demon didn't simply respond to the seance, knowing full well what was taking place, and reveling in the frustration the entire affair would cause when the participants were told there was no such person as the one they claimed to be speaking to? Why would spirits and demons be any different than we are? Basically, why wouldn't a spirit troll a scientific study way back in 1972? Other skeptics point at the idiomotor effect as an explanation for contact with Zozo and other paranormal entities. The idiomotor effect is the subconscious and involuntary movement of muscles, typically to a very small and likely imperceptible degree. This effect has been well documented, most famously by the famed Michael Faraday, who built a device to show how the idiomotor effect was responsible for the table-turning fad that no swept supernatural-believing no. London. 
Today, skeptics My claim Queenie. that Ouija Thanks board communications are nothing more than the subconscious Appreciate mind that. using the idiomoral effect queen. to push the planchette around and give us the answers we're seeking. Zozo may well be simply a product of our own subconscious pushing a planchette on a Ouija board, with movements so imperceptible that even we ourselves are fooled into believing a supernatural explanation. Yet that doesn't explain the global internet phenomenon, which has seen thousands of people all claiming contact with the exact same entity. Skeptics point out the possibility of a mass psychological trend amongst all these believers, or that potentially every single Nukes one of them is simply is making up music? a tall tale. Both answers could be true, but with just as much hard evidence for either of those two answers as there is for Zozo, that being zero, there's a special kind of irony that the belief Zozo is not real requires. Just as much factless faith as the belief that it is. Von maybe despite Richter our warnings, you're still interested in contacting the legendary bomb. Zozo well, demon. Not coming out or yet, maybe though. you just want to arm yourself Boom. with knowledge to protect yourself from this bomb. mysterious entity. Either way, Skillshare's got your back. With classes such as intro. I don't know. Alright, look. Stay away from Ouija boards, boys, alright? People lying for content? <laughs> Unlikely. Dude, thanks for the fucking 20 bomb. Really do appreciate that. Ouija boards are spooky. Dude, a lot of that shit's fucking spooky, dude. A lot of that shit just sounds so fucked. This nukes top five shit seems pretty good. It's like double check everything. Big YouTuber, he should be fine. Perfect. I right, pull that up. Top five ghosts caught on camera, caught on CCTV. Facebook user Carly Tritzler shared a very bizarre video that was recorded by her CCTV camera outside her home in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. Oh God, we just doxed her. Well, it was a fun ride, boys. It was a fun fucking ride. It was, I had a good time. In the video, a deer can be seen walking through her yard. But that's not all. The fuck? Bizarrely, a tiny dark little figure seems to be following the deer wow, in the wow, dark wow, of wow, night. Wow, wow. Now, I have no idea what this little thing could be. Even after brightening the footage, it doesn't appear to be any kind of pet or wild animal. And whatever it is, it almost looks like it's walking on two legs. For now, the mysterious footage remains unsolved. But I'm very curious to hear what you guys think this little thing could be. My dick! A Nukes Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous, let's just call him or her Alex for the sake of the video, emailed me about a CCTV recording captured at an undisclosed sleep lab during a sleep apnea test. Alex says that a co-worker was monitoring a widowed female patient's sleep. And then this happened. I'm going to start recording. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look at it. Look Yes. It's gone now. Now to get a better understanding Yo, of what see. is going Thanks on, for the brand a bit of tier explanation one. is necessary. So the squiggly lines that can be seen at the bottom of the screen indicate that the woman has stopped breathing during her sleep. The mysterious pale figure then appears to reach out to wake the woman, after which she begins to breathe again. Alex believes the apparition might have been the patient's deceased husband, still carefully watching over her from beyond the grave. But what do you think this strange pale shape could be? Let me know down in the comments. Let me just start recording. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bro, you know you're fat as shit when your fucking neck's trying to strangle you in your fucking sleep. Like, that's when you know you got a fucking The issue. end of the road. Popular Guatemalan news reporter Vivian Vasquez is driving in traffic on her way to work to report the early morning news. But she will never make it to the news station. 
because Vivian herself becomes the tragic subject of the morning news when her lifeless body is discovered in a horrible car accident. Her family, co-workers, and fans are shocked and saddened when they hear of her sudden tragic passing. Guatemalan traffic police show up on the scene and record footage of the wreckage as evidence. But after the video is released to the public, morning viewers and fans all hear something in the footage that is absolutely chilling. I mean, is this something we can watch on Twitch? Is this like a... I don't, th I don't think is this something we can watch. Yeah, you know what? We'll stick to Mr. Baldwin. We'll stick to Mr. Baldwin. It's fine. You say it's fine until I get a fucking email saying it's not, pussy. Whatever you guys are linking me, it ain't working. Whatever you guys are fucking sending me just ain't a fucking job. Is Twitch really that soy? Brother, everybody's that soy nowadays. I don't fucking know. You think I... Listen, I don't know fucking police SOPs. Do you think I know fucking Twitch SOPs? Think I bother to read any of that fucking shit? Crazy. Crazy. Still for a little bit longer. Then hopefully dip out. I might be back in a bit though. Probably not. Burn watch nukes top five and he is fine. Well, that's true. All right, I think I am being a little too soy. I think you're right. I think I am being a little too fucking soy and fans are sh shocked and saddened when they hear of her sudden tragic passing. Guatemalan traffic police show up on the scene and Yo, record Urkel, footage of the wreckage the as evidence. Resub. But after the video is released to the public, morning viewers and fans all hear something in the footage that is absolutely chilling. And this time, did you hear it? The anguished voice of a woman can be heard crying out in Spanish, what did you do to me? When watching the footage, it becomes clear that it makes no sense for anyone present at the site of the accident to be screaming, what did you do to me? Vivian's loyal fans believe that it was her anguished spirit crying out from beyond the grave. To this day, the Guatemalan authorities have not found the cause of Vivian's accident. Even stranger, Vivian's cell phone was never returned to her family. And no one knows why. So just what happened to Vivian Vasquez? Isn't that kind of a red fucking flag? Isn't that like... A bit odd. Woman gets in a car crash, her cell phone's missing. Yeah. And of course the, what did you do to me thing. Huh. Maybe it just makes too much sense. All right, I am going to prep us a raid. All right. Thanks for chilling with me today. Sorry for the, uh, it's the end of the month. Today's like my period. Perfect. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun hanging out today. Sorry for all the uh, <clears throat> YouTube videos and subsequent ads. 
I hope that doesn't uh, bum you out too much. Kuro, thanks for that brand new tier one. And I'm going to do a raid. All right. I'm PMSing. I am PMSing. All right. I hope that you guys will be back tomorrow. Probably going to do some variety stuff tomorrow. Or I might just play uh, Bala Gang tomorrow. I don't know. I had fun. I had fun rolling with the guys in the Bala Gang. That shit was a was pretty fucking fun. Oh boy. I just saw a shadow in my room. Chat. I just saw a fucking shadow in my room. I did. I'm not making it up. All right, look, you might boy or uh, boy who cried wolf me because of that fucking fake story I told you earlier, but I told you it was fake. I just saw a shadow. I did. I'm not lying. I'm lying again. I am. I'm lying again. <laughs> You're so fucking easy. You're like a whore. All right. Well, have a good one, guys. Bye!